And of course, Hero Arts being a brand new company to us here at Chanda, part of our new arrivals event, and many more to come. Now, I'm just, I've stamped the flower again, and I'm just going to colour it identically as I've done before. And I'm not, again, I'm not worried about shadows, depths. Uh, you can add as much as you detailed you want, mm -hmm. but obviously time is against us. Mm -hmm. um, so. It's a nice, easy one to nice, easy one to add colour to, isn't it? It is, and especially if you're watercolouring, um, it, it's not quite circular. So your brush goes around beautifully when you're um, using it and colouring it. So let's just... Very nice. Coming together a treat, this. <laughs> right. I can't help myself, Lou. I've had to go and wander off and get That's all okay. these flowers. That's OK. I'm just going to put that to one side. Now have a look at these. I've demolished the set. <laughs> <laughs> There's bits of paper and all sorts all over the place. Now, this is a pick and mix, so you can choose any two of these. Now, this is the one that Lou's just been working with which is a gorgeous design. Again, they're all cling mounted, so ready to go on your acrylic block. Moments notice you can be stamping with these. Absolutely gorgeous. So that's the one that Lou's working with, um, which is the overlapping petals. This particular one is your solid bird. Again, that's a nice one. You get some nice effects with that. It's almost like a reverse effect, that But one. that one, um, if you stamped in one colour, mm -hmm. cleaned it, rotated it and stamped in a lighter colour. That's a good idea, isn't it? You've got a full, yeah. near enough a full circle as well. Right, that idea. And also, kiss techniques with that. You've got, mm. like, although they're quite slender pieces, you could actually pick up a texture from a back, another background stamp, perhaps add into those. I like this one. This reminds mm. me of those days that I used to spend hours with a, one of those spirograph things. And oh, create gosh, some that is a blast design. from the past. Uh, it is indeed. Um, nice. <laughs> Nice design there again, so if you fancy that one, another nice one that you could kind of multi-stamp and layer that one up as well, very effective. This one's a pretty one as well. That one, I mean, if you're good with your craft knife, cut round that or layer that mm, as well. So effective. you um, actually could make it like a pop-up rather than layering it. You could oh, pop yes, up, the, do you yeah, sort of mean, cut round the edges right the center, and then curl yeah. them so they're going in. That's a good idea. What's that one called, sorry? Outline Bloom. Very pretty design, that one. Oh, that's a nice Sandala one, isn't it? That's, that's beautiful, that one. Kaleidoscope, that one in. That indeed is called Kaleidoscope there. So, oh, well, that's another one. <laughs> that one's lovely. I think that one. Yeah, I mean, that's crying out for lots of different colours. Yeah. It's quite a uh, contemporary look to that mm. one, quite a modern twist. So yes, all of those available to you as options under the details on your screen there. Twelve ninety nine is going to get you any two of those. So really good size stamps there. Um, which one's the proven to be most popular? Overlapping petals, which is not surprising because that's the one that we're seeing Lou working with. And the star flower, is that the one that was the spirograph one? There you go. Those two together is the most popular combination. I mean, the spirograph one is lovely because mm. you've actually got... You could stamp that and layer that up as well, because cut it into, nice, into four yeah. or yeah. into threes and layer the different colours mm -hmm. up as well. It's That's nice got lots of... Even if you're just making just a small card, a six by six card, that could be quite a focal point in there. And then, mm. uh, yeah. So, yeah, have a little look at those ones. Been very popular. Right. So, all I've done is with a white pen, is I've just gone round where some of the um, detail is within it. Mm -hmm. And I've not been overly fussy, and I'm just going to put some bits there and just, just to highlight so the, they're coming a little bit further they're mm -hmm. not quite there this one's still a bit too wet but I've got one that's done but what I'd like to do is I just want to take a black pen okay and I'm just going to doodle around the edge lovely now just to warn you guys we're down to um, well a little over a handful of those stamps and not stamps those stencils as your free gift so yeah you need to be placing your orders quickly if you want to take advantage of your free gift if you've not done that already now is the time to sorry I'm it. just going to grab I'm in Ooh, love with this one mm. and the unicorn oh right, yes yeah well, that's one of those little square ink pads. Now, this won't leave great impact, but what I want to do is I just want to add a little bit of extra detail to the flowers. Oh, OK. Not too much, mm -hmm. but just a little bit of extra... It's like a little, little ghosting there, yes. almost. Yeah. So I'm not using the whole of the stamp. I'm just uh, picking out different elements that I would like to, to use. Just softening the edges a little. Yes. It's so when you compare the two the flowers that you've not done to the ones that you have done, you can see it more so. So it's just to add something a little bit. Oh, let's put a little bit more on that one there. We've got a bit of ink left. So that that's 
going to be oh, my background. Cute. So it's, it's mixing and matching, yeah. but it still stands out. And that's a little wet, so I have done one that I did earlier. Wonderful. Because that obviously is a little bit wet. And what I did also earlier was I did cut the flower out. Mm -hmm. And I've done exactly the same. I've used a white oh, pen, yes. but then I've done also used a little bit of green yes. to make it stand out. So the colours still match yeah. my and background, but it will then stand out a little bit more. Does that make sense? It does indeed. A nice bit of creative licence as well, because it's not often you would think of doing kind of tealy blue flowers. No. But you can do. But I definitely wanted to use the teal blue. That's fabulous. She said, so let's uh, do that. And I, what I'm going to do is mount it on a, a, a layer of black. Okie dokie. So I've got to have to move it out of the way of the white card. See, that black card stuff makes it pop, doesn't it? Yeah, and I didn't want to... I undenied. I was going to put it on a black um, card blank. Okay. Create my own card. But then I, when I did, it, everything seemed to recede. Right. So I just wanted a little bit of black. So what I want to do... I'm just going to stick that down. Obviously, at home, you could put a little bit more mm -hmm. glue on. And I'm making this so it's going lengthwise. It does, it's not going to go um, tall. But you yes. could easily do it tall. Yeah. Very useful stuff in that background, isn't it, with the branches? The branches, I, I, it's a bit like the One Day Special one. I think they're mm. a little bit of an unsung heroes. Yes. Yeah. They're, they're really good workers. Yeah. And but they're kind of ones that have out on your, your worktop all the time. Yeah. Because I think when you, you're looking for, you know when you're building a design, sometimes you just need something. Just something to go in that odd corner, or just to give mm. it a bit more depth. Look, kind of double one of these um, background stamps will be perfect. Got the details on the screen there, so if you do want to go for the background stamp, it's a six by six one. You can see it's twelve ninety nine. The details are on your screen. You've got a choice of four different designs with that one. Okay, this is a hero art sentiment from another set, and all I'm going to do is mount it onto black, and just chamfer the edges. Lovely. And Hero Arts have been making stamps since the, the mid-70s, isn't it? 1974, yeah. yeah, and it's still a family-run oh, nice, business. Yeah. So all I want to do is just add that so it goes across there. It's going to bug me because it's not straight, sorry. <laughs> even at this time of day, you know. Oh, even bless you. <laughs> Attention to detail. Uh, or when I got home, I would have just gone... <laughs> 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 I'm going to take that off. Oh, my goodness, I've just looked at the clock. We've only got 26 <gasps> minutes left to take advantage of the one-day special. That time has gone quick. Mm, oh, it's gone very, very quickly. And I'm just going to add a few foam pants. I should have asked you to do that while I was doing I the other bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't help. think about it. Oh, oh sorry. So I'm then going to oh, just that's stick effective. that flower that's there. Lovely. And then just for a little bit of pop, because I can, mm. I want to put a few gold. Oh, OK, right. So just a few what gold a sequin? sequins. Okay. I am a little bit sequin mad. I do apologise. <laughs> Don't apologise. But I just want to put one or two sequins, not many, just to break it up a little oh, bit. See, yeah. Let's just do the one down there. Uh, just to add another little bit of detail. That's nice because they're almost like little jewels that you pop in. Yeah, and because it's quite, not a bland background per se, but everything is tonal. Yes. It just gives your eyes somewhere to look yes. to go in and actually see the background. And that's all I'm actually going to do that to is it. fabulous. I love that. So just to keep it very, very simple effective. and very... do like that one. Like that one a lot. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to let um, Lou get herself ready for her next demonstration. Um, I'm going to take a couple of elements with me because we've been busy with lots of other things. So things like these you've been adding into your basket. These wonderful stencils. Now you'll recognise that one stencil because of course it has been featuring within the One Day Special. But to Hero Arts appreciate that you might not necessarily want to go for the One Day Special but still want that stencil. Well you can do. Because it's part of a duo, you can see 12 99 giving you the Starry Night and the or um, Ornate Floral. Um, and that's 3 zero. 8323. Now those inks that we saw a few moments ago, again these ones are on a pick and mix. You've got a whole host of different colours with these. Give some really nice results. So you've got things like your pink and your dandelion, you've got your leaf, your teal, your indigo, you've also got your purple, your brown and your black. And you saw a little really does go a long way with those. So if you are wanting those, the intense colours that you can see there, 
when you've actually diluted them down, you've got real control with regards to those. And you can see here from the little colour board, the colour chart that's been created, the top of the wings, you've got quite an intense colour from whichever of those bottles you go to. But of course, the more water or the more medium you add to them, then you can pull that colour out. And of course, you can add things like your sparkle and your shimmer, put them into things like your paste, your gels, all your different mediums and get the most out of those. They might be the item that you are ordering in order to get your free gift. Now, with these free gifts, have we got any of them left now? Not many. We've only got a couple left of those. So if you're placing your order now, please place your order at this moment. I will let you know it is going to go. I'll be popping back and seeing Lou in a few moments. So it's a perfect time for you to check out your basket. You're not missing anything. So one day special. That's where we kick things off with. And this is where you've got 23 minutes to take advantage of that £10 saving. £39.99 will get you your stamps, as you can see, and the dies to cut them out. But then you've got your background stamp there with all that gorgeous movement in there. And of course, the Starry Night stencil. A £10 saving with these two flexi buys of £20 each. But of course, a wonderful bundle to go for. As is the case with everything on this hour, um, it's being shipped from America. So we've got to extend our delivery on this one. We're looking at the 7th of February. We are welcoming Hero Arts, a brand new company to us here as a Chanda, and it's featuring as one of our new arrivals, as you can see behind me. Um, so they've brought lots with them, not only the one day special, but also this stamp set. And this one, again, you've got your clear pollen stamps, as you can see there. Lots of you going for these ones, and I don't blame you, you've got 19 stamps in this one. And you've got 11 dies. And you can see lots of scope, lots of kind of interchangeability with this one, if there is such a phrase, because you've got your sentiments, you've got your hot air balloons, you've got the dies to cut out those elements as well. And you're paying just £19.94. pence. What brilliant value. 194729. Now, some of my favourites from the hour have been those background stamps. They've been amazingly busy. Lots of you taking advantage of these. And you've got four designs to choose from. Now, the newspaper, which is one of my favourites, it has got so we're going to have to say goodbye to that one so I'm going to move that one out of the way and just because it looks nice on the screen it'll keep our Holly um, happy I'm going to pop that one into the middle there so you're going to get um, choices of these three designs now um, again you're looking at £12.99 the scape that you got there the cityscape I love that design of course we saw the branches being used a few moments ago and you have got the wonders of the world being another of those options again 7th of February with regards to your dispatch but how you are these stamps brilliant value um, and I do like those a lot so we're yeah, $12.99 but uh, sadly we've had to let one of those go because it's sold out $7.95273 for any of those three that are left now the Universal Woman this is another one that I'm surprised I'm able to actually offer this one to you because she's been so popular over the last 24 hours 17 stamps um, and not just that gorgeous image as you can see there the focal point but then you've got you are as you can see as your little tiny stamp there which you're going to team up with you are wonderful it could be you are beautiful, you are kind, you are strong, you are brave, any of these combinations making a perfect accompaniment to any card and of course the universal woman there as you can see there with literally all the uh, the planets around her the stars intermingled with her hair really beautiful strong characters beautiful design that one 12.99 popular one nice size that one as well now the butterfly and the dragonfly dies have been very popular so we're having another look at the butterfly here now you're getting one die it's a big die though as you can see there and there's lots of scope with this one perfect if you're wanting to do things like your paper piecing so this has been cut in multiple colors and as you can see all those pieces pop back in again but the beauty of this die is quite a substantial die so if you are wanting to cut it out and use it as a topper it's not going to be too flimsy even if you're just using a regular cardstock really nice size as you can see there nine pounds and 99 pence four zero seven two two zero now just to let you know at this stage of play all of those free gifts have gone now so thank you to everybody that's taken advantage of those over the last 24 hours but sadly if you're placing your order from this moment on you're not going to get that included but the thing is if you already placed your order you wouldn't be getting it anyway and I know there's lots of other things here that you may want to add into your basket this time around as well including your dragonflies now butterflies aren't everybody's cup of tea regularly hear that from people when I'm chatting to them but I know dragonflies can be um, perhaps a little bit more of a masculine design I don't know I kind of like both of them and you can see with this one you've got your innie and your outy. so the designs that we just saw with the butterfly you could replicate with the dragonfly or maybe go back and watch the show I think it was lunchtime um, that this one was created it might be nine o'clock this morning which um, to be honest you'll be going back and checking all of the shows because the demonstrations have been fabulous 
Um, and you can see here the stencil, um, sorry, not the stencil, the stamp from the one day special has been used in multiple ways. But then, of course, the die there cutting out your dragonfly in multiple layers to give you a really pretty look. Do like that one. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence a few little sequins dotted in there as well, keeping my eye open for those to see them on everything now that I know there's one lose little things. Um, you can see there's six two one zero 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 if you want in your dragonflies. Um, now the next set for you, this is a nice one. This is where you've got kind of you your meeting of stamps alongside dies. Now looking at choices I think if I remember rightly with this one. So you've got um, kind of play on words with some of these. So you've got your dahlia which we can see here with that large um, gorgeous flower as you can see there um, and it is a really nice and you can see that you're a, you're a doll as in there, play on words with that one as well kindness, creative, love, blooms, beautiful design that one, next one this is quite a cute one, all those succulents there hey um, sucker, I like that one I'll never d desert you desert you, I do like that yes so uh, again those quite cute little designs there and then the last one here which one is called mum or hey mum as you can see there with your chrysanthemum mum there featuring eleven pounds and sixty nine pence again very affordable so at one five seven two seven four if you want in those but you are getting the stamp alongside the die so it makes it nice and easy for you cutting out just keep an eye on that clock we've only got about fifteen minutes left on this hour no the clock is telling you seventeen minutes but of course you've got your three minutes there um, which is part of your break which you can still place your order for in your one day special now we have been very busy for these I'm glad that we took a few moments to look at the individual designs with these because you've got lots of scope and we've got some lovely finished samples you've got six different stamps there that you're going to choose any two of and you can go back in and order the others if you want to so you could go in three times and get all six of them now for each pairing you are paying just 12 pounds and 99 pence now we saw Lou working with this one earlier on creating a fabulous backdrop and of course those gorgeous flowers that were sitting um, as it was well, a main focal point choices within this one so you've got lots of choices you've got your um, I forgot what that one was called now is that a double overlapping I knew there was something along those lines with that one so that one's the overlapping flower or bloom this particular one again you've got almost like a mandala effect in this one's like a star sitting in the center of that one really nice one that kind of like a kaleidoscope effect with that one like that one get the one that we just looked at a few moments ago featuring again but have you noticed how the leaves here are actually the same as the petals but they've been stamped in green and just tucked behind so very effective clever idea that one or maybe you're going to be taking that quite a contemporary design quite a modern look to it and creating that fabulous background and this one is your color me flower and again you'll recognize that starry night stencil having been used in the background there from your one day special 12.99 very affordable very useful stamps as well 12 pounds and 99 pence 454125 now you'll notice these and all the other elements we've been chatting about featuring in the next little video to give you a bit more inspiration realize that the loo's are taking over we've got our fabulous Lou here we've got Lou with us coming up my middle name's Lou we've got Chloe Florin she's a Lou, uh, Louisa oh so I know them. that's posh Louisa I have to say and Holly in the gallery she's a Louise as well and then we've got Emily. And Emily's a what? What are you, Emily? A Jane. Emily Jane. That's kind of sweet, though. Like when that. I was at school, I, I was the only Louise. I was, really? well, yeah, there wasn't any others at all. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, what are we up to then? Right, what I've done is, while you were going through there, is I've stamped, began stamping the um, urban this looks nice. skyline and I've done it with a little bit of the chalkboard okay. and then I've taken the blue which is the deep ocean and gone round with the blue to, to give the illusion of a bit of a, a like moody that, yeah. sky. Now the, the chalkboard that you've mentioned that darker tone that comes from the greys doesn't it? That comes it? from the greys and the unicorn and these, there. Yeah these are the ones that are um, the like the little inchy ones. Yeah, whereas the other ones are more hybrid based. Oh, okay. I see. Well, so I, I could water that. colour that if I really yeah, wanted to. Okay. So all I'm going to do now is I just want to not cover everything, but just cover some of the gaps that I've made mm. using the, the soft grey. Lovely, which again comes in that set. 
I do love uh, the, you know, the greys. I think it's an underused colour in stamping. Yes, yeah. Um, if, who was I working with yesterday? She was using some brown tones, mm. which was lovely because it's like a soft red. Yes. If you do like like, like the no-lines mm. colouring, that sort of thing. Exactly, yeah, and it lent itself so well. And, of course, it was Claire, Daisy May, new mm. company to us here as well. Um, yeah, go back and watch that one. I think it was um, 3 o'clock yesterday, I think. Now, I'm not... Now, I've deliberately... I know it looks like that I haven't done the bottom, but that there is a reason for it. It's because I don't need the bottom. OK. I do apologise. It was 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock. It was 8 o'clock that I worked with her. Uh, yeah. it does, and I think the grey... I think it... Like you say, it can soften an yes. edge... And sometimes it, it's easier to work with. Yes. Um, it, it's, it's not too harsh a line. No, not at sense? all. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean. Now my magnets are going to have a little battle with each other. <laughs> they do have a tendency yeah. to that. I'll move them. They still scare me to death sometimes. Here we go. They, they jump, they've got a mind of their own, haven't they? Right, so all I want to do now is I want to stamp this again. Okay. But this time round, I'm only interested in the lower third. Okay. Oh, we'll come transparent. Uh, mm. Oh, I'm intrigued. You know when you go, let's stick to the same colours. So let's do... So all I'm going to do is, because it doesn't look it on the stamp, but if, if you look on the graphics, it's quite obvious where some of the, um, the different buildings are. Right. You know, in different heights. Yes. Um, so all I'm doing is, at the moment, I'm trying to figure out which buildings I quite like the look of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, which ones I might ignore. Okay. So, Let's make a start. I might cut some away. So I'm just using... Oh, I'll tell you what I am going to do before I ruin that. OK. Mask it off. <laughs> I just thought, oh, protection on there. Lovely. Otherwise, I could end up... Not that it oh, really matters. Oh, this is going to come together. So I'm just going to do another little bit more. And I'm just building up the colour bit by bit. OK. This is one of the downsides with the smaller ink pads, obviously, to do a, a larger stamp. Yeah, you need to more yeah. time. But saying that, you see, you're getting at least four colours for twelve ninety nine, and I think I'd rather have that. But also, on these sort of backgrounds, one of the benefits of the smaller stamp is being able to pick and choose what That's elements you point, want to yeah. ink. Whereas if mm -hmm. I took a bigger black stamp, I'm going to cover more of an area. That's a good point, actually. More control, isn't it? So where we did the branches, I was yeah. only picking and choosing, wasn't I? Yeah. So, OK. So I'm just going to, let's see, nice. I've done that one. Let's do a little bit, that one there. Because I want the top of the roof. I've done that okay. one. That one there, let's do the top of the roof there. That one there. It's one of the benefits I can actually see. <laughs> where. And, or just that little bit there. Mm -hmm. okay. Some platform obviously coming into play considerably with this. Um, yes. I mean, it makes it easier. Yeah. It does make it easier, especially when I'm going back and forth, yeah. back and forth, and I'm using, like I said, the the smaller ink pads. Mm -hmm. But we've been using the stamps without a platform, That's and they true, just yeah. stamp just as beautifully. So Ooh, that, that is what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm just going to put my magnets out of the way before they attack one another, like they <laughs> just did earlier, <laughs> and move that. And they're my actual backgrounds okay, that I'm going to use. Right. So I'm just going to move that. Just out of the way. So what I've done. Oh, I thought that was going to fall. So what I did from there was I took the background. Okay, I've yeah, this one over there with the blue sky, and I've just trimmed it. Okay. And then this one here, where I was just looking for elements, oh, oh I've I taken. See. Yes, that's dramatic, isn't it? That's good. And I've taken those elements. I get now, it now. As you said before, we could have, if we wanted to, if you wanted to add lights in, we could go over with some of the yellow, yeah. and you could add um, yellow lights in. Mm -hmm. you, you, know, you could do it different ways. You could put a circle there, with, and you could have a little Ooh, bit of sunlight. Yes, yeah. There's lots of different ways you can actually use it. But I want to, and I've left a little, deliberately left the white border there, because okay. I just want to drop that down a little bit further. Yes. So yeah, when I have it... That depth. Yeah, yeah, just to give a little bit of extra depth. So I'll take my card blank and I'm just going to put it in the centre. Okay. I was going to originally mat it in black but I've decided not to because I think it's quite nice because we're keeping the lights. So mm. I've not coloured any of the windows in. Yes, yeah. it, it just makes a little bit of a contrast, you know, yeah. a matching, not a contrast. Just um, to let you guys uh, keep an eye on the, the screen there, less than 10 minutes to get hold of you one day special. I will give you a five minute warning and probably about four minutes time <laughs> to be honest but if you are thinking of checking out your basket it might be a good idea to do it now. Um, there will be a rush at the end of the hour. We always find that with a one day special and that £10 saving 
clothing will disappear at six o'clock when we launch a brand new deal. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some foam pads. I won't, I'll just put a few on. Okay. Just to hold it in place for now. I mean, obviously, if we were at home, you'd do a lot more. Mm -hmm. I just need it to stick down without falling apart too greatly, so that will do for now. And I, I just wanted to. I like this stamp because actually, when you think about it, there is another layer of buildings there. So yes, you could have done this. Yeah. I could have done this three times. So the, the ones I've just cut out now, I could have cut a further yeah, layer away. Further. Mm. Yeah, there's lots of scope within that stamp. You're quite right there. And, and then when you actually look at the buildings, they're quite easy um, lines to physically yeah. cut around, aren't they? So. They are. Um, and I kept. The, I've deliberately kept the stamping quite light. Mm. I didn't want it. Dark, dark, black, black, if that makes sense. Yeah. Because I've, I've kept this slightly darker. It's very effective. It's one of those interesting stamps that the more you look at it, the more you see. So I'm just going to drop that down just a little. So I've now got that layers. That's fabulous. So this is close to me. Now, I have what I've done in advance is from the one day special. Oh, okay. Oh, oh I've that's taken cute. the little balloon and I've stamped that and just watercolored it in with the inks Let's put a, some foam pads it's on nice there. effect to this because it's a real focal point now that's yeah. what i wanted it mm. to be and i've taken some of the sentiments from the other balloon set oh okay yeah and i just want to put Oh, I'm not going to press it down because I might change my mind we'll just leave <laughs> it like you know when you go let's put the sentiment in place because what i want to do is and so the venture begins and then i've got rise to new heights oh that's nice so i can then decide whether i want to have the balloon overlap which i think i might do actually yeah, overlapping a bit of the, that, the sentiment yeah. see this would be a lovely one perhaps as an engagement or a wedding card mm. or yeah a new home that's another one that'd be good because it's like a, a new chapter isn't it a new adventure oh uh, yeah if you've got some um the heart dies now my glue is going to get to the end of its well, at least it's the end of the the show isn't it as such <laughs> Um, and so we've got, and so the adventure begins. So we'll actually cut that bit off in a moment. Okay. And then I can take my balloon and then just tuck it so it sits. That's nice. There. Yeah. And then we've got the other one. Right. You need to just last a little bit longer, glue. Just a little That's bit. Come on, glue. That last. last yeah. Little bit. There you go. Yeah, the last hurrah, as it were. That's and a good grip you've got there, I have to say, Lou. You look up and you're going white there. I, <laughs> I know, my finger's not loving it. <laughs> Bless uh, you. Okay, so we've got rise That's new lovely. heights. Let's grab my scissors. That's a nice sentiment, actually, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And Hero Arts, I'm sure many of you out there will have um, stamps from Hero Arts. I certainly have got some of the old um, wood-mounted ones. Uh, well known within the industry for bringing us quality and you can see their quality stamp out with regards to these designs um, and of course um, if you go for those six by sixes we have lost one of those designs so we are only left with three of those and time is ticking away with regards to these so uh, yes sooner rather than later than these um, you can see beautiful designs the one that Lou is working with at the moment which does look like a, a New York skyliner um, many of us have kind of uh, seen that but again it could be any big city it could be any it? big yeah. City really. Um, I think it's because it's got like the um, the rounded this part here. Yes, yeah. I think that's what makes us think. Yeah. Um, and of course you've got your branches in there, and you've also got your round um, your your world or your, your wonders of the world. That's it. Now the clock is flashing. Five minutes left for you to take advantage of your one day special. Um, so yes, many of you are, and of course you'll be able to create that fabulous little hot air balloon sitting in the centre of Lou's design there if you do go for the one day special. Do go for it in the next um, five minutes though, because obviously we've only got a couple of minutes during this hour because we will be going to the break and then launching a brand new um, one day. So I love that injection of colour there. That looks very dramatic. And, and yes, so then you have to look at the sentiments. Sorry, I'm holding my mm -hmm. sentiment down. Um, look at the sentiments to see if it matches. Yeah. Um, and I just wanted that little pop. Beautiful. Absolutely uh, gorgeous. And, and that little balloon's just perfect for it because it's that little heart shape. And all I've done is just added a little gem just for an extra other part of the, the pop 
as That's it were. It. Um, and there you go, uh, created with just one of those stamps and dies that you're getting within your one day special. Of course, don't forget you're going to get those larger ones as well, the hot air balloon, which you can stamp out or you can die cut mm. and stamp out together. All the little um, clouds there, and of course the fabulous little hot air balloon that we're working with at the bottom there, and the floral accent. So if you do want mm. to multi-layer those, as we have seen in many of those um, examples that Lou's been working with over the last 24 hours, really does give you a lot of scope. In addition, you are getting that background stamp, as you can see there, and you are also getting the additional stencil, which really do add to those designs and give you lots of scope. So lots of different ideas, lots of different designs, and I do urge you to go back and check out all the shows, because Lou gave us so much inspiration. Lou, it's been a pleasure no, working thank with you. you. As yes. it always is, I'm looking forward to the next time as well. Thank you. Um, <laughs> do not miss out on that one day special prize, because it's going to go up by £10, but do not forget to add in those six by six stamps that mm. we're talking about at the moment as well because you have been loving those so uh, yeah one day special details at the bottom of the screen those six by sixes with your cosmopolitan skyline featuring on your screen at the moment and do stay tuned because we've got another Lou coming along Lou <laughs> with us with a brand new two hour launch with our lovely Scott I will be back with you at seven o'clock we've got not seven o'clock eight o'clock sorry with an hour of happy hour deals with search press books and then I'll be teaming up with a lovely Lou at nine o'clock so I hope we can count on your company Hello. Thank you so no, much. Thank you. So, Studio Light like coming up. Do stay tuned. It's going to be a busy one. Two hours with Lou. Um, so, do make sure you stay tuned for all of it. And then I will team up with you. Some crafty books. We're going to have a nice little hour with that one. I hope you can join me. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I like to pack my shows with lots of hints, tips and techniques. And my idea is to give the experience that I've got and I've gained to everyone at home and show as many things as I possibly can. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dies and new products such as the media plates. I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on Hachanda. Uh, very good evening, lovely to have your company as myself, Scott, with the Love, Love, love Me Lou. Lou. You know we love Lou. Um, oh, how are one. you? I'm very, very good. Are you excited? I am. I'm, on, I'm a bit giddy today, a bit giddy, guys, a bit giddy. A giddy Lou, a giddy yeah. Lou. Um, well, uh, all we, I'm going to let you do the chatting. Yeah, well, 
some, some would rather I didn't. No, <laughs> uh, no, no, not at all. And we're going to get to demonstration. Yeah, all yeah. I'm going to say is, for this brand new yep. one day special yep. that we have for you, um, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. It's the lovely English garden. Yep. Okay, you get stamps, dye, embossing folders, die cuts, and you're going to get the watercolour set. All I'm going to say is, don't, I just very rarely say this, don't go to your baskets yet. Okay, don't don't put this into your baskets just yet because there's a lot of savings to be had right the way down with something that's coming up towards the end of this. But all I'm going to say is a complete collection. But to really make sure that you see all of this, we want to make sure that you are totally in the loop about where all the savings are and what you can get at the very end. So, let's make sure that you just hang fire with us and we explain to everything what we've got here. And yep. I think that's, that's, is that, that's fair to say, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely. Because there's big savers to be had, but you've got to know where to go for them. So, just pay yep. heed. Yep, yep. So, it's about the one day special as it is in here, okay? Yep. This comes straight away, and you need to jot these down so you, this makes sense at the end. This comes with a £34 saving. And I know that there's a lot of people that are looking at this straight away and go, oh, I love it. Very pretty, very beautiful, quintessentially English garden. I get that. But nah. what you are saying as well, totally. and from our chat earlier, mm. is there is that. That's there an is, option. Of course there is, of course there is. But we are going to experiment and Absolutely. look at lots of other different Absolutely. ways of working. So don't be taken in. Book and cover, I think Absolutely. you know what I'm saying, don't judge yeah, it by. Absolutely. Talk to me about why this bundle's so good as a one day special, Lou. Right, you've got some elements in there that just go for, to me, they're just, because I'm into me fantasy, Harry Potter and uh, Secret Garden, to me that's this. Right. This is like, I could make it all fantastical, I could make it really pretty, I could yes. make it really grungy. And I've just been watching programmes on the telly where, you know, the doorway is, is like the key and you could have all sorts of elements. Magical. It's just, yeah. yeah. But you can really grunge it up as well. Cause you know, I'm not a pretty person. And this, I was like, pretty, but when I actually broke it all down, I was like, this is for me. <laughs> Seriously, it really is. And if anybody can, you can. Now, it's really important we understand that we, we this, because it's, we talked about this quintessential English garden kind of feel, it springs, watercolours spring to mind straight absolutely. away. And you're going to get your watercolours in this as well, absolutely. straight in it. Now, I will state this very, very clearly from the beginning. When these have gone, they're gone. We can't get any more. Okay, we cannot get Honestly. any more of those. Okay, that's right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we can't get any more because they are po very, very popular, but that's it. Once that, they've gone, they've gone. And we'll give you a bit more of a breakdown about sort of valuing that on its own a little bit later on as well. But, so that just makes that price even more fantastic. Um, um, I'm, a, I'm a starter, I'm a beginner, watercolours. Um, difficult to get your head around to start with or is it just, you know, pick it up and have a go? No, pick it up, have a go. The best thing to do is the lovely Shana did this for me and do a colour chart. Get your pens, your watercolour pens, uh, paint brushes so you don't need anything to take with you you've got your palette in there and you just have a play with those colors now I know Sean has just done a very light wash with them mm. but they're absolutely beautiful mm. beautiful colors they're not your normal sort of half pan colors these are quite you don't get a lot of pinks you don't get a lot of teals with them you get like what we call set colors but in these they've gone to the colors that match everything in the right. kit I love hope. I love that. Great sort of, names out there. It's gorgeous, Great aren't names. they? Really pretty Absolutely. as well. Uh, so you're not just going to get you're going to get the actual water brushes. That's all included within that yep. set that you can see. So your water brushes are there. Yep. So think about the value in that yourself. Now we've also got the die cut book, right? Uh, in here as well. Why am I going to use these? Well, you've got a die there, and if you were sort of stuck for ideas, this gives you like. The background you could have, the view, you can make simple cards with it. Emma's done some great little ATCs with it. It's got all the bits and bobs you can decoupage, but you could have that at the back of the die cut that we're going to see later. So it's almost like a ready-made oh, image for I you. I see. Okay. But, yeah, you can build these up. There's the same flowers. We've got them in stamps, roses right. and dyes. So you can see that they all sort of match. Very beautiful. Absolutely. Really pretty. Very handy as well. Yeah, yeah, very handy as well. Very, Get a great, great reaction handy. straight away. Now then, we've got the dyes in yeah. here. Oh, um, I love these. Now talk to me about the dyes then. Right, well the dyes, you've got some die cutting embossing folders, but these, I absolutely adore that. That um, It's not a hollyhock and it's not a, what is it? Nightshade, It's but it's beautiful, the long one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not um, looping. 
But they like a, isn't it a, rab not a rabbit plant? Is right? it's, 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 it's one of them that you can yeah. like the little flowers on it. I yeah, know the ones beautiful. you mean, but I don't know exactly what the term is. Somebody will know. Someone it, let us know. It does look like a deadly nightshade or mm, one of those, mm. but you can make it into anything. You've got the little flower that goes with it. That I've done it in text and music paper, and they just look amazing. But then you get that amazing, amazing uh, scroll. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't now it? it's got two Very edges to that. the scroll. You've got an out and an in. So if you wanted to cut into your card with the scroll, you take the outside. So if I show you, it has that around it. If that oh, makes okay, sense. yes, the individual. So yep. if that makes sense, yep. you have you that around it. So you can cut it out separately or you can place that in and have it, sorry, if you take that off, yep. this cuts into the card and just leaves it in. Got you. Oh, I see. Or right, you can put that in there and it cuts it out Takes with the whole out. shape. Got you. Got you. Lovely. Right. Uh, now, you also mentioned in there the embossing folders, but Absolutely. the embossing folder with dye in it. Absolutely. You've got two there. With you, a dye in it. Well, you've got um, the one there, the flowers, and it's got a couple of flowers that just pop out. Got you. Love and that's it's, very nice. It's quite straight. It's, it's beautiful. I mean, I've done one here just to show you, and it's a really rough one, but it's so simple. You just die cut it, and you've got all these wonderful elements there, but then all you do is just bring this up. So, to me... I love this idea. I love the fact it's all done in one. Yeah, it's just there you've got your flower and you've got another one down That's here. That's pretty, isn't it? And if you wanted to, then you could put your layer die cuts on top. So ah. you've got, to me, you could just put a sentiment there, you've got a card. Yeah, yeah, Seriously, exactly. You, yeah, work with to, that. you know, you could do a spring and uh, So you've got that one and then you've got the archway with the that's, door. That's lovely. Now, that is quite magical. And again, it I know is. there's some examples we can show you, but that frames anything beautifully, doesn't it? That's I a lovely it, thing. I cut it in the papers, because you've got some amazing paper packs, but you've got the stamp that goes with it. Oh, I know I was speaking to some people today who was in with D, and then I said, oh, can we just have that? No, nope, sorry, you've got, we can only get it with this, but look at that. Yeah, look at that. that it's is stunning, embossed look. on the, the paper. I haven't stamped it yet, but that's... That is lovely, and the detail, like you say, around there, that sort of old built wall, Absolutely. hidden um, secret garden kind exactly. of thing, isn't it? Exactly. So you know, when you get the dye, uh, the the flowers, like the edge flowers, you could have them hanging down like ivy. Oh, nice. You know, Love it's this. A, a great for kids' books, great for, yes. for storytelling. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Look, um, I'm gonna just. Uh, that's. Oh, we've got the stamps in there as oh, well. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> there's so much stamps. in this as well. Yeah. There is. Got our stamps in there that will work beautifully with those as well. And I know yeah. you're gonna show maybe some different ways yeah, of absolutely. how we can work with that. So it's not just your classical watercolour yeah. kind of feel about that, but a very different feel. Right, 914280, the Studio Light English Garden stamps, you've got the dies in there, you've got the embossing folders, you've got the die cuts as well, and the watercolour set, all of that. Now, we'll tell you, some of you haven't listened to what Lou and I were saying, some of the 10%'s already gone for that set as it is like that, which has got that £34 saving. Now, why I'm saying is just delay if you can, but remember that £34 saving. I want to show you some other sections as well, because you are going to get the chance to get all of this, but I want to make sure that everyone's very clear on exactly where the saving is collectively on all of this. But well done for those that have already got it. Let's move down, though, until yep. we got for, for here again. Carrying on that theme, talk to us a little bit about this. This, this is, again, a beautiful standalone bulk. You can buy this on, on its own, but it's all meant as a collection. So I love the fact that they're individual or I love collections. The fence. Now, that fence can be used for anything. You can make it into a train tracks, anything like you just yeah, use your yeah. imagination. Yes. The flowers are great because when you cut them out, as we've seen on some of the, the, the DT's work, they work great. Now, that watering can, you don't need to have the can. It could be a vase that if you take off the handle and the spout. So right. you can work with different things, and then you have got the wonderful. Um, you've got the scroll back chair and you've also got the ironwork and that That's lovely. is stunning because yeah. that is like a lace, it really is beautiful. That is lovely. And then we've got the other one, the pads there, which are all similar to the big ones but they just fit the embossing folders perfect. So it all fits together. And then the roses cut in and out. So, yep. so oh, okay. So okay. you have like, you can, I'll show you that, oh there. You oh yes, see, there we go. You can mould them. You can actually mould them so they pop out. So not just cut out, they pop out, which is a really clever element. I like that. Oh, that's very nice. It is Look nice, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, really so nice. So not just a flower, you, you know. And I like the way that you don't even need the background on that. You could just have yeah, that. Yeah, that's true. 
And yeah, on its own it works, yeah. isn't it? Um, I'll do a little bit of a flick through of the, of the paper pack as well uh, a little while, but I know we've got uh, a lot to sort of just yeah. fill in here, but I will come back on to those as well. 502146 on this one, 24.99. Now, jot this one down here as well. If you want to go for this as an individual set, yeah, you're looking at a £14 saving on this, a £34 saving on the previous set, the one-day special. On here, that's got a £14 saving. At the end, you understand why I'm saying all of this as well, because this is where you're going to really sort of see your great value for money. 502146 if you would like to go for this particular one on its own. But, don't do that just yet. Uh, working our way down again, and again, as you mentioned, all of these blend beautifully together Absolutely. through a massive collection Absolutely. here. What are we going to be getting in here? Right, well, we've got the foxglove, and we've got the... Oh, it's not the... Hollyhock. I oh, love these yes. yeah, because yeah. you can cut these out. I, the teapot and the, the, the tea service, right? Well, I've got um, a little idea in my head if I can get a frame and that's when I, I was going to cut that out and make it to an Alice tea party with it. Oh wow, yes. You know, with the doors yeah, and all that. that. Was, yeah, of course, Making that would work, like, wouldn't it? Mad Hatters. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that, I love that idea. the paper pad and um, we've got the die cuts and uh, we've got like the, the little birdhouse and then some more foliage and that like, it's it's almost like an alien flower, it's, my, it's got to be one of my favourite shapes because mm. it's so versatile, but the, you know, it's it's beautiful. There's a paper pack. Do you want me to? Do you want uh, to see yeah, I've got one? one. Oh, yeah, we've got, oh, we got one. You've got a special one there, haven't you? I've well, got, I'll pick I've got this your one. mind. You got, <laughs> got your mind. Let's have a little look through so that you get uh, a bit of an idea of what, the I mean, their papers, papers are beautiful. beautiful papers. They really are beautiful papers. Look at these. They make great little notebooks. They make the great front of cards. All you need is sentiment on that and you could just draw around you, one. You could, couldn't you? I'm, Seriously. I'm going to show you really, really, really tricky things with the that's nice. Isn't it? You know, you could cut the uh, arch out of that. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? And you've got a ready-made wall done. But there's so much. That's perfect yes. for it. Really has been well thought it has. through. Um, for all of these beautiful. that you're going to see. So, obviously, there's uh, some really fantastic, again, if you are going to go with this with the watercolours as well from the original One Day Special, uh, there's lots in there. So, we I mentioned we that. mentioned the dies, we mentioned uh, the pack as well on yep. there. So, we've seen all those. 035474. This comes with a £14 saving as well, £24. 14. Pounds. So, 34, 14, £14 14 pound saving on all of those. Now we're working now down to the final piece that's all, uh, if you look at this whole collection, this is our paper collection that we have here. And again, oh, yeah. you, what we mentioned, the smaller packs, you're getting these again, but bigger, bigger Big size. Dot. And you're not just, you're not, the patterns are appropriate sizes, so they've not squashed them on or made them larger in that sense of appropriate. So you get 12 by 12s and A4s. They're double sided, mm. absolutely beautiful colours. Even if you're not, a, a, you know, an English country feel, these will work great for your journals because you can cut elements out. You can you can put gesso on them and wash them down. Again, the wall make absolutely amazing. Really, are you, that, yes, that I one is great. I did something a bit naughty with that um, start uh, with that die cut. And did you? Yeah, and I, I hadn't done it, but I did. Oh. And uh, <laughs> I just cut out gates in it, and it was amazing. Really, yep. really beautiful papers um, that I'm sure you're going to get a lot of. Look at that. You can see, can't you? You can see nice pictures of your garden or a flower or anything and uh, really nice thoughts with it. I don't know. It just, yeah. it just evokes that nice summer beautiful feeling. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? yeah. The quality papers as well. Oh, so you're going to be getting this for yeah. the collection. The 8-4 sheets of this one. Uh, these are 12 by 12 uh, sheets. Looking at five, six, seven, eight, double seven. Now this is ten pounds and ninety nine pence for that collection that you can see there. Five, six, seven, eight, double seven. So that's everything we got here. And you've noticed again with some brilliant savings from the one day special, thirty four pound saving, fourteen pound special, fourteen pound saving of course. And this right. one is a brilliant deal already. So yep. if you would like to, you can go for. Everything in here, okay? Now, of course, what we're looking at there, the introductory price, it says you're saving five pounds. But if you think about this, actually, you've got to then take into consideration that each one of those separate sections that make up this complete bundle have got those individual savings in there. So the actual price saving you're looking at is... Um, so I think it was £67 saving, basically, uh, with that £5 as well, of course, you're looking at. Now, if you are a Freedom member... Look at this. You can get the whole the whole shebang for £94.46. That includes your postage and your packaging as well. So if you're not a Freedom member, this is one of those why not deals. So go for that. So £6.97 you'll be paying, of course, then to become a member for that month. But this is also then made available on your Flexi Buy. So that's three payments. That really does bring it down. That's £31.49. Oh, you're over there. Uh, sorry. £31.49. So you've got three of those payments if you wanted to. So your first payment is actually working out less than if you were to buy the one-day special. 
uh, of that kind of price. Now, over 20% of that has already been allocated. And don't forget, with those watercolour paints mm. that are in there, when they're gone, as you heard from Lou, there's no more of those available. No. When they are gone, they are gone. So to get the, everything, the whole bundle that you can see there for that price, which is amazing, 713233 for that. It's a Studio Lights English Garden complete collection. That at the moment is still including the, the paints in there as well. If you're not a Frida member, why not for this price? Because you can really take advantage of that free P&P. That price is down to under £100 and the whole lot is there for you. And it's on FlexiBuy, of course, over three payments, bringing that price right down. Now, already a quarter of the stock is now gone. And we are 15 minutes into this brand new launch of the one day special. I did say if you could just hang on for those first 10 minutes of the show before you make your decision on what you want to go for. But you didn't, you went for it, a lot of you have gone for it, but now a lot of you can see where that saving is there to be had. So if you like your pretty quintessential English garden feel, you want to keep in that style, this is absolutely perfect yeah, for you to go please. for. If, however, you like that and you want to give it a slight different twist and a different style, You've got absolutely the right person here to, to take us through that because oh. that's what really excites you about this project, yeah, isn't it, is. Lou? You said? I like a challenge. I like sort of to take something now that is, I'm not safe with and then say, right, what can I do right, with this? Right. Because I feel more creative doing that. I feel I get a bit bombed, bogged down when I'm right. thinking, oh, yeah, I'll just do this. I'll just. No, you've got to really go for it. Sometimes out of your comfort zone is really what you've got to do. Well, we're in your hands and we're looking forward to working with this and see how we can uh, transform things. I'm just going to do a really, really quick, really quick, um, any page, it doesn't matter what page, I'm just going to go a really, really quick way of introducing my own input onto this. So, Great. this is a lovely page. I really don't need to do anything to this. No. Um, and I mean that in a really nice way because I don't think that that warrants loads of stuff on it but what do you know you saw me cutting all them things over there <laughs> I, I cut them all up ready and I've put you away. were you were prepping prepping I was prepping like that yeah so what I've got is uh, a lilac shaded lilac and um, distress oxide and I've got the die cut now the die cut I'm using is from one of the sets because what I want to do is keep that interesting so I've got the die cut here but I love the waist and if I just show you it's just stunning it's just <laughs> stunning on itself isn't it yeah I mean all I need to do to make that is just I don't need to do hardly anything but I want to bring the background and the, the flowers into it so I'm just going to place that there on top and I'm just going to I mean you can be a bit lighter or a bit choose your own colours or it's entirely up to you but I just want to bring in some elements of this popping out right so I don't want to do the whole thing I just want it I remember go both ways I just want it sort of popping into the background and you know because there will be some um, crafters that are looking and thinking you know because that paper is so beautiful yeah would be afraid to then Absolutely. add on to that as well but what advice what would you say about that anyone that's got that kind of oh no no that that it's finished product is in that respect and you want to go in this style what, how would you well there's two you're pages not used to doing it? yeah there's two pages of it and what I would do is I would just go for it because if you don't like it all you have to do is just paint it with gesso and you've got you've got another sheet to do and that'll just take the edge of it and you never have to throw them away and that's the thing of it you see even this looks nice if you rip this off but can you say I've introduced that yes. really soft color so now I've made it different I mean what I can do now is get one of the die cuts but I think that I'm, doesn't look at all out of place or no. not deliberate. in fact it looks like it feeds into it and part of it well one of the things that you need to think about is the colors that you're using if I was just start putting a bright pink on that yeah it, it would be okay but then it would be the thing that you're looking at I don't want it to be that I want it to be um, in the background I want it to be part of it but then I want these to sort of pop up so what I do then is think about um, how you're going to sort of present you these flowers do you want them sort of right at the front do you want them in the background and the way I do that is I've just put a tiny bit on the top part and it, it might be a hit and miss, you might even not see it much. But I'm just going to stamp like I did. Like oh, right, yeah. Near it, because there'll be a lot of families, just there. And almost like in the areas where there's gaps. So now I've got a little bit more sort of impact now. What I can do is introduce 
a little bit of dark colour but I don't want it to be too dark so the way I do this now is you can do it two ways you can use your paints and use your ink oxide so I'm going to use the paints these are the paints that are in your kit so the paints here we'll look at this pan and these these pop out straight away is coming into this colour with right, that. Right. So what I'm going to do is get the other side of my sponge, just get a tiny bit of water on my sponge. I don't want it wet, I just want it damp. And then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the paint. Oh, I see. So I've got it mixed on the sponge and on there. And don't worry if you do that because it all um, it all comes off. It, you know, it's not going to harm it. Now, you'll get a different colour and it'll be a little bit darker so I'm looking at this now thinking I need that to be a little bit darker so you can build it up layer by layer with this so I've got a little bit of pink on it now right right so I'm not too worried I, I didn't intend to but it, it won't it won't harm because I've got lots of pinks on it so oh that's nice you can hardly see it but it's there so I've got that I've built up my colours quite like it but now I need to give it some more impact so I'm just going to give that maybe not I've got some like little leaves here and I'm just going to go really quite dark with this oh, oh yeah and this is the paint side I'm using I'm using the paint side so and turn it over so it, you've got an opposite and but this is all just the one paper pad so I've not so I've had to get loads of equipment out or anything this is just one paper pad but it already has a different feel it to will. how it looked three or four minutes ago. Absolutely. Uh, by the way, a third of the complete set of everything has uh, already now been allocated. So if you were interested in going for this one, you can see the way it's going. <laughs> it's only, the stock's only become less as we go through the hour. Yeah. Um, so do take advantage if you want to get hold of this. I know we're loving watching uh, Lovely Lou, of course, um, but uh, just wanted to give you a, an update on how it's going. It's a, a fantastic, it, it's such a lovely it big... Is big collection of all those that work together and there's big savings to be had. And it, so. you keep using it as well, it's not one of them that you'll put away because like, these, the flowers on their own I'd use, the, the teapot on it, I'd mm. use it for something else. It's, go it's got it's got that underlying theme but like you say lots of individual Absolutely. elements that make up a nice package on them as well. I think that's why it's also proving so successful with people. See that's looking great that. I've added the, uh, what is it, wilted violet, yeah. And just to give it more impact now and you can just see I'm picking it out. Yeah. But to me now it's starting to look like I need something in the front so there's two things you can do what I'm going to do is introduce black to it and I'm using a bit of a, a sad ink pad and when I mean sad I don't mean sad <laughs> oh. stays on one at best but it's drying up so it, that's that is the best time to use it for this because your juicy pads it will take completely ruin that because it, it, you so don't much. want it it's too right, much right whereas this I'll just be getting a, a, a like a like a line drawing which is really what I want and plus it's still got the purple on it might even be too dry but what I want is there we go oh yeah no just gonna put a tiny bit more on and then I'm gonna go to my darker ones and just try and go over where I've gone there there we go that's it so I'm just going over where I've gone before and it doesn't matter if you sort of over stamp because it's flowers so just over stamping right now what I like to do is when I'm going to fill up this bit so what I've done is I've got loads of um, loads of bits and bobs and <laughs> all over i did have a white one there didn't i so where's that gone now which bit are you looking for now oh my brain i did <laughs> I, I just did oh here's one i'll use this one so you get a couple oh. of these um you don't have to have many uh, you can have as tons if you want and the flower one now what i've done is i've actually introduced a little bit of music paper just to give it a little bit of difference now oh, you, uh, yeah. you could apply that to that if you wanted but I, I was not too sure about that but i really like the idea of this so i'm going for a juicy ink pad now and this one is different because it's really it really oh, the will difference, you can see the difference put it onto the stamp can't you there absolutely you will see it and this is what i want now because i'm going to really dark because this is a focal point at the front so you can just see that there and i'm going to take another one just popping off the page that's it now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to get a little bit of that's a strong colour isn't it that's a lovely colour it's beautiful but what I want is I want more of a, a, a sort of a, a gentle wash with this now so I'm going to just get a brush and I think I'll 
pick up a tiny bit of watercolour with it. So I'm going for a, a, a violet. It's the violet in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. So I'm mixing the watercolour and the violet. And all I'm going to go is go straight on my die cut. Now, depending on the paper that you use, you will get a different effect. So you can see that's still not dark enough, so I'm going to put a bit of this on it as well. And you can leave it to dry or whatever you want. But it actually, to me, it's not dark enough. But what you can do is if you leave it like that and keep doing that, you'll get a wonderful effect on oh, the back. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, you're picking up the points. So, you know, it will it will sort of change as it dries you can do it now you see you can do it with the text paper but i'll show you what happens it gets because it's a lot finer text paper it's you've got more chance of it look oh ripping. i see yeah so you, you can use it but please be aware that it is going to it's much finer material yeah. to work with than that yeah right yeah. so what i'm going to do now is just here i need to get some some sort of dark start going so I'm turn the stamp round and I'm just gonna go for it here while that's drying and I want to create a dark element so with the same colours and I'm mixing that up and then I'm going to get this stamp. Now you were excited about these stamps yeah, when you were talking about fantastic. before we uh, came on. And that's this is a card to me, this would never be put away now. This would be on my table permanently, never run away. It'd be there forever. People say, what, you're not putting that stamp? No, nope, because I need it. I need it. I need it on it. Because it's just one of them. It's going to be such a hard worker. And this is going to be at the very front. So I'm just going to move that there. I'm going to get my juicy pad, she says. Now, this will be at the front. So what I've tried to do is create a wonderful little feel of... So bring it down a bit for you. So what I'm just trying to do it, go over it. That's it. Oh. And then there, and then what I'm going to do is just turn the stamp round, and I'm going to go into the bottom with it and just darken it a little bit more. Oh, I see, yeah. Just yeah. there, and then bring that up. And then what you're yeah. going to do is the tips of it. So if I just, you can take it off and do it, or leave it on. And all I'm doing is the very edge. I better show you this. This has got a completely different feel now, hasn't it? Yep. Yeah. So I'm introducing the stamp into it, darkening it, and it's now got this feeling of it's moving forward. So when this is dry, these can be arranged any way you want. But what you do need to do is glue them on. Um, I'm not going to put that one on because it's a bit of a thing, but glue them on. And then at the very bottom, you're just going to darken them so that they don't fight. It, what I'm what I'm like about this is that that sort of grunge and that sort of darker feel yeah. to, to this, it, but it still actually looks beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> Do you know exactly. what I mean? It's not taken away nah, from what nah, you nah, had nah. as the basics and then, and the, the very beginning of this with the paper that you were using here, and it still had, but it has got that other element that you said it's not as pristine no. and trimmed edges as you'd expect in that quintessential you know british kind of Absolutely. garden but yeah. you, but you, you've not lost that you just no. added to it and it's just got that sort of darker busier absolutely um little bit more disheveled kind of feel about that but it but it still has that beauty at the heart of it which is what's so clever what you've done it's lovely well i like the idea of it being you know that idea more like of, a wild garden yeah for, <laughs> you know foraging and you think what's oh, what's underneath there what's going on there and that's what i like so i'm just going to put in some new newspaper on this and uh, sorry text print I'm just going to go over it but I will darken it down and you can do every, I mean use all the, the stuff that they've got um, you know and just darken it down but I don't want to do too much so and again once it's stuck down you've got a better chance of it just oh, I see adding on then and then you can just rub that in but that again is a little bit oh hey hey up <laughs> and I can just do this now what you would do now, you do need to bring that out, and you, you need to do it with a pen, pencil. Have you heard me? You need to do it with a good brush. Right, so all I'm going to do is just bring that colour in now, and just put a little bit of colour. It looks a bit, while you're doing that, I'm just going to bring this forward a little bit by adding a little bit more colour to it. And all I'm doing is dotting it on, and you're getting this wonderful flowery texture. You are the master of this sort of 
this stuff. And I'll tell you what, if, if you have got a question while Lou is here, mm -hmm. Please, 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 um, you know, so if you're new to starting with crafting or experience and you just come up and you've got some other ideas oh, or yeah. something, what, you know, please email it in now while uh, Lou is working on this because if you sort of see how Lou has transformed that paper into what you've got here, which, like I said, still looks beautiful, but it has a very different feel yeah, to what does. some of the other um, uh, examples that we've got here on the show to show you. Uh, studio at Hachanda, please um, drop us a, a, any questions you might have for them and we'll, yeah. and we'll read them out um, and, and go through, if, if that's okay with you, Lou, to sort of is, answer. Because yeah, yeah. you have got the, the master of just taking that, and I love the way that you build up these, you know, these part bit by bit and just experiment and you look at something and it's you all see a layers. little bit there, yeah. the layering of it, yeah. It's all layers, and I mean, th th this part of this book is an old book, but I like the idea of don't, don't waste this bit because this colour it's so... Oh, the very bottom of it, without even yeah. the, with even the text and even. The top, I mean, it wouldn't have looked very good if I stamped on that. It says the murder book. <laughs> that's not great, is it? So, do you know what I mean? It's, that's not, maybe not that bit. But keep this, <laughs> keep this bit. And, and I'm, I, I am sorry, but I was cutting out before and I didn't realise, but there was some naughty words. So if, I, if I've not spotted them all, I do apologise. I didn't do it on purpose. I really didn't. I don't do stuff like that. <laughs> you know, what, what a job, me, you know what I mean? <laughs> Right, so I quite was it like in French? that. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Very naughty. I don't swear I'm a lady. <laughs> so you are a lady. A lady. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, these little bits, don't don't you know, if they fall off, don't worry because you can just add them. Nothing will just stick them down. Right, this one, what we've got is this remember we had the um Come on with this. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. That's lovely. It's lovely yeah. something, isn't it? Which one is that one which one is that one from? Is that, oh, I know it's in the complete, so the complete, um, sexy body go for everything. I'm just trying to think where there was in the midst. That's a lovely, um, sentiment, isn't it? It is lovely. I really like this. All I'm doing now is just stippling, um, around the edges. I don't want to put too much colour on. Um, I just want to give it a little bit of colour, mm -hmm. an edge to it, but you can shade it if you want, you know, do your, what's, what's it called, with your sponges and stuff. But, uh, to me, I'm not interested in, I just want it to look, like it's not too too much now you could have it there if you wanted to or you could put it up there i prefer it down here and then i, I it's up to you what that you do great. now and you could you could have another thing an, another leaf say this one here um this is off the die don't use the die don't forget the die cuts are there to be used don't think you just have to keep them how they are you can color them in you can do anything you want and just cut a leaf off and because i want it to sort of be part of it oh i see you can add on there yeah by the way if you're interested in that sentiment that uh, and uh, you're not going for the entire um collection yet uh, that that's that's fine uh zero three five four seven four there's that one uh, individually there as well which is the um english garden believe and cup of tea stamps foliage and bird dies and the paper pad all of that 24.99 again that comes with that 14 pound saving now don't forget if you are going for the complete collection of course you will get that 14 pound saving it's all part of the big bundle price at the end of that as well so loads and loads it's proving really really popular and, and I think what people are enjoying and, and tell me if I'm wrong in this and you can email in of course let us know your comments about this is uh, I think that people are, are, are looking at that kind of watercolor quintessential kind of yeah. style and looking how you can change the perception of that with it with, with just a little bit and playing with that and oh, that it, looks amazing all that is is one piece of paper and I'll try and put it on a piece of card for you sorry rummaging around it but you can put it on a piece of brown card or you could put it on black or white but then you know now if I do that and cut that out I actually Think that's, that's quite it looks pretty. amazing. It really, really does. And then you've does. got Look all the that. bits on it. You know, you've got depth there. And I could go mad. So when it's dry, do, don't do it when it's wet because papers don't like that. But when it's dry, add a little white bits. You know, as shadows. And if you really want to, what you can do is <laughs> still take. Still goes. Still going. This is what happens. I know. I know. It's fine. It's okay. Your flowers. You can add a little bit of shadow around the back of your flowers. So it, you, you're sort of picking them out, which. Not too much, but you're also giving it a shade, so they don't look as... And, and that's now bringing that one out, so... And if you do, do the right ink, you can watercolour with them, but I actually I think really that is, look... I think that looks amazing. I, really look, nice I could put that. a frame around that, and that would go on my house. That is absolutely stunning. I think it's a, to everybody sort of card, isn't it, or anything. It's, yeah. it's not 
gender specific or anything. It's just for people who like gam, you know. Okay. Right, listen, we've got, we've got more demonstrations yeah, that yeah. you're going to hopefully do for us as well now. So uh, I really hope you've enjoyed that. And I did say that you just sort of take what you see here and then give it a completely different perspective mm. by, by, by the, all the tips that we're getting from Lou. Look, if you're looking for more inspiration or maybe just want that time now so you're not going to miss any demonstration to get these into your basket while you can, now's the time to do it or be inspired by a few other images of what you can get with this one day special. I have to say that I, I generally think that there is some real magic to be made with this entire uh, kit if you're going for that. I've just, I've just looked at this. Did you, just look, did you say that you know? Yeah, I didn't even see this. It's just been popped on. And from Sammy. Sammy. This is. Um, I've got some lovely people now. Um, guesting designers. I've got Patty Dutton. I've got Alison Horn. I've got Sammy Thompson. And this. Well, oh, this is about. This is what I mean about having that. Pop, 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 pop in, pop in. Come this in. This what I mean about the that the. the the garden, the secret garden. Look at How that. How brilliant is that? Oh, something it's beautiful. That is, I think, the detail on that is that's that could be a set, it could be a film How cool set. Is that? Is that, so that's the paper. Yep. Oh, no, that's from the um, embossing. embossing folder that's in yep. there, of course, with the the gates, of course, that is yep. all there as well. Then taking the trellis and the die detail cut. and the die cutting from that and continuing that and all the way around as well. It's got actually little shells on there uh, to, to work on that with beautiful. Wow. And then taking the stamps, but then what you've taken from the, the die cutting and move them on there to give you that lovely height. But wow, that is beautiful. And again, just the background yep. detail. That is truly beautiful, stunning, isn't it? It's Absolutely brilliant. stunning. Now, that I would look at that and I wouldn't think that's that's not quintessential yeah. English garden. It's magical. Yeah. It's it's mm -hmm. got an adventure about it and all of that. So, really do think that what you've got here use it to how you you'll know a lot greater than I do, obviously. But there is real real opportunity Magic. to go through this. So, the one day special. Let's just go through this if you want to go that. I will tell you a quarter of the stock of the one day special, which is just this bit here on its own as a one-day special. A quarter of the stock has, of that has already gone, so included in there. And uh, when it's gone, it's, it's gone. gone. By the way, so you've got your watercolours. You can see there with the two watercolour um, brushes. All that is included in there. Yep. You've seen those being used. Beautiful colours to work with. Then you've actually got the pads themselves there, actually with some die cuts for you in there, which is fantastic. And in there is over 270 of those paper that you can see and you can work with. Then of course you've actually got the dies themselves, and you've seen those that have been used in that last demonstration. By Lou. We didn't use, we've not used our lovely swirl here yet, no, have we? Not, well, that's it. Isn't we'll, it? We'll, yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll, it's amazing. We'll, we'll, we we'll did a little carbon, nothing, didn't we? Really? Stay tuned to see what happens. Uh, then down here, as you can see, we've got those embossing folders with those dies that are in there that will help you cut through those two separate flowers in that side. Or in here, as you can see, you've got that fantastic brick, um, old style, dry stone walling kind of feel about that. Plus, you've then got, of course, the actual gates that will open up there inside. Then we've got the stamping. This is the one that you saw from that was using that bottom section that she said is always going to be out on her crafting yep, desk. We've not used the foliage at the top yet though. Uh, and then of course you've got that lovely stamp for that gorgeous archway that's there. 914280. Over a quarter of the stock of that has already been allocated. And we're only 38 minutes into the one day special launch. That is £48. And this it itself comes to the, I said, thir yeah, £34 yep. saving if you'd like to go for that on its own. But a lot of people are going for the entirety with all those savings that are included. And I'll take you down there yep. to show you what else you 
you can get in there as well. Um, now, the second section we've got here, Lou, is we talked about those other elements that yep. can really bring through Absolutely. and we can use again in different styles, like the watering can and, yep. uh, and the fence, you say. Just for anyone that missed it first time round, what is it about this little section that it brings to the party? Well, you, you don't have to use it as it is. Like, the little flowers are so, they're, they're fillers, they just go for everything. But, you know, you could use the fence, um, cut the ends off and make it a train track. You could use, um, take the, the nozzle off the watering can and the handle and you've got a vase. So don't just think of them, like the chair, I was quite liking the actual, just the shape of the back. Yeah, on its and, own. Yeah, yeah. You know, without the chair, or you can make it into a stool. Like you've got that wonderful lace a trellis, mm. but I think it's great as lace. It looks brilliant as a lovely lace yeah, design. Yes. Yeah. But you've got the, pe you know, and then those flowers which cut in and out, and they're they're, they're really clever. Then they're clever little things. I'll just show those again because you brought this lovely example here of how those will be used, and they sort of pop through and give you a lovely effect actually. Uh, if you're going to work with those on the flowers themselves, which is which is fantastic, lovely. Is. That that is that is lovely. That choice, yeah. isn't it? That, and that, and that that's piece. for the people who like the decoupage and the embossing, and you can make the flowers three dimensional and stuff. So yeah, lovely that. An awful lot in there. Now this itself again comes uh, with a fourteen pound saving, thirty four pound saving on the one day special, fourteen pound saving here. Five zero two one four six. Oh, and the paper pads, of yes. course, are in there. They're not the stickers. They actually are the paper, paper pads. pads yeah. And again, you've been seeing how that looks as well. Uh, but again, changing up and grunging it up Absolutely. and doing a different style is lovely Absolutely. but there's also a second section as well on top of what you've just seen there that can go with it and again we mentioned this early on in your demonstration Lou, on this one Lou that they are all linked there is a oh, there's yeah. a theme that runs through but here now you could create something the Mad Hatter kind of tea Absolutely. party kind of feel because Absolutely. now we're looking at almost a crockery style and everything that goes yeah. with it. You could make that into a really like tea party. You could have that at the back of the gate so it looks like Mad Hatter's tea party. You could have the hollyhock and the uh, nightshade foxglove. You could have that just on its own. Mm. I mean, you'll look at some of the samples. I'm going to do you a simple watercolour with that and it's stunning. I mean, it, they won't be as good as the samples because those those are absolutely, they've hit the nail. They're, there's a watercolour one down there, and Carolyn did one as well. Oh my goodness, mate. They, uh, I saw them and I just went, oh. Oh, oh really? That's it. Oh. That's, oh, oh, you need to do. I was like, right, I'm so stealing that. <laughs> well, are we going to see that then? Oh, yeah, I hope right, so. We're going to see well, that. Right. Gonna, see, there it is. Look, that is beautiful, look isn't at it? That. Isn't that stunning? That is that's lovely. That's our Emma's, that. Emma Blake. I'm also, I'm also partial to, uh, to uh, a nice little cupcake. But uh, look at that. You see, Emma's changed it up. She's put stuff in the background, and she's a grunger like me, and she's sort of found things that don't look like really girly twee. You know, yeah, I, I, we know what you yeah, mean. Okay. We know what you mean. But you, 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 honestly, they are, I could do with another one of them now, right? Uh, Twenty-four <laughs> ninety-nine. So this again, fourteen pounds saving on here. Fourteen pounds saving on the last page. Thirty-four pounds saving on the one-day special. Uh, so all of that, you can see why we were saying, look, go for the entire bundle because, of course, that with the um, with that special why not price as well is absolutely fantastic. So that's a saving so far of sixty-two pounds saving that we're looking at uh, regarding that. That's how it stands. But also. If you want to go for the papers, now uh, these are the 12 by 12 uh, we've got here and um, uh, here these are beautiful again yeah. and gorgeous on these. You get A4 with these as well. You oh A4. yes you do, you do. Yeah. In fact I think, I don't think I showed the A4 last time, I think I just showed the, uh, the, um, the larger side, the 12, yeah, but again similar ones, um, 8 of each. But th so this is something that you pretty much started with on yeah, that last that's demo. It, that's it. So you see that almost a before and after, Absolutely. and there's a place for both, isn't Absolutely. there, for this, which, which is what's so lovely about I mean, these. We've got a wonderful piece by Patty where she's just journaled on one of these. I'll just bring it in to show you. Oh yeah, go on, and show And that this. is it. She's journaled on it, and that's that's using one of the pages. So she's added her own touch to it. Ah, yes. So, you know, do what you want to. It started, you finish it. That is lovely. It's lovely isn't the, it? the, well, the wheelbarrow with the flowers in there. Yeah, of course, the you've got the fence, fence in the background that yeah. takes it. And then uh, the that all the foliage at the top there as well to drop down. Yeah. But you, you can really build these up beautifully, yeah, can't you? I to like get the idea that I, I, the fact that she's done like a style of journal, I love it. Yes, it yeah. makes, makes people realise that it's not just scrapbooking. You can journal, you can do your grunge, and they're all double sided. They're all really, really nice papers. Something for everybody there to is. enjoy and to, to work that's, with. That's done. If you chop that off, that's a piece of that's a piece of art in itself. On its own, there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You use that for a separate project, couldn't doll's you? Doll's houses. As well. you can, some of these are doll's houses around well, the front Well, this other thing, can we show this? I don't think we showed it when we came oh, down the, earlier on. This is who, who's this? Who was this by? This, this is, is Kaz, uh, Carolyn. Carolyn. Look at that. Look at that. That's uh, class, that. 
That's clever. That is beautiful, isn't it? That is a, you know, keep all your stationary bits and pieces oh, that's in cheap. there, possibly. Or just there for your different brushes, even on the side of your it. crafting. But I just think that is absolutely gorgeous, and isn't it? papers, she's pieced them together, glued them that, That's genius, that. And then she's just rubbed the embossing powders on the top to give it that easy look. But Cutting at different angles, yeah. you've got a different feel about that. I mean, these are your, your, your finger tubes, aren't you, for your foil and stuff? Right, yeah, yeah. So just recycled and reused Absolutely. and done. Absolutely. Even bottles, you could do the same cover, cover not bottles, glass jars and stuff. Yeah. You know, make make use of your recycling. But what's nice about that is that the beauty that comes from, I know that there's little touches on there, but the paper, the paper, the paper does paper? it, doesn't yeah, it? Which is, which is fantastic. Uh, 10 99 uh, so it gives you the A4, eight of those sheets, and eight, of course, of the 12 by 12, uh, five, six, seven, eight, double, seven. Now that, if you would like to go for the entire bundle, is also bundled into it. But don't forget, on top of your 34 pound saving, your 14 pound saving, your 14 pound saving, if you then also go for the one day um, complete collection, of everything, there's an on top of either another five pounds saving on top of that, bringing your total saving you're looking at to 67 pounds uh, that you'll be looking at there if you go for everything. Now, if you're a Freedom member, of course, now if you're not. Why not? Because actually you've got the chance here to get this for £94.46. and pence. That would include then your postage and packaging and of course any other P&P will be free for the rest of the month if you get anything else from that, which is great. Plus of course this can all be there over three payments on your Flexi Freedom, £31.49, and pence, which if you remember correctly is of course if you pay for that over your first of your three payments at that price, your first payment is of course even lower than if you went for your one day special on its own. Now. We are only 40 minutes into this and over 40, 40% 40 of the stock, of the entire stock has already now been allocated. So, figures, why not, why not go for this? Why not make yourself a Freedom member that you can see here and that's only 6 97 of course, then you're going to be getting your free P&P, &P, and that will still carry on for the rest of the month. And even if you decide at the end of the month you want to cancel, you can do, and then think, actually, I'm away from February, I've done a little bit of spending, I'll pull myself away from that for a little bit, and you can, and you can start it back up again when you want. So, you can buy a price would be 109.95, intro price is 104.95, but don't forget that we're going to take in all those other prices, £34 saving, £14 saving, and £14 saving, your freedom offer with 10% off comes as £94.45. I've never said the word savings so many times in savings. one sentence. Well, Thanks for saving me. Good, that, isn't it? Blooming good. It is blooming good. Blooming good. Uh, we like that. We do that. Oh, by the way, uh, we are looking at dispatch from oh, the yes. fourth yes. of February. Fourth of February, uh, which I think is a uh, Tuesday, Tuesday. Something like that, isn't it? Following Tuesday, I'm following Tuesday. Well, I've just, right, I've been anyway. faffing with that, but I've just put another bit in and I just think it looks really cool now. So look at that. It looks really cool. I do love that. It's away. Oh, oh, come oh, on we've now. Had a little Come on. But oh, we was asking for a name of a flower. Oh, of, yeah, that, yeah. of that flower. Delphiniums? Oh, right, a delphinium. I loved it. De well, you should have had the, the, uh, the pronunciation that was that. coming by you. Delphinium, like delphinium, a delphinium. <laughs> delphini delphini Who is that from? Thank you, Cathy. Thank you for sending that through as a response <laughs> to that. See? Ask and our wonderful Hachanda viewers always they help us get. out. Thank you very much. Don't forget, if you want to ask Lou anything, of course, drop your little emails through it as well. Within huh? reason. Within reason. Yeah, you know I mean. Anything, anything. I mean, nah, I, I mean, I think the world here, though, but forget it. I only, I'll only answer. Sorry, this is going on. Hey, well, <laughs> it's annoying me. You know when you, it goes over like that? It's not good telling that, is it? I'm trying not to yeah, comment. But it, you, but know, no. you ain't got a it goes here like this, it's rubbish. Are you alright? Do you want to do it up at the back or anything? I feel like that one, you remember them? Nettie and Ada, yeah. from, that was yeah. Les Dawson, wasn't it? Ada and... Uh, Nettie and Ada? No, one, Ada and Sissy. Ada and Sissy? Yeah, do you remember? Les Dawson yeah, and yeah. Barraclough, that's wasn't me it? And, that's me and Jane Telford. <laughs> hey, if I come in Dane outfit, I could do it right down there if you want as well. I'll tell you. You're right, how you do, mate. I could join you. So, <laughs> <laughs> that little moment, out of body experience there. That certainly was, wasn't it? Oh, sorry about that, everyone. That's his other hat. <laughs> Wig. Yeah, whatever. What are you doing down there? What right. are you doing down then, love? I'm making a mess. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all I've done is I've got a little bit of this on here, and I'm just going to do that because that's what I do. And <laughs> I'm going to do that because that's what I do as well. So I've got. All right, come on now. Now play nice now. Come on, come on. Right, I've got this. Round, uh, around, <laughs> what has this been? Round, watercolour, not what, right, start again. I've got this, ra uh, it's oval, stamping Ooh. block, and I just want to create like a watercolour background, so the suction on this is 
It's so pretty strong. impressive, isn't it? Blurry neck. And all I've done is, I've just picked a spot. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'll move it over and show you. Picked a spot. And all I'm doing is just allowing that. And I this is looking good, this. I want it to look like flowers. So I'm just overloading it. It looks like pressed flowers. Yeah. Yeah. I want it to look. Now, I don't want it to go too mad, but I want it to look like flowers growing upwards. So, and then you can keep yeah. going. And what I can do then is once I've done that, I can just introduce another colour. But what I can do is while I'm waiting for that, I'll just... Now, this is old card, right? And the reason I'm using old card is because I'm not using that anymore. But I like it, don't get me wrong, but it's not for me at the moment. So I'm using the back of it, which is brilliant. And I'm just going to pick that up. See, this would look nice. It, I mean, you can still use it. Because it's not bad with that. Yeah. You know, so I'm not knocking it in any way. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm, I am at the point now in my life when I'm using it all up because I'm fed up of having it and not using it. Right. What, 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 what point, what, does this, is this a point that covers everyone's life? Uh, well, I think I'm at that point, right, where my other half, he's, he's like looking at me and going, and he's not saying out, and that's good of him, but even he can't even get in his wardrobe, he's like that, and it's like one day I'm going to be found in the middle of it, oh, passed I, away, because it's uh, stacked I, I'll up. be honest, this demonstration's taken a turn that I wasn't expecting. Sorry, right. But, uh, just, so, now use your card. Anyway, the reason I'm telling that is use the stuff you've got, because um, that paper you can use, the papers in these pads, get them used, don't save them for a, a nice day. I never knew that glitter card could be so It is really. Morbid. It is really, really useful though. We don't look at the back of papers, we look at the front and it's like strange because really if you start looking at what they are, they're just amazing uses. And we don't, we just think, oh well, I'm not using that, I won't use it, that's it. And um, so it's my mission now. Will you come out for dinner one day? Yeah, of course. I just, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll, do you I do... Just, just talk for rubbish. Okay, can come we bring on. the whole team? Oh, I'd love to. Right, okay, we'll do I'd that. We'll do that. Okay. I've got some very interesting facts. Uh, where do you want to go? Do you want to go to your place? Do you want to go to my place? Where can't get in mine. Right then, we're, we're, we're up to mine it's then. Too much rubbish in it. I'm like a bag lady. Oh no, not a bag lady. An order. I'm an uh. order. Right, I'm one of them orders. Uh. What I've got is, <laughs> I've got that there. I've got this foxglove. And I'm just going to make that the centre of it. So, what you can do now is go two ways. You can darken the actual colour you've got here and make it really dark purple or lilac, or you can go with black. And it's entirely up to you what you do. Or you can go with a colour mix. Um, what you can do is also get your felt tip pens, anything like that. But I'm going to go with a black because I think that will really help me when I colour it in. What, I've, what I think I've realised about you now, Lou, is that while you're talking to us, there is things going on in your brain yeah. that only you understand and know. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then when you uh, when you finish talking, um, magic happens. I but it's, it's almost like a storing set. See, it was like a storing technique when you're doing things. I know now. I'm watching you, thinking you're not talking to me. You're just living your mind space to well, what create. It, what it is is when I was teaching, you can't have a gap. You know, you've got to explain what you're doing, why you're doing it, and the reason, because if you give people the reason and the understanding, then you're empowering them. Yes. So then you understand why they do it, why that happens. If you don't do that, people just think, oh, it's gone wrong, and they can't rectify it. Yeah. So the reason I chat is because we used to do it, I'd have, to, I'd have everybody around the table, would say, right, you do this, and this is why you do it, and go da da da, and then they go away and do it, you see. So, and I haven't got out of that. Well, it's great. Well, this is why I think everyone loves watching the demonstrations, because everyone's always learning so much from whenever you do do well, them. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Because, I mean, teaching was my life. It still is, but now... How many years were you a teacher? 20. 20 years mm -hmm. teaching. And what age were you teaching? What, 11 what? upwards. 11 upwards. Yeah, and it's... Which can be challenging in itself. It is, and I absolutely adored it. But, I mean, the good times, bad times like we have, but... Um, oh, I bet you. I bet there's lots of people out there now that talk back about their uh, wonderful art teacher. Well, some of them, I was a bit, I was a bit strict, but the, 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 the thing is... You were never strict, I, I was, I was, oh. firm but fair. Yeah, uh, But it. the thing is, it's, that's why I like to talk. I always remember, I was always frightened to ask questions sometimes, and it was like, I felt like an idiot. Sorry, I shouldn't say that, but I did, because I felt like, well, if I ask that, I'll look a bit daft. And, and I've come to realise now, there's no daft questions, and you, if you ask them, um, There'll be someone else who wants to know the same thing as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, you, you know, you must ask. 
Anyway, what I've done now is I've just taken the, the colours that I've used and I've just gone round the edge. And the reason I've gone round the edge is I want to bring that forward. I don't want to lose this beautiful effect I've got here, but I just want to bring... And I'm using the same colours I did before. So I'm just dabbing in like that. And I'm just giving it its own shadow, but not to the point where I'm... Um, not messing that up, but I'm not obliterating that. Now, because it's an oxide, it will still work. Right, so... Right, okay, so I'm happy with that, but I want something a bit darker now. So what? That, now we're going with my paints. So I'm just going to get this really dark... Brush. We've got uh, just a couple of minutes left in this hour. No way. Yeah, I know, I know. Right, well, will I be able to carry on with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so what I've done is, a little bit of the the dark blue just to give it a bit more of an edge and you'll see it just picks it up a little bit and then in the next sort of part I will just go in with the, the colour and paint it but you can see now all that that was just blobs on on the paper but that, that, but that little bit of that you, you've done around there as well do you know it's amazing how much that does make that uh, image pop though surprisingly doesn't it? it bring it it really does bring it up you know when you say it and you think oh that's not gonna work and then when you see it happen and you're like oh yeah it does actually yeah work. that was Just, really nice I'm looking for a fine paintbrush but this isn't the finer one but oh blooming heck silly woman I've use the brushes <laughs> I forget they're there. I forget they're there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to change that into a blue. And the reason I'm doing that is so I want it to pop out. So I've got a bit of the lilac, a bit of that. And I'm going to go in with a teal, believe it or not. Because the teal in this will make this a beautiful purple blue. And I'm just going to put a little bit more teal in it. So the colour I've mixed is teal and purple and blue. And I've got this wonderful colour. I'll just show you the colour now. There. So I'm just going to pick this out on one side only. And just inside where these... You know where the the insides of the flowers? Oh, yeah, yeah. Just uh, pick it up just inside so that it brings attention to the bottom and the top and all the flowers. So just do that. Add a little bit of depth down here to bring it out. These paintbrushes are good. Uh, you don't have to use them with water inside if you want to. I'm not using them like that. If you want to get an effect yeah. and you want to blend that in and you're painting, one of the nice ideas is to just push your finger on it. I'll just show you again here. You just slap your paint on. You don't have to be neat. And then get your finger in like that. And it does the same effect as the... Right. Now, so what I've done... I'm just going to pause for one second, if yeah. that's OK, just one second, because uh, I know that we're coming to the end of this particular hour as well, but if you have got anything in your baskets from the show so far, please make sure you can check that out so you can take advantage of everything you've seen so far. And we continue on uh, and, uh, and carry on with the demonstration, which is fantastic, and, and I'm loving that as well. So uh, to go through because th th it really does look amazing, uh, and this is again just one of the stamps, oh, yeah. isn't it, that we're working we're working with here, yeah. and, and it. But all the, your lovely other techniques and effects around it just really do. Well, you just you can leave it like that if you want, or you can you can sort of make more detail happen you can add white pen to it and you know but i do need to leave that to dry and then what you do is you just if you want to give it some sort of uh, depth and background one of the easiest ways and um let me see now i'm going to do this get a paintbrush and i'm going to go in with the this isn't the greatest paintbrush that, to use it's an all right paintbrush which is wrong style so i'm just going to go mixing all the colors that i've got on my palette and i'm just going to go really faintly around the edge now you might even not see this because what i don't want it to do is overtake i don't want it to overtake what i've already got on my page i just want to create a pattern or an edge should i say to work where my image is so I'll take that off and it looks oh wow 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 well, what you do now is while it's wet you pull the color out so i am now working outwards with it so if i show you what i mean i'm just going to blend this color out so that it now starts to look more 3D and you can add more colour to it and blend it out, blend it out 
and now it looks starts to look like it's popping off the page or on the page so it's quite a nice little technique it's lovely that technique isn't it's a it really easy one and um you don't need to well, look, have well you just finish that little section yeah, off yeah, sure. are we okay to just uh, inspire do. some others with some other images have oh yeah please these. Absolutely beautiful images uh, from all this, and which can all be uh, created, and much, 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 much more as well Absolutely. with anyone. Uh, if you are just uh, tuning in with us and joining us now in this hour, lovely to have your company. I'm joined by the fantastic Lou, Aww. who is uh, a teacher, ins inspiration, um, uh, a marvel, um, a magician with a brush. I'm getting all embarrassed now. I saw. Yeah. Well, you gave me the fiver. You said to say it, so um, <laughs> I thought. I thought I better give it some money's worth, you know. Uh, but all, all absolutely credit where credit is due. Now, in the last hour, just, just let's just show oh, very yeah. quickly that what you've uh, the two, two things that we just done. Now you can catch it on rewind if you are just tuning in with us right now um, from that. But this is taking the quintessential sort of the um, English garden feel, and you've given it. I, I want to say the loo stamp, no, the it, loo touch. It's, it's gone grungy. Not grungy, but it's gone a bit messy. Well, we've got a bit droopy oh, as well yeah. there. I know, that's that bit that was a bit wet. But this is like just one of the papers and you making your own sort of... I'm going to try so it doesn't... Making your own mark on it by adding text papers and stuff like that. But a completely different feel. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. A completely yeah. different feel. Now, no. also, taking one of the stamps from one part of what you're uh, available to get here, you created something again, which I just think this is fantastic. I can frame that. That That's, is beautiful, Lou. You, yeah, you're better with them than me. Look at that. Um, yeah, it was I thought, just, you do the hard work, I'll hold I'm, it. I'm happy it's doing teamwork. That, yeah. yeah, it's teamwork. Look at that. Look at that. And all I did was splodge it on, and that was seriously splodged it on with my, with my block, my D, um, stamp yeah, block. Yeah, to get the, the initial, yes. And stamped it on, and then splodged it again, and then just went round the actual stamp block with my... Um, oxide and then brushed it out and it almost looks like it's sat on a mount now yeah it does it does yeah. it's just fantastic so as far as inspiration of what you're going to be looking at here oh, yeah. in this hour it, it's phenomenal now there is a, a massive collective to go with here with savings right the way down the counter and it's when we start talking about the savings on each individual part that when you put that together accumulatively you'll realize this is exactly how much you're made to save so let's start with the one day special yep. which is You've got something here for, for you know, for, to cover every aspect that you're looking at here. We've yeah. got stamps, we've got embossing folders with um, dyes in there as well. We've actually got some of the uh, pre-stuck cut out for you. You've got the watercolours with the brushes actually to work with this. Just talk us about this and, and where people might position this in their collection as it is at the moment. Well, this one is an all-in. So, to me, you won't need, all you'll need is like your basic scissors, stamp block, and you don't need much else, a bit of glue. And then you can do whatever you want because you've got the papers and the die cuts with just plain papers you've got, you know, um, it's just the stamp it. I know people were saying to me they just want the stamps on their own, but they go, they, they're yeah. made to go with that. Yeah. It's just a really beautiful collection. Uh, and and there really is, I mean, you can get some quite oh, magical. Yeah, um, I know we'll just uh, give another example here. Uh, and this was, uh, yeah, this was for Sammy. Sammy Thank done you, this. Sammy. Uh, and, and just beautiful work. So taking here the embossing fold at the background yep. with, of course, you do have the, the, the that lovely filigree gate that, um, that is all part of that embossing folder that's in there. So that does it for you automatically. Parts of the trellis that are there as well that you'll find from other parts of the stamp and the, um, uh, the die setting in there as well. Little extra details on there. But this this is something that you you're gonna get 
the real either gothic kind of feel, oh, yeah. or look at this one, very dark sort of feel Absolutely. with this dark magic kind of feel, or then you can brighten up completely, and that could be a lovely summer's day, Absolutely. and a very different feel to that Absolutely. sort of secret passageway in the garden, isn't it? I mean, it's it all depends on the colours you use and how you use them, but yeah, I mean, we've got um, some amazing uh, samples that mm. people have done for us, and journals, and these are beautiful, just cards on their own, and yet, you know, it's just paper cut, and then the dies cut out with them, and just use them, so, you know, you could do... Absolutely. Really beautiful. And that's actually. the little die cut. I think that's so cool. Pat has done absolutely tons there. Thank you. But I've got a great team. And you can see she's just, all she's done, when I say all, don't mean to be rude, but she's just gone over the die cut. Um, the embossing and just brought it alive. How oh, lovely. And again, a very different feel absolutely. about that which she's managed to acquire there, which is absolutely gorgeous. So, there's uh, something for everybody here. And, and it is worth pointing out as well for value for money. Now, we have got the watercolours here. You've got the paints that are in here. It comes in there where you can see with uh, the brushes, two water brushes in that were. Now, we cannot, you cannot get any more of nope. these, can we, Lou? No more. So once very they've popular. very very popular, once they've gone in this collection, they have gone. gone. There's no more of those to get. So no. it really is first come first served for that. If you'd like to get those as part of, of course, the um, entire kit, forty eight pounds and ninety eight pence. And this does come with it. If you go for this pack, as it is the one day special, that's a thirty four pound saving. Wow. Uh, usual price of eighty two pounds and ninety eight pence. Nine one four two eight zero is your item code for that. But I would suggest if you if you are just tuning in for this hour now, it's the second hour launch of the uh, the one day special. Don't go for it just yet because when you see what else there is to go with it and when you see where the savings are, you may want to go for the entire bundle while we still have that in stock. Yeah. So, remember £34 saving there. Now, which comes our second section here, this comes with a £14 saving. Yep. And talk to us a little bit about what we got here, Lou. Right, these are your add ons or, you, or it can stand alone. I mean, yeah. it, that's the great thing about them. Each set will stand alone on its own and you can use it like that. But it's an amazing add on to this. Mm. I like the fact that you've got papers included with this and then you've also got, you know, your stamps and your die cuts. So it's like a mini. Yes. Yeah, one it day is, special. Yeah. And then we've got another mini and to me it's like an add on. And the way that it's been priced mm -hmm. and the way that it's been done, I can work that every month now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I have to think of stuff like that. It's, uh, that is lovely. Now this is one element from that, yeah. which is the watering can with the flowers in there. That could be, a, that's a massive feature, Absolutely. just that one on its own, isn't it? That's it. I mean, you take, if we were to look at this, what Emma's done, if you take that, she's done that beautiful with all the lights mm. on it, but if you cut that off and that off, you, and that, you actually, do, you could just have it as a vase. Yeah, you and could. And you could put paper on that, or paper pieces. Yes, yeah. So, you, you, you know, or even do it again and chop that out and stick them coming out of it. So... Yeah, loads, loads I mean, I'm just thinking play. about it, looking, and when you get it home, you do that. My advice is cut it all out, get it all on your table, make a complete mess, and then you're <laughs> happy. <laughs> but have fun while you're doing it as well, uh, which is lovely. So much in here as well. Yeah. 502146, 24 pounds and 99 pence. So this bundle, as I said, does have that 14 pounds saving on there, because 38.99 is your user yeah. price. You can understand where that, might, that price would come from. There's a lot in that bundle, but you'll see the theme as it works with everything, that and the one day special. 34 pounds saving. Fourteen pound saving. Another part of the kit has also got another fourteen pound saving on here. And you've been working. This is what you were just working with a second ago, wasn't yeah. it? That we had there that we saw on that piece and oh, just demonstrated. Those. I mean, those two flowers, right? With that other piece, they'll be on there because they'll stand alone. The classic, or you can make them grungy. You can make them magical, like. Um, Emma's really been clever with this today. But it, you can make it whatever you want. The teapots. Mm and the cup you don't have to have them like that you can paper piece them and you know have them 3d and i, I just like the idea of putting names on them and oh, time <laughs> yeah, for tea yeah. and all the all the little quips you can put with them yeah and i just think people if you're going to make your cards people will be gravitate to that right. because it's genderless and, yeah, and yeah. it's nice and every we need we need to send stuff to people yeah. because we're, i'm sick of emails oh. i'm sick of them and text, emails and, and texts all, I, I, when I get a, when I get a card, uh, something through the post, I'm oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. not a bill, not no, a bill, no, not no, a brown no one's one. Them. Send no. them back. Well, yeah. Um, so these would make absolutely no, you're right. amazing. It, you're right. I, I, let's go for a cup of tea. Absolutely no, I love it. I got very excited. It was my birthday uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, got lots of lovely messages on social media that come through, which is lovely and it's fantastic. But it was still nice to sit down and find open the card. I've yeah, got you, all my I don't cards. think you get out of that, do you? Whenever I've been sent a card by somebody. 
and they've made it. It's treasured. It stays with me. It never goes anywhere, and it gives me inspiration. I have yeah. a little book with them in, and I look at them and yeah. I nick ideas. No, I it's think what you've got to do. Absolutely, it's, it's little bits of art there. Of uh, Twenty-four ninety-nine uh, here, so that fourteen pound saving. Zero three five four seven four. Beautiful, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. Now, uh, as a background. Or maybe other ways of working with this, uh, your paper that's available that would mm. complement every other aspect that you've just been looking at down here as well. Now here you're going to be getting two lots, you're going to be getting your A4 size uh, plus you're going to be getting your 12 by 12 size so to work with. So you're getting those uh, eight ones of each and they are double sided on each yes. of these pieces of paper. 10.99 here. Um, some of these you can just trim up and you could put, <laughs> you could just frame them themselves, couldn't you? They're lovely. Well. I did something with my um, gate in my embossing folder. I shouldn't tell you this, but it came off. I, I pulled, pulled it off. Pulled off? What like, it? The gate on my embossing folder. <laughs> and I thought, I'd, right, but it actually works just on its own as well. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. That's lucky. Don't tell anyone. I thought, I just went like that. Oh, I wonder if this will come off. <gasps> I can't believe it. But you can put a door but in then. You can put your door oh, in it. Oh, I see. In, in you, the, don't, you don't have to have the embossing folder with it. No, you don't. It just cuts the, the door. But don't tell anyone. But, don't tell but, it, but I did all the others. But it's fine. But it just. Don't. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh. Did you try and hide it? Or something? No, like not at all. I don't care. And I do, it just <laughs> cut a door in there. It's like having a door there. And you can be, as long as your die cut thing is big enough, you put it anywhere you want. See, don't tell see, don't, don't, don't. Ah, little secret. Um, but the papers are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, door yeah. or no door. Very good um, quality. Well, they, they are gorgeous. And you can mix media on them, and I'll show you how, if you don't like a paper, not that you don't like these, it's just that if you want to tame this down and make something your own, just so over it. Oh, upside down. Um, they are, they are starting. 10 99 Now, <laughs> so this many savings the down there. One day special got £34 saving, the second section got £14 saving, third section got a £14 saving. Then if you want to go for the entire lot, on top of that we'll give you an extra, an extra £5 saving. So that'll give you a £67 saving if you go for the entirety of what you see that's on the desk here. Is that, is that good? That's good, isn't it? Uh, if you're a Freedom member, of course, now that, you're also going to be getting that for £94.46, uh, which is phenomenal uh, because there's another saving on that. And that would also include your postage and your packaging. Now, if you're not a Freedom member, why not? Um, because right now you can get that price because it is on your flexi buy, which is phenomenal. Now, just bear with me a second, Lou. I've got to do numbers here. If you want to go for this, this is item 713233, the complete collection. Now, your combined price will be 10995 the intro price is £104.95. The Freedom offer is another 10% off, giving it for £94.45, which is absolutely amazing. Plus, of course, don't forget you're saving because you're going to get your uh, your PMP that's all included within all this. So you're getting a phenomenal deal from all of that. If you're not yet a Freedom member, this is the absolute offer to go for. Now, don't forget. You can stop and start that as many times and whenever you want to. So even if you just use it for this month and next month you're busy and other bits and pieces or whatever, you just stop it. You still would have made the savings on this for this time right now. And if you want to start it back up again in March, for example, you can do that to 6 97 But you will have for the rest, of course, of that month going forward, free PMP for the rest of it because you are a member for that month. So it pays uh, to, pays to uh, what is it? Well, I'm trying to think of a rhyme. Pays to become, pays to play, pays to, pays to send me uh, in some ideas, pays to... Pays to do it. It's just pays to do it. Do it. I don't know why I was trying to overcomplicate things there. It, it is, that's what it is. It's pe just do it, just do it, whatever that... I think, that's that... Been, I think someone's already taken that. You yeah, can't use that. that one? What's that one? That's him doing it, isn't it? Like <laughs> <if> it <laughs> that guy who does it. Uh, that, just bolt. do it. That's it, just do it, isn't it? Oh, no, that's another one. I think that's oh, copyrighted. Just like that. Just, you got to do it right going on. Oh, just do it? Yeah, you know, just do it. Just do it. Wow, there's 30 seconds. We'll never get back, Lou. So, <laughs> right, Lou, anyway. what, what are we doing now? Because you, you, you've but, got a lot. To, you've got to work hard to beat what you did in the last hour. But, 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 right. Well, I'm going to do something in seconds. Oh, because, okay. Okay. Because, because, because. Right. I got these cards, and I just thought these are stunning, and I'm going to make a tiny card. I love these long ones. Right. You've got to do it the right way. Anyway, this is absolutely. It, I know. I know. I know. I know. Five second card or whatever you want. Now, this is a Slim Jim whatever card, Slim 
thingy one and all I'm going to do is very very lightly I don't want any hardly any any color on this I want it to be and this is not me I want it to be really so you can hardly see it perfect <laughs> I can't see I can't, it at all I can't see it <laughs> right so I really don't want a lot I just want to right that's enough <laughs> That's enough. I see it now, a little bit. Yeah, just just a, a mere suggestion. Right, but it'll look a lot darker Ooh. on there. And I'll just Actually, that's funny. When you do take it away, it does that. It, yeah, it is it's there, surprising. Isn't it? So, be, be, what I would suggest is if you do die cut these and you want them um, to stay a little bit, you know, stronger, longer, strong, stronger, longer, eh? What you need to do is just. Um, paint these and then leave them overnight and it, it hardens them up so you can use them so all i've done is i put a little bit of color on there and i'm going to get that uh we'll get this one now now which one's that we're using this there? is, is the that one. the the border one that you had yeah no this is the other one the off oh the okay for the, yeah they are. Oh, it could be anything off these i mean it might be nice with these but you you choose you've got that many you can look at and choose i mean it's a bit spoiled for choice really and then are you using a teacup anytime yeah, I can use that any time. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's the teacup and the uh, cupcake. Can you do anything with the cupcake? Yeah, starving absolutely. Now. Starving. Starving hunger. Yeah. Starving hunger. Like Marvin. Right, so I've got this one and I'm just going to put that on there. It sort of dropped, so I think it might have gone a bit Ooh. there. That's it. All I'm going to do now is get my pen. Not my pen, my. Um, I can't use this when I got told off for this. And then Paolo, she went, no, you can't put water on that. I said, I don't even want to put water on it, but <laughs> fright me to death with this. She went, no, don't do that. She bought some of those, I don't know what they are called now, those like little Spanish donuts in yesterday she had. Oh, What are they called? Oh, I don't know, but they're Churros? Churro. Churro? Oh, churros. 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 Yeah. Well, they, I can, they were lovely. Right, I'm going to finish this in seconds so that people can see that you can still make a lovely little card. And I'm really being tidy, not. I can hear them laughing. Blooming heck. They're loud. Not the girls yeah. in the gallery. Right. So they're then, still. I think that's I, I, sugar. Yeah, sugar is that sugar from the, gone to the those head. churros yesterday? Right, all I'm going to do is, when you've put colour on like this, if you just blend it out a little bit, you get, you, you get a nicer effect. So, just going to go around here. And this, seriously, the only reason I'm showing you this is because you can get a really, really nice, simple card just by stamp, one stamp. You can put a, a little sentiment on it. And I'm just using what's on my mat to colour this because I don't want any more. If I introduce more colour onto it, then... Chances are it'll go Pete Tong with me, it'll go to whoever, so I don't want that. This, see, this is why I love Hachanda, because what you, I know you're, you're still finishing off here, yeah, yeah. but you've done from, in the last show, something that's was already beautiful, and then you've changed it and you've added to a much sort of darker feel, but more like a wild sort of garden with yeah. it. Um, so here, one stamp. One stamp, that's all you uh, need. Just a little, with one colour. Yep. Yeah. Um, was that a separate colour used for the stamp as you did for the... Not the same back? colour. Same, same colour. Yeah, same colours. But you've got something here that just looks absolutely fantastic. So this works, even stripped back. It does. Or really layered on, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And, and that's what I like. I like the fact that um, you can use them in that way. You can use them to suit you. I mean, a lot of people might be looking at this and going, no, I wouldn't do it like that. And that's great, because I don't want you to do it like this. I want you to think that, okay, I would do it like this, and then do it. Mm, yeah. Uh, but how lovely to see oh, different ways of working absolutely. with the same tools. And, the, and uh, you know, it, I think this is what's great about all of the viewers for um, Hachanda, new and regular viewers as, to the show, plus yeah. All the fantastic work like yourself and all the other professional demonstrators do with that because there are so many options. You say you, you've got the same tools, but everyone has their own style. But that, that's art, isn't it? I mean, yeah. everyone has their own take on it. Absolutely. Which I think is what's so lovely about that. And, and you do encourage everyone at home to, oh, yeah. to, to, to want to experiment again, you know, and take those through, which is, which is what it's all about, isn't it, really? It is. And I've gone wrong here. Yeah. Can you see? I really mucked it up here. Right, because my grubby hands, look at the state of my hands, look, can you see here, so, and don't worry about it, because what you do is you get your stamp back, now because you can do it where you want now, I'm just going to stamp one there, and I'm going to make it, 
like that add another one there and you won't even see then and just join it so if you have a problem like that don't worry all you have to do all you have to do is just do some extra stamping and then a bit of extra oh don't go in there she'll kill me and then <laughs> add this into the background and so you can even if you do muck it up like i've just done with a color you won't now look you just wash it in and it looks like it's been there forever so please just get it going and and then what i would do it, it, this is important and i shouldn't do it now because it's got it's wet but you would get a black pen and i would just oh wow look at that one coming out there just i mean it, you don't do it all over you just need to have a, some like focal points and show where it is the points of the flowers and the leaves might be and that was you just did a smiley face on there that was a smiley face oh it is yeah, yeah. look at that two eyes and a mouth yeah, oh, that's all face. i can see now smiley faces but then <laughs> it could emboss look that. at that that you what a difference that. that those little touches make to that and then what you can do here is just you can brighten it up put that in but then if you wanted to you can just go around your lettering as well and if you, I won't do more but every other letter so that it brings that in and then just sit just li li literally one corner there one corner there oh Lou, that's brilliant that and that is... is a little card that I would be happy to have in the post and look at that look at that and it's like dead it really is little scruffy thing but i quite like stuff like that i, I mean a bit cleaner than that but i would not say that's scruffy at all i well, think that looks like beautiful watercolor work yeah it, well, and, and, it's simple isn't it but that is what sorry it's really simple though isn't it yeah you know i mean but people can do it that's what i want them to well, do well i just think that is amazing that really is genuinely uh, wonderful 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 okay. wonderful um we got to a little bit show some footage uh, for some other uh, i mean the, it is honestly we should this program should cover the warning it is jam-packed with inspiration Ooh. uh jam -packed Jam-packed with inspiration. Uh, be warned, you will leave inspired. Um, and to add to that, uh, we've got some more footage uh, to show you some other ideas of how you can use what you're going to get in our one-day special bundle. Have a little look. Even I'm inspired. I thought I could have a go with some of these, because I think that they are, that the work is done for you on these. And all the lovely pieces that you can get in the entire bundle, you know, you've just seen just one element um, that's been used by Lou, but what you get in here is just fantastic to work with. So let's just recap on what you're going to get with the one day special. And don't forget, when you're including the um, the, the, the watercolours and the two um, watercolour paint brushes that come with this as well. When they are gone, the water brushes, when they're gone, they're gone. Uh, so do get them while they are in stock. Uh, you can take advantage. Um, so in here, you are going to be getting uh, the stamps, which are stunning. Of course, if you look at the stamps down here, which have already been used already um, um, by Lou. See, that was certainly the one that's at the bottom of that, of course, that does create that wonderful foliage uh, that you've got from the top of that. Then you've also got that wonderful stamp there as well that gives you that gorgeous just archway. You can imagine that in a hidden part of a garden somewhere as well. Castle wall, for example. Uh, you've also got your die cutting and your embossing folders. So you've got the two elements there from the little flower heads. You've also got that wonderful filigree gate uh, that opens up as well that you can use for those. Uh, we've also used a lot of these actually in the last couple of shows with um, the launch on this one from 
uh, Lou, and that, of course, is our beautiful floral dyes that come through. We've not used our squiggles yet um, uh, for the borders app, but who knows? It's early days, of course, in the one-day special. You're also going to be getting your book. Now, of course, in your book here, you're going to be getting some wonderful, already cut-through uh, images that you can work with, okay? Now, there's over 270 of those images that you can see. They are already, as you can see, already cut through and already a little popping out almost, to be quite honest there. Um, look at those. They are absolutely beautiful. Lots of lovely themes that would all work. Cute teddy bear on a washing line. And you can't get better than that. But it's out there, well loved, well washed, and now um, just hanging out. Just hanging out as a teddy bear there. Uh, of course, now, there's, some of these are going to work beautifully with the, the other elements that you'll see in the other parts of the set. So the watering can, for example, there's lovely garden scenes that will work. Really lovely. Lots of those floral elements, again, that are also repeated. But they are there already pre-cut and ready to go. Over 270 of those. Then you're actually, actually going to be getting the water colour set itself. Now, when it has gone, it has gone. There's no more of these coming back into stock for these, so do take advantage while you can. Uh, lots of lovely elements in here, and again, just even one or two of the elements will work beautifully. Um, in all of this. So again, here we can see from the cutouts that you're going to take. Um, oh no, hang on, here we go. I think we've got some of the, uh, we've got that right way around. Yes, here we have uh, the cutout from that's being used there, I do believe, on the edge in, from that sort of uh, lovely scroll kind of feel uh, that's in there. Here is one that, that was done um, by our very own Lou herself, uh, with that one of the prints to work with. But again, a very, very, very different feel. When you see that, then it's been used and worked through with that embossed stamping, um, boss, bossing folder, again, with those little elements that are already picked out. But again, the difference from that to, if I can just show... Oh, has that, has that little piece come off? Is it still... Oh, is that little piece is still... Oh, it's annoying. It's, 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 it's because it was wet, wasn't it, when we put it through? Um, but uh, there we go. You've got that as well. To plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. One of the sentiments that's in there as well. This is from the paper stock uh, from the cards as well, but was layered up and built up again and get a very, very, very different feel uh, that you got from Lou. I think is beautiful. Um, and again... All the papers, different papers being used in those, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, this one day special, with all of this in there, and when it's gone, it's gone with regards to the um, watercolour paints, it has got a saving of, it has got a saving of £34. Uh, so you're looking at a usual price here of £82.98. Right now, it's available for £48.98. pence. If you'd like to go for that, 914280. There's a fantastic opportunity. Now, there are other bundles that you can add on to this, of course, if you wanted to. For example, 502146 is going to get you the beautiful English Garden Wildflower and Watering Can Stamp, the Rose Furniture Dies, and the Paper Pad this time that's there. Now, this comes in at 24 99 which is great value. That's a £14 saving rather than the usual price of just short of £40. 502146. Uh, bundle three that you can see here is the fantastic, beautiful English Garden Believe and Cup of Tea Stamps. You get the foliage and you get the bird dies in here and the paper pad again. Again, another saving of £14, just £24.99, and our paper collection to bring that all together, which will give you eight of the A4 sheets and eight of the 12 inch by 12 inch sheets as well. Both of these are getting a double sided for you. That's only 10.99. Item number you'll need for that: five six seven eight seven seven. And if you want it all then why not go for it? How about this? Uh, if you're not just singing a Queen song now, you never will, but 713233, uh, you can get this. Now, we're approaching half of the stock of the entirety already now allocated, approaching half of that stock. There's a whole day yet still tomorrow to go with this, so while you're seeing it, grab it if you can. Now, that gives you a saving of £5, but remember, if you're going for that, you're getting a saving of thirty-four ninety-five on the one-day special, fourteen pounds on each of those extra bundles as well. Plus, you get the paper pads in there. Seven one three two double three, which means if you're a freedom member, look at that for an extra saving: ninety-four pounds heads, forty-six pence. That includes your postage and packaging. Uh, all of that is there for you. And if you're not yet a freedom member, it's one of those deals. Why? And you go, well, why not? Because the saving you're going to get for that is phenomenal. And, of course, you can stop being a Freedom member and start it as and when you want every month. Sorry. I was trying to look like... What did you drop? A bit braid. <laughs> I've just dropped an ink pad. It don't matter. It don't matter. Us, you know, Paula right. would have seen that. Don't let uh, Paula know. Right. Well, okay. well, right. right. I lost so. me uh, what I was doing there. Now, I thought, either way, you could use either way this. And what I've done is die cut, embossing folder... 
um, piece of paper right through. So, thank you so much. Jump floor there, getting me ink pad. She's a, she, I love her to she's, bits, she's you know. Brilliant, she? she's, she's brilliant. She's amazing. She's like, shoulder, shoulder she's like, she's like my daughter, like a daughter. I love these girls, you know, and these lads are great. So you can't get better ones. Anyway, get some gesso. Best team, best team ever. Yeah, yeah. And so I've embossed it and die cut it and all that. Now I will give you some advice. This obviously is a different height to the embossing folder. So what you all need to do is get your, your sandwich right. But then I always put a little piece of extra paper over that. And the only reason I do that is because of a shim. Explain to me again what you right. just said there because well, I'm not sure. what happens is when your embossing folder is a certain thickness and then your die is a different oh, thickness. Oh, I see. To make sure that it cuts in one. Got you. When right. I put that through the machine, I always put a shim on it. Uh, and I okay. put a shim basically round here. And the only reason I do that is because I found that um, it just makes sure I get it right perfect. Right, got you. Because got it's you. intricate. What you can't, you see uh, all these little bits here. It, it, it's I mean, so it's beautiful. easy. It oh, is it is. beautiful. Yeah, it and is. And it does cut, it does. But all these, if you don't do that, they're likely, they could get caught in. Got you. And you don't want to, so just, just for sake, it's like I always run things through twice as right, well. Right, good tip. Yeah, you lovely. don't have to do that. It's just so anyway what I've done is I've got it on one of the papers and I want to change the look of this because I like it it's lovely it's like secret garden but it's a bit too girly for me at the moment <laughs> won't it, be for long no so I've got my gesso and what I like about it is it's already embossed so I've already got texture there but I don't want to sort of obliterate that texture what I want to do is sort of achieve a skin or a skim so I've got a fan brush now you don't need to have Ooh, a fan brush now why, why, why would you use a fan brush What's well, a fan I've never seen a fan brush before it's very thin and it's got a thin edge on it so it's very thin but it's wide and they do do this a lot of people flick with these you also oh, a lot I of see. people paint uh, trees with them but I just want to create like a, a really thin embossing um, like dry brushing with it so what I'm doing is picking out if you can see I'm picking out the embossing because it was a bit lost oh, oh pink, I see yes yeah the pink paper so by using this brush and a little bit of white I'm actually picking out and changing it there we go you can see it better now so if you look really at does that, pick it out, that isn't it? Yes. yeah it makes a big difference so I, w I don't want to obliterate the color because I like the color there's nothing wrong with it it's just I want to change it yeah i want to change it i want to see all the elements in it and at the moment it's a bit too heavy can i just say as well from an info, from an actual wall point of view and so um i'm based up in in yorkshire oh yeah and um they do some lovely dry 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 stone walling don't they up there absolutely and i do love a yorkshire put as well um but um th there's something I think maybe this is an age thing i don't know i don't know whether the girls are going to agree on this one as well not too young for you us. can't you can't be a nice-looking wall. No, now, you can't. Do you know what I mean? Some, do you know what I mean? There's, there's something in there that's uh, that 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 kind of style with a nice brick going around Absolutely. the actual archway, and, and uh, it's um, just a nice little tea room and a raw iron seat where I can sit down and have a donut. Um, you are hungry, you are. Yeah, I am starving. Um, it was a lot of jam in it. Um, but do you know what I mean? There is something that is just a r no. Please don't think, yeah. think no, you're right, sad. Right, I've got loads of other reasons why people would think I'm sad. Let me have the wool one. Um, but it's there is something just very attractive about that. That must be why someone else has agreed with that, Absolutely. and they've done that as an embossed fold because that is beautiful, isn't it? It's it's a different take on it, but I love the wall. Uh, one of the girls on the team, Carolyn, she's um, she's got a quarry. Oh. And they make uh, with their she does all the stones oh, really? around there, yeah. Um, a skim quarry, it's beautiful. So she, I, she knows a bit about stone, but they've got amazing walls around there. But I think their stone's more for what, um, for uh, for buildings. But oh, it's made but me appreciate it. Yeah, it it's does. made me really thank appreciate you for, it. Thank you for seeing that one through with me, uh, because as I started the conversation, I thought I don't know where if I should say this no, out loud. But I'm glad I have. I'm proud no. of a good wall. I, it, do you know what? I've got a nice one in my back garden. Just actually. think about it there. Well, honestly. That wall has been there for hundreds of years and it's going to be there for a lot longer than us. And that's the thing. We need to make sure, it's not wet enough this, we need to make sure that, that these, these absolutely beautiful, beautiful skills uh, don't die away. I know, I know. you know, dry stone walling is such an art. Absolutely, yeah. What have you just put on there, by the way? Right, I've, I've put on a mix of, uh, it's, a bake, it's called a bake texture, but it's like a, a thick embossing powder. Okay. And I've just, all I've done is I've, I've applied a little bit of the, it needs to be on wet, 
or damp. You could use embossing, you could just be normal and use an embossing folder. But I quite like the idea of just adding water to it because um, the pad's a little bit too big for my liking. I can't get, but with the brush I can brush it on. And all I'm doing is just adding some of the embossing powder to some of it. Not all of it, because I want it to look like, you know the lichen on it, and then when you get the lichen, you get really nice mould colours. That you get that mossy greens yeah. and work that comes up and there. And it takes a long time to get it like that. It's not, you know, it's not... I know people, I've seen some of the mates doing uh, yoghurt and all that. Eh? Yoghurt and stuff on, on stones. Yeah, I'm not joking. And, and they, they go moulder quicker. You have to get that age thing. Are you joking? No. That people put yoghurt on their stone walls? Yeah. That'd be a bit random thing to say if it weren't true, wouldn't it? But yeah. Listen, I've, I've known you a little while now, Lou, and... Um, yeah, well, that's true, nothing. yeah. <laughs> that's true. What a waste of a yoghurt. But they Why do. You... Well, when we was working, uh, we had to age some of these walls, uh, urns, and we used yoghurt mixed with paint and stuff, and it, it sort of helps mould setting so you get a really nice texture with it but it's just a way of trying to quicken it to make it look old it doesn't always work and sometimes when it goes off it stinks so but i'm just putting a little bit more on here so you can see now i'm sorry i can't bring it down it's just it's all right my, my, my wires a bit trapped i just never heard that about yogurt before yeah yogurt and uh, some cream brand cheese. gets mouldier quicker than another brand, you know, or you'd have to have a survey for that, wouldn't you? Low yeah. fat, low mould yogurt. I don't know, but I know they rub yogurt on it. I know it's daft, but it's true. Have a look. Look on the the tube bits to do with you. Right, done, Wally. Anyway, well, while you're just doing that very quickly, can yeah. I just? Um, oh yeah, bring them because in. Because yeah. we we we've had them on the show, and um, there's two sets here. Could you just very quickly just talk us through, because uh, a lot of people actually have asked about them, I've seen them on the website, yeah. and uh, we haven't shown them, um, and we've got, I just want to make sure I get this in the right order, we've got, now, is that, that's option one, isn't it? That's option right. one, well, isn't it? Well, option one is where we've, we've got the tags and the die cut. Now, these are all for our journals that we use, so these go into the journals, and um, they can make freestanding cards, or they can make your own little um, keepsake cards, or bolstering books, brag books. Okay. But they're all, they've got like three layers within it so you can make bunty, everything, it's really clever. It's already made layers so you can put all your layer in it. And you've got a trip titch with that one. And that's a three panel. Um, you can make it into a screen, you can make it into tickets. It's great for your journaling. And these really work well with your journaling. Right, so that's our first option. Brilliant. Uh, 1999-964503, if you'd like to go for those two. Perfect. So what am I getting here that's different with regards to these as an option? Well, these are course. more fancy. So you've okay. got a two-edged one, but um, you've got an outside cutting line and then an inside line. So you can cut this into um, pages or you can cut out of a page and then this one you've got this beautiful like lace light edge that's nice isn't it and yeah they, they're great for just matting and layering you don't have to use them all and people uh, pe don't forget that that is freestanding you don't need anything oh, else right, with it. Okay. so if you just want to create a border like that you can do it so again they're very very versatile and they'll work with some stuff that's coming out in my Ooh. in February. oh, oh. You can't say any more about that. I though. can. It's my collection. Oi! Wow! 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 How excited! That. Oh, so nineteen ninety nine nine six four five zero three. That's a go. Oh, now uh, go on. Tell us. Uh, can you tell us any more about that little? Yeah. I got when a, when when are we going to see this? Well, at least today I was like sat there watching rubbish TV and I got a little ding 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 update before and it was my phone and it was like the boss of Studio Light sent me a picture and I've sat there with that and I went, oh, that's that. Look at this, man. That's nice, isn't it? And I went, oh, it's lovely, that. And then I went, oh, yeah, and he went, you don't know, do you? I went, what are you talking It's your work. <laughs> I was like, it's good job I didn't like it. I did, did like that, it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going, oh, I like that. That's nice, isn't it? And I think, oh, it's mine. So, yeah, it's so it's at the Frankfurt show where they've all gone. Oh. So it's on the wall, so thank you so much. But yeah, I was like, oh. Well, so we'd, have we got a date where we can yeah, see that? Yeah, the 11th and 12th. They're going to get it here. No one else can get it.
11th here. and 12th of Feb, yes? Yep. So is that when you're launching here? And yep, only here. No one right. else. No one else can have it. No one else. Make sure you watch. If you're a big fan of Lou, well, you know, put that date in your diary and uh, you'll see Lou here bringing out a very own work for you as well. That'll be amazing. Congratulations. That'll be absolutely amazing. Well, I hope people like it. It won't be for everybody because uh, you can't do that, but it's about a really, really influential woman. And I always think it's, if you have a point for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I really followed this lady, Gertrude oh, okay. Bell. And it, oh. Oh, right, okay. And it made me want, and, I'm, and each collection I'm going to have a person that's inspired me to do it. Oh, what a lovely idea. That sounds amazing. Well, it's important because otherwise, you just, if, you, if you've got a reason to do it, then you have to research it and then you look at it. It's like, you just and, enjoy and, it. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Well, listen, I'm, I'm sure that will be a massive success. Oh, and I'm you. sure there'll be lots of support from, obviously, the fantastic viewers and well, everyone being them. And so, I uh, wish you all the best for that. Thank you for sharing you. that with us now as well. Really, really good luck with you. that. I don't think you need that. it, but good luck with that one. Well, I oh, think that's amazing. Lovely, Thank you lovely. So much. Right, I mean, how are we doing? So we left you um, embossing. Yeah, I've embossed, and what I've done is I've embossed to give it like, because you'll have um, a slight shine. You know, like you'll get a slight shine on some stone yes. and others. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then I've got the walnut ink, and I've just done a blob like that. So what I've done is I've got now I've got um, a thingy, a brush, a uh, glue brush, um, but I, I like it because I can flay the edge, and I'm just flicking over it to get like um almost like a really old wall now so we've gone from the pink we've got embossing on it which will wipe off and now i'm putting on some embossing uh, some inks to go in between and it starts to look very very different to what it was and if you keep going with it you'll see if you're clever enough and i'm sure you lot are out there what you can do is just isolate these and then gild them as well so you could get oh, right, um, yeah. you know just thinking that off what's it called um stencil that off not stencil it but mask, ma it, off. mask it off that's a word mask that off and emboss that gate and it'll look great but then i would have to do it green and gold so it looked moldy right so just to show you now all the embossing is coming up where it hasn't got any emboss embossing powders or anything it's really sticking into the papers so this is a way of grunging up what you've got at home or these papers this is more sort of what people would expect from me this grungier thing you see that looks that looks exciting that looks dramatic that looks like an adventure doesn't it, it that does. looks like it's been hidden away You've cut, you've cut the foliage back and you've discovered that door. Absolutely. We've got that now. Now, what I do now is... That, get that cloth. effect, by the way, really does pay dividends with it, it does. doesn't it? It doesn't... That's amazing. And it's only a little bit, but now I'm going to pay... I'm going to take it back now. I shouldn't use this, but I'm just going to take it back so that I can see... The by the edge. way, anyone watching now thinking, that's on my apron... Sorry. Um, we'll, we'll, don't use your... Don't use your cloth. I'll, I'll clean it. Don't use your cloth. Right, but what I can do now is I quite like that, like that. I'm quite happy with it. What I could do is emboss it even more and put some green on it, or you can get some green paint or yogurt. anything. Oh yeah, no, oh, yeah. Uh, Leave the yogurt alone. <laughs> Leave the yogurt, um, and then have this. Like, I'll show you what I mean. If you get the green, um, try this one. You get the green, and I'm going to just put like there's a, a tealy green. You like these paints? They're lovely, aren't they? Oh yeah, because I can get a really, really strong colour or a really sort of soft, watery colour. But the colours themselves, that's the thing that's really interesting me because the colours are very um, up to date. Some of some colours are really awful, you know. Not, not, but they're like boring. These aren't boring. So I love them because they're not boring. <laughs> right. So what I've done is I've got a little bit of this colour. And I've got a little bit of the green. It's not the right green, I know, but I would mix it up a little bit. And you just rub it into that, into parts, and then it starts to look like... Now, you see, that's... I've seen many a wall like that when I'm out there with my wall adoration moments. And all it is is you're just adding a little bit of colour to it. So... It does work. I mean, you might, you'll probably be able to do it better yourself at home, but just that little bit of gesso now and the green on it, you've got like yeah, that, that moss amazing. and like yeah. it all. And then what you can do is that if you're really clever, or not so big, what you can do is get something like, um, maybe, I think, maybe we could go with an orange. And the reason we're going to go for an orange is so that I get a nice rusty colour. 
and I'm just going to paint this in areas. So I've got me, not all of it, don't want it all. So I've got some orange on it, and now I'm going to go with the browns. But I don't want it too brown. If, if I go too brown, then it obliterates it. So just in areas. So it's on sort of that rust effect. Yeah. Are we going for that? Absolutely. So we've got that magical. I don't have your paint too wet, because you can see now I'm really scrubbing with this so that I'm not actually wetting the paper too much because it is, don't forget, it is it's paper. It's very thin, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not card, it is paper. So you, you start going a bit too rigorous with it. Your next minute it's like, oh, where's that come from? It's gone. So you've got that. I would. They're gonna, they're, I can tell you now that if you open those gates, that's going to have a terrible squeak in it. It's They're gonna have it's a gonna need a bit of something forty on it, isn't it? You what, sorry? It's gonna need a little bit of that something forty. Something forty, yeah. 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 Well, I would if I had them here, but you could, like, yeah, I've got it. Yes. Right. Well, I'm going to just ignore that. Ignore but, that. The, well, we can't. We can't. Just so you know that we were watching. <laughs> <laughs> Catch on <that> rewind. <laughs> I always no, forget that. I always think, oh, I'm just here, but I'm not. I'm actually here when people are watching. So now what I'm going to do <laughs> is. I remember that. I've got a little blob on my brush, but I don't want to... But I, lo I love these. And there's a way to ruin your brushes, right? But only ruin the ones that y you can. And these, this is a sort. So the way I I'll show you how to do it, you ruin it. And I'm just going to put white on here. And the reason I'm doing that is, guess why? Um, why? Go on, can you guess? Um, you're going to emboss? Emboss it. So all, it looks all over that? Now, if I'm lucky, if I've been, if I've been a bit clever, I'm not showing you. <laughs> I'm not showing you. What's going on there? Well, I think that sort of defeats the. No, I'm joking. Oh, good. Right. So, <laughs> da, 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 da. now what it wants to look like is a really sort of dodgy, really old wall that you you sort of oh you want to go in there. Yes. You think, right. What's going on? But in? I wouldn't send kids in there. No. I'd, I'd like to go in. in. But Jed, back, Shay, back. Yeah. Don't go in there. It's I'd creepy. have to go in there. Yeah, I'd if, go in. If I had a sign saying "Do not enter," I'd be first. Of course in you there. do. A corridor doors, and one of them says the signs "Don't come in." Which ones would tap on? Oh, don't wet paint. Straight in. You would, wouldn't you? Absolutely. I'd say, kids, you stay there, I'm going to look back in an hour, send your mother in. So what I've done now is a little bit of the old building and bossing. Have you ever done background scenery, sets and all yeah, that, yeah. have you? Yeah. You're free at Christmas? Uh, I might be, I've got Secret Beauty I'm doing now, oh, so I need, uh, I need a little castle where the where Secret Beauty's been for a hundred years, having a kit. Yeah, we used to do, I used to do it, I used to do it because I did the big... I mean, it might need to be bigger than this. I mean, uh, I mean, I need some of the, the sets at, uh, well, the, in the traffic centre, I did a lot of the paintings. Did you? Yeah. So, yeah, it's. Uh, that is, that looks fantastic. Right. So I'm not going to do any more because it's boring watching someone do that. But uh, if I hold it up and put it against a piece of clean paper. What's going to what, what's gonna go behind the door as well? Well, I just, well, if I just show you the, the effect of the paper Look now, you can see there's all sorts of things happening. And you've got. That, I love that. You've got the gates that look. They look amazing. That gate looks amazing. And it looks crusty and rusty, the wall. Isn't it? That, that really, you've got all the elements in there. You've got the age in there, you've got the moss that's coming Absolutely. through. You're picking out the, the actual 3D feel of that as well with the actual brickwork. It's, that's um, uh, lovely. But it start, I just want to show you, that's how it started. That's the one it started with. Yeah, totally different feel about that. It doesn't it's totally look different. pink no, anymore, no, does no. it? So what you have to choose now is what you want on it. Do you want, do you want to correct, create some sort of element? Now, it, my advice is whenever you do these sort of techniques with card or paper, you end up with it ruckling. Now, the only way to do it, you can straighten it by pushing it, but I would put it in a piece of card or a book and leave it. Okay. And the way it will do it itself. If you try and do it yourself, you'll end up forcing the water out, and you don't want that. You want it to sort okay, of do so it, it dry itself. itself. Right, yeah. right. And then what we can do is start to choose some of these because some of these will give it a really good feel. Um, so you can sort of create your own oh, look. scenery. So if I just put that there so you can catch it, so you could put that there like that. I'll just push these back because they're annoying me. But you could put these there. There we go. And then if you think you can put. Because we've got a bit missing here, so if you look, we could use this fountain to take up the, the front fountain of eternal youth. To take up the Let's front go with of that. it there. I can do with a sip from that. 
Oh, I could do more than sit there. <laughs> well, right. But <laughs> you could sort of make it up all the way you want like that, or what you could do is just go for a really funky, uh, your own your own sort of choice. Now, all these, I because to me, I'm getting, I'm I'm getting sort of overpowered by looking at him thinking oh i'll put this and this so what i would do is think about my own i do like these mm. but then i was thinking if if it was me doing this now i think i would have to go with all my little bits and flowers and all my trellises and get all my all the trellis, flowers yes. flowers together and not so much that one because you can't really see that but i think i would create almost like a, a magical musical sort of effect there in the background where you know, I would colour these and then have this wonderful sort of... It's almost like Sleeping Beauty, you know, mm, going yeah. through the... Yeah, the, 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 the forest is the, the vines, stuff. yeah. And then what you could do is just... So we've got those. I'm going to create something a little bit more grungier now. This is too, too, too nice for me now, so I'm going to go with mm. the piece that I made before. That's... I don't want to use that because it's too white and I'd have to start at the beginning and go through all the steps. Right. If I use that, it's half done for me. We've got just under five minutes. No way. Yeah. I know, Whoa. but... Right, so if I use that, I'm happy with that. All I'm going to do now is give it a wash so it matches up. So I'm going to take the colour that I had at the top and a little bit of the brown, and I'm just going to darken the area that's behind it just to match it. Now, that looks better. That looks much better now. It's, it's tied it in. Yeah, yeah without overpowering so and then get a bit of your green in and now that that'll look nice now because all I'm going to do is introduce some you know like the flower again now <coughs> where's it gone oh, I'll just stamp it but this one is one of my favorites as well I love that I Which love one that die cut. Oh, yes. That die cut is just brilliant because it just hangs but you then you've got the die cut that goes all the way around this one is a nice one as well and that one can go all the way around and oh, make yeah, it look like be, vines. Pretty. So, you know, oh. not just that, you can you put all these on there if you want, but that needs to be gr really grunge up because it's yeah. white. Yeah. But then I'll just go back to this here and I'm just going to put in... Now, this one here has got a great... Um, to me, you can use that as foliage going upwards that way or foliage that way hanging down. I quite like the idea of using it both ways and I'll show you what I mean. I did years ago we did one down Rublet and one of the first things I did with her and she was telling me about and I'd done it but not really thought about why I was doing it and it was using the stamp in all the ways so I was using it um up that down and up okay so don't just like think, a static might and a static yeah, type yeah don't just think of it as being in one way nice. think of it as like you could use it both two ways or remember to reverse it and after that it was like i get that yeah i, I really yeah, do yeah. get that now and um it stuck with me and these are the little tips that i've always sort of gone back to and um you know we do sometimes we do stuff and we think why are we doing that and then when it's explained to us, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, makes total yeah. sense, that. Yeah. So I'd go with that, and then you could go with another one, and then with a the black over the top. But you'd have a little bit more time, because we haven't got much time. I thought I'd add more of that, but probably because I've been chatting my head off. But, um, <laughs> it's flown. It has it absolutely has? flown by this hour. Oh, look at this. This is looking magical. So, yeah, I quite like that. I didn't, I'd, I'd sort yeah, of... You, you need a strimmer to get through that gate, wouldn't you? That's not being walked through. You need something through. there, wouldn't you? Not you being need trodden something down. there. But you could use... I quite like the idea. I think I'm just going to use a little bit. Maybe it's going to be too much, but what, what the... What the... Hey, what the hay? Nearly what? said it there. But I'm <laughs> going to use a bit of this. And this is... Oh... Right, and this is twinkle, and the reason I'm putting this in is because I want, I don't want it to be just browns. What's, what's that one? Mean? This one is called twi Twilight Twinkle. Twilight, Twilight, and it's opaque, but you get a bit of glitter with it as well. So heat it up. Hope we've got time. Yeah, we're okay. We're okay. And so I've only done half of them. I've left half brown. And yeah, you're not covering the, the whole lot then. Just those tips. Because. I want the two colours to mingle in. 
So don't forget, you need to leave these overnight to set. You need to, the one thing you do need to do, which I haven't done, which is um, you can pay attention to the back and front as much as you want, but I would tend to sort of make sure that I paint the back because they are a little bit brash like that. And you can emboss them if you want. You that. Yeah, you can if you want. I mean, they make great little stencils then. Yeah. So darken them off. But there's a little tip I want to try and show you before we finish. So I've got that, I've got that, I've got the gates, I'll do that. I'd, I'd end up mounting it all properly and special and do that, and then I do that, and then I've got that on there. And what I need to do now is I need to bring some depth into this. So the, the other trick I would do, because it's dry now. Depth into which part of the, um, oh, I see. Is just getting a pen and rubbing it in. So, so is this a shadow? Is it? You, yeah, you're creating right. a, like, you see it? A shadow? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. And I'm just rubbing it in. So where it's embossed, it'll rub off. And where it's not, you're just getting a tiny edge, and I'll show you more on here. And, and you really don't need to be neat with this, because... That was like my signature, that was, not it? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't... People seem to think that you've got to follow the lines, but you don't. It'll go where it wants to in the end of the day. If it won't go in the embossing, it'll go somewhere else. But I'm just getting a little bit of... I don't want to, that's my pen, I don't want to use, uh, ruin it. So now, we've got an aged, right, and that's all about techniques. It's a bit scruffy, but if you think... It's not, that, that looks... All those have techniques look at this. we've had, we've had on it, all those little look techniques. That. And that one started off as, where's that pink one gone now? Look, I told you I'm rubbish at the this. The pink one? Uh, the red one, there it is, isn't it? Is that that's underneath that's started, it, the white one. It? Yeah, there we go, before and after. There we go, that's how it started. That is, that is... Amazing. I mean, that's beautiful. That that that's very. It's a very different feel to it, is. isn't it? You know. And it's all simple things that we've got. It's no extra, really, thing weird and wonderful concoctions of, of products. It's really simple stuff that we've got at yeah. home. But you can grunge it up. So to me, I'd work on that because I don't think that's right yet. But once I did that, I'd probably do it like Sammy's done with all the dark, the black on it. Right, show that one uh, in, in. Yeah, I think yeah. I would add the black at the front. The black, if you see it, it, it works. You know, she's all she's done there. Oh, when I'm saying, oh, sorry, don't mean it like that, but she's picked up the colour in the same way. But that, that is, again, gorgeous, the different design. Yeah. The, the, uh, I think people are going to really enjoy these, yeah, aren't they? Will, and because they there is something like magical, quite mystical, uh, hidden um, from... I, I love the idea of it being the quintessential English garden, mm. but then a few years on, where it was once in its prime, yeah. and it's that kind of thing, ages at its time, been left to overgrown. Absolutely. Um, the, 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 the paint's come off a little bit and the moss has taken its place. And, and there's something in there that I think is quite magical. But So you get a justified reason for not... Yes. Uh, I think what, there's, what I've been enjoying watching is it's justified... Gr you're not grunging just for grunging's no, sake. No, it's, no. it's adding that texture and those, which yeah. would be a lovely lesson. I think, I think just adding these little simple techniques uh, has created so much atmosphere. Mm, yes, that's the and, word. And, and yeah. interest. And it's not, it's not because I, um, I don't appreciate the first one. It's just I want to know that everything I've got here can be done several ways. What's the part of buying it? it you're going to do one thing with it. The, you well, you, you've got a myriad of options here yeah. to work with. Um, Lou, thank you so much oh, indeed. Thank you. I've loved I can't believe the, it's I've, two hours, I've, I've, I know, I know. I uh, you're back at 9am. Uh, I'm back tonight. As I'm well. back at 9pm with Hayley, aren't you? Yeah. Of course, you are as well. So I know you're going to enjoy that. Thank you. I, I, I genuinely hope, and I'm sure you have, enjoyed all the demonstrations enjoyed that you've got from, from, from Lou as well. And, and I hope it's inspired you to look at what you can achieve here and, and not just sort of taking it from thinking it has to be that all beautiful and pretty, which is great but very different. So if you want to go for the entire lot, of course, it is all there for you. You see there's some fantastic savings to be had on that. Um, get them, get them home, get playing and enjoy it. That's, I think, what would, Lou, was, Lou would say. Lou, yeah. thank you so oh, much indeed you. for it's your time. A pleasure, Absolutely you? fantastic. Uh, thank you very much, Dean. Please, okay. please don't go anywhere, though, because we've got even more to come, of course, with a lovely Hayley and all the team here still from Machanda. So keep inspired, get a brew and come back and we'll see you soon. See you. So get ready, everybody. It's a crafting book happy hour with Happy Haley, And then, of course, back at nine, of course, it will be Haley and Lou for the Studio Lights One Day Special. And then we've got Crafting with Clarity, all here from Hachanda.
Hi, I'm Jenny Mays from Hobby Art. Hobby Art's a family run company and we've been designing and manufacturing stamps for over 28 years now. We have an extensive range of clear and rubber stamps and we're proud that they're all manufactured in Britain. Whatever your style, there's always something that will interest you with Hobby Art stamps. Crafting is my passion and I love teaching. I love sharing my ideas with other people. Uh, this is why I enjoy being part of the Ho Chanda family because I have the time to share my ideas, maybe open a door for somebody and give them the confidence to start stamping. So make sure you join me, Jenny Mays, on Ho Chanda. announcement. We would like to inform you that our Hachanda buying crew have been busy flying around the world in search of incredible brand new products and show ideas to inspire and stimulate all of your crafty senses. So watch out for my favourite things, huggable lovable books, CBK, cross stitch design, Fletcher's patch, project bin, hero arts, yes how much I love you quilting, colorific, new moon FM, folio flowers, slice tools, Crafty so-and-so, Patty McCourt, The Crafty Pig, Dare to be Artsy, Craft O'Clock, Just Bliss Fabric, and many more. We will be checking in our latest new product arrivals from 6pm on Thursday the 23rd of January. Gates close at 6pm on Thursday the 30th of January. So join us on board flight Hachanda Air for our new arrivals event. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. Most of our products involve textiles and age-old techniques from button making, lace making, weaving, and other forms of passamentary. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows here on Hochanda. Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's happy hour time and nothing can make you happier than sitting down with a good book, a good read and maybe a little brew on the side as well. So that's how we're going to be spending the next hour. But joking apart, it's a happy hour. So that means the prices that we're bringing to you are only good for this hour. So unless you're watching live, you could well be missing out on some of these if you're watching on repeat, but they're still good books and nonetheless. So we're going to have a look at some of these um, and have a thumb through the pages and see what we can learn from them because they're all sewing books, they're knitting books, there's all sorts of crafty um, elements in here, but kind of a, on a soft craft nature. So lots of knitting and sewing and crocheting and all sorts of different goodies. Yeah. There's a little bit of sugar craft in there as well, so a nice little idea. I'm sure you'll agree. But we're going to kick things off with the lovely Debbie Shaw. We've got a couple of Debbie's books featuring here, all about bags. Now, these are from the um, fabulous Build a Bag range, um, and um, a best selling range, of course, with uh, Debbie Shaw, um, and uh, award winning as well. Um, our lovely um, authoress there, or author. Um, back, back, uh, backpacks and satchels. That's not easy to say, is it? And these are brilliant books. I mean, straight away, hard cover with these. And and needless to say, all the books that we've got in this hour coming from Search Press, so you know they are quality to start with. So let's have a little delve between the covers. Now these are brilliant. You're going to get both of these books. Um, you've got £10 saving, bringing the price right the way down to £25.98. Now straight away inside the cover there, you can see you've got your durable, reusable um, white templates there. They're actually made out of kind of like a mylar fabric and they are actually um, printed so you don't have to worry about um, knowing which bit does what because it is all detailed in there so very useful because of course when you are creating bags like these I'm sure you will get lots and lots of orders for them and you'll be able to uh, use those templates over and over again talking about satchels so we're talking about bags that are going to be very useful um, so you different designs depending on the fabric you might have outer pockets inner pockets as well um, beautiful photography I'm sure you'll agree with in here because it gets right into the nitty-gritty so you can see all of those fabulous elements there so step 
five step literally debbie has stopped so those photographs can be taken and you'll know exactly where you are at every single step of the way of course you can see those templates being used there as well and debbie explains to you things like fussy cutting in case you're not aware of those and how you can actually create those wonderful uh, pocket um, satchels as you can see here maybe recycling fabrics as well as using brand new fabrics that you might have in your stash just waiting to create a beautifully stylish um, bag so you can see there that is the first one a double buckle satchel now it's a nice one isn't it yeah ladies in our gallery we like that one we're giving that one a bit of a thumbs up so we like that one so that's a nice little bo um, bag there um, from those satchels also as well you have got the elastic there as well so that's going to keep everything in there if you are wanting to put anything else in there but some lovely little designs i am sure you'll agree a beautiful build a bag a book and template set and that's just one half of what you are going to get for that fabulous price on your screen so i'm going to leave that one there just for the time being well we have a little look at the backpacks now with this one again debbie shaw being uh, the author and the designer behind these and again another quality hardback book so this is going to be one of those um, books that's going to be durable you'll be referring to this over and over again it's invaluable isn't it when you come to making your bags now again you have got those wonderful templates featuring there as you can see reusable over and over again you'll be able to use those this time we're looking at 15 projects again so 15 bags within this one book is amazing i love this one there the doggy bag there that could be a, um, a doggy backpack you take when you go on your walkies couldn't it? you could have all your treats in there your little whistle in there for when they run off don't suggest you pop your dog in there though not a good idea you'd have to wrestle my dog to get her anywhere near one of those um what else have we got in here oh no, that's a nice idea a little drawstring bag so again with that beautiful flap across the top there keeping everything safe and secure um, and again loads of different ideas of how you can put these together and get inspiration from debbie time and time again so there you go you've got your two tones on there as well they're all beautifully presented i'm sure you'll see a little bit of a plique going on there you could adapt that if you wanted to maybe turn that into a little cat rather than a dog if you wanted to, a little bit of a change with that one so yes an invaluable resource there for making your backpacks as well as your fabulous satchels all coming together for a brilliant price of 25 pounds and 98 pence 435705 if you're wanting to get hold of those brilliant value for many fabulous gifts as well although if i was to get those as a gift i'd probably end up keeping them to be honest so uh, they pop those to one side for the time being now if those weren't enough bags for you we have got a bumper bundle here where you are getting three soft back books as you can see here um, and it's more bag making now who we got um, all the Debbie Shaw um, who have we got on this one as well? Janet Goddard, lovely designs there. And then the final one that we've got there from Debbie von Grabler Crozier. Is that how you pronounce that? I do apologise, Debbie. If you don't mind, I'll just call you Debbie for this hour. Um, now you've got these three books. Again, let's have a little look through Debbie Shaw's bags here. Now this, again, straight away, a fabulous design there. 12 designs and of course debbie knows how to make her bags um, we've already seen there you've got 12 fabulous bags in here all beautifully made and again the photography getting right in there as you can see step by step um, absolutely beautiful designs there um, nice easy to follow instructions i'm sure you'll agree with those as well and don't they look stylish absolutely beautiful as you can see there so whether it's for your office or whether you're going shopping perhaps you're going off on your little bike there as you can see there coordinating absolutely beautiful Ooh, twist bag i like the look of that one that's a little bit different and uh, yeah again another of uh, debbie's best-selling range i'm sure you'll agree with that one's a nice one there so if you fancy that particular one that is in this bundle it's not a choice of you are getting all of these now this particular one you've got 10 bags in this one so so far we're up to was it um 22 bags and we've only looked at two different term um, books so amazing now this time here you've got some gorgeous designs again perfect opportunity for you to be making tots and um, tots totes i mean a little bit of patchwork going on with these potentially maybe using some of those scraps making you larger pieces of fabrics and you've got some gorgeous bright and beautiful fabrics here very practical designs as well like these oh that's a nice one isn't there with the little scallops there now whatever the occasion i'm sure you'll find a bag within here that is going to suit it perfectly maybe it's going to be the pleated day bag as you can see there as you can see it's a casual bag for going out and about i wonder if that's out out or just out I don't know could be either couldn't it next one that we've got here is the bag boutique now this is quite a, hay, a heavy boat, um, book this one what's in here 20 designs 
beautiful. Nice little wallet at the back there. So keeping your patterns all neat and tidy in there, as you can see. So you've got your pull-out sheet there. I do suggest that if you are going to be using this potentially to photograph it or photocopy it, should I say, for your own personal use. So you don't have to kind of dig into that one there. But as you go through the covers here, again, lots of hints and tips techniques there lots of step-by-step -step photographs as well a little bit of applique going on there maybe a little bit of embroidery absolutely beautiful a timeless classic stylish bags as you can see there very, very good oh, oh a little bit of an owl very nice Krista Krista bag like that there you go again a fabulous selection of books there all three of them coming to you for just 22 pounds and 97 pence that's a really good price and it works out well a little over seven pounds a book like that one fancy those ones then five four three nine 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 being that all important item number where shall we go next now how about a bit of quilting now oh now i think it's going to be this one quilted bags is that the one that we're looking at here now straight away look at the thickness that you've got here there is a wealth of knowledge and information within these books but we're going to kick things off with your so beautiful quilted bags in here again a selection of bags i love these where you've got those gorgeous little elements here now we've got some um, quilt artistry going on within this particular one because you can see you've got your quilted bags but you have got lots of detail within these give them a really stylish look I'm sure you will agree there lots of templates there showing you how to lay out those patchwork pieces to create your own fabric which in turn will make a beautiful bag as you can see there a little bit of applique going on top of that one as well nice proper little treasure trove i think you'll agree of bags there all sorts of shapes and sizes you've got purses and um, little garden pouch though the little bit of uh, applique going on there very nice designs all these little houses there that's cute i like those um and again little pouches there maybe if you have mobile phone your glasses loads and loads of different so oh that's a nice one isn't it a little sewing um case there some really nice patchwork designs featuring that one like those ones so that is your first book the next one is your bags and gifts and again lots of quilting going on with these as well now in this particular one 36 so what are we up to now that's 28 in that first book 36 in this one we've got 28 in the, the last book there's a lot in here a lot of projects now this is nice look at those gorgeous tulips on the front there that's something a little bit different isn't it now um it's from the same author as we saw with the first one i think oh in fact i think oh yes the first two the same author or authoress um oh look those are nice aren't they beautiful you could be making these as gifts couldn't you oh that's nice there as well lovely you could have, be buying a, a gift of a book f to make gifts that's nice isn't it a little purse there for your coins very nice with your little paper piecing um, hexagons oh what have we got there scissor caddy as you can see there so um, some really nice designs within there so if you fancy those ones got 36 projects it's going to take you quite a while i'm just looking at this thinking 28 so 36 what we up to it's almost like you've got a project for each week of the year almost with these isn't it now what have we got in this particular one here oh quilted throws bags and accessories so we've got 28 in this one so got 92 projects that's going to keep you busy isn't it isn't it just now look at this one again a gorgeous um, uh, book loads of projects larger projects potentially with these ones perhaps this is going to be the year that you have a go at creating your first ever quilt now these are lovely apple core tote now that's using some of your english paper piecing there with the apple core templates so perhaps that's one you fancy tackling for 2020 um, some um, uh, little bits of embroidery going on with these as well taking your patchwork pieces putting them together got your construction here showing you about how you put all those different layers together and fuse them together to get some wonderful results and again uh, oh there's another one with the apple core there little star featuring as well really nice designs wealth of knowledge and experience within that particular bundle um, and again if you're wanting to go for these 27 pounds and 97 pence all of those wonderful books come to you for that fabulous um, price there's some wonderful new techniques in there well they might be new to you might not be new to everybody but they are within those covers for you to take uh, hold of and have a really good go with so where are we going next now what we got next sorry this one here oh little hanging hearts all of these is it a pickle a, pick, a pickle 
not a pickle, it's a pick of. <laughs> it's a pick of three. Um, so with these, you've got lots of, you've got six different um, books that you can choose from with these. So you've got your Hanging Hearts. You've also got your Largum, Largum style? I don't know. Okay, Largum. Um, you've got um, Quilted Covers and Cozies from the lovely Debbie Shaw. Okay. Next one we've got here, Mug Rugs. Oh, I could do with one of those for my mug. Um, and we've also got your simple patchwork quilts. That's very nice. It looks a bit startled, that pin cushion, doesn't it, with those pins in his head? But the, there you go. Like the tape measure, that's a clever idea. And then the last one that we've got, oh, cakes and candies, made out of fabric. Does that mean that they're calorie free? I don't know. I should imagine they last a long time. So let's have a little look at the hanging hearts to start with. These are always pretty. They've got 20 projects here, and these are perfect little projects for you to use any scraps of fabric that you've got left over. So you've got all sorts of techniques in here, some of them being on the basic side, some maybe a little bit more advanced, using embellishments and lace and ribbons to really give you some pretty designs. Again, positioning your fabric, getting your fabric in the right place to maximise the design, and perhaps if you're going to be making them as um, little hangers, how to put the loops in place, how to do a little bit of embroidery. That's a pretty one, isn't it, with all the hearts stitched in place. Very much on trend little hearts, aren't they? Pretty pockets there, as you can see. Um, and uh, a very traditional sort of style. See, that's a traditional one, isn't there? There's a little bit of photography going on there. Absolute beautiful. And it's nice because you've got all standards of um, stitches here. So whether you are new to stitching or uh, you are more of an accomplished sewer, then you are going to find something in these books. So that is your first of your choices. You've also got your Largham style. Now, as I was just about to say, it's got a little bit of a Scandinavian feel to it, and uh, indeed it has. So as you look in here, that star simplicity, but stylish through and through. Oh, look at that. You've got your little, um, your mug hug, your fika mug hug. Um, your, oh gosh, your hem. Am I learning another language with these? Hem travel, travelig, hem travelig. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Your Dala horse hanger. Some nice designs here. That's nice. Little plant pot cover. You can be making these as gifts, couldn't you? Or making them as fundraisers. All sorts of scopes with regards to these. So absolutely beautiful. A little table runner there, as you can see. So lots of lovely designs. Then, of course, you've got things like your quilted covers and your cozies in here from Debbie Shaw. So again, very practical elements there. Loads of templates in here that you can reuse over and over again. For things like your sunglasses or your regular glasses in there as well. Bottle cozy, that's a nice way of presenting to gift to somebody. All clear step-by-step -step photography. That, see, that makes the toilet roll look nice. And it's so much nicer than a crinoline lady, don't you think? Um, absolutely beautiful designs. Contrast coffee cosy. I like that. Very pretty. Um, and again, the templates in the back there. Last couple that you've got, your mug rugs. That might be a nice one to get together alongside your cosies there. Um, and you've got over 20 mug rugs in here. And these are fabulous. Look at that monkey in a round. Aren't they gorgeous? Some fabulous photographs in here again. A lovely whether you're a beginner or a more advanced. So see a cathedral window, that might be something that you fancy having a go at. And it's just a simple, easy project that you can be doing quite easily using this wonderful book for inspiration. A last couple that you got from your, uh, this one, your patchwork um, gift. So it could be things like your little padded butterflies. That's a nice idea, isn't it, with the key ring there? Um, ooh, little, little tins covered with fabric. They're quite cute, aren't they? Oh, I like those. What else have we got? See, that's a nice little little um, bag there for all your goodies. Tape measure cover. There you go. That's cute. You wouldn't lose your tape measure if it looked as pretty as that. Oh, that's a nice idea. A little denim skirt. Have you got a little denim skirt knocking around that perhaps you can uh, revamp and turn into a little bag? Beautiful designs. Pencil cases. Lots of nice little um, projects, especially if you've got a young sewer. Young sewers are lovely little projects like that. And then finally, ooh... Tea and cake, that's what we need. We've spoken about the mug rugs. Now some gorgeous, tasty looking treats in here. Look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Again, the photography in these, amazing. The golden days. Pink candies. Are they all little, little kind of pins in there? Very effective, aren't they? I don't think you can, these are edible. Oh, happy birthday, they're cute, aren't they? Some of special birthdays you can see there. Lovely little pin cushions, like those ideas. Um, so again, you are going to choose £14.97 pence for any three of those. That is brilliant value for me. So yeah, whichever of those you fancy getting hold of. And if you can't decide on just three of those, then by all means, do add an additional three in. Just go back in and choose another three. Same item number, so no additional post and packing with those. So where should we go for? Should we go... 
Should we go for sugar? Oh, we've been talking about cakes. Should we have a little bit of, of sugar craft? Well, why not? Let's have a little at these. Now, these are nice little books. Um, Search Press often make these smaller 20 to make books, and there's lots of different designs with these. Now, these, can you believe you are going to be able to get three of these for just £9.99? You've got your sugar flowers featuring here as well. Mini sugar shoes. Oh, I like the idea of those. Very pretty. Um, little bags. Oh, they're kind of cute, aren't they? Um, you've also got your sugar sporty, oh, sporties. Oh, we might have a little look at those in a few moments. They, oh, there you go. Sugar wobblies. I'm not quite sure what the sugar wobbly is. Oh, they've all got wobbly limbs, apparently. Um, lovely. Um, sugar birds. You've also got all oh, your sugar cats. Oh, I do like that one at the top there, waiting for his tummy to be rubbed. Um, chocolate animals. And then you've got, oh, Christmas decorations. That's a nice idea. They've got the wibbly bobbly legs again, I can see there. And then you've got your sugar scaries. That one is definitely a little bit scary, isn't it? It's not a happy looking bear. Should we have a little delve into that one to start with to see? These are quite fun, aren't they? Um, but now you've got, um, obviously, if you are looking ahead to things like Halloween, you've got your Dracula feature. Very much on trend at the moment, isn't it, with the, the new TV show. Um, your cake. Kraken, is that a squid or an octopus? I'm not too sure. Oh, an evil crown. The crown clown, even. It does look a bit like he's got celery coming out of his ears, though, hasn't he? It's a look. It's a look. Oh, scary spiders. I think I've seen enough of that one, actually. I think I'm going to put that one to the, the, be uh, in the back, otherwise I shan't be sleeping tonight. Um, flowers. Let's lighten the, the mood with some gorgeous flowers. Again, beautiful step-by-step, -step. traditional flowers, your violas with these. You've got 20 designs in each one of these. And, of course, you can put these together to create a whole myriad of flowers to suit your cakes, whether it's a Mother's Day cake, whether it's a, a birthday cake, an anniversary cake. You never even know. You might be making your wedding cake flowers using these if you wanted to. So well, there you go, sugar flowers with that one. Next one, your sugar shoes. This is perfect. Hindu, you could be doing little sh mini shoes, couldn't you? Um, really easy to make, apparently, with these ones. You've got step by step. I think with the, oh, a little kitten slipper. I'm not going to lie, I'd need to size these up to, to kind of fill my sugar rush. Oh, look at those, though. See, if you were doing a little baby shower, that would be adorable, wouldn't it? Or it could be one of those gender reveal parties that you put the little, the little shoes on there. Were they pink shoes or oh, football boots? That's a clever idea, isn't it? With the little uh, sugar balls on the bottom there. Oh, little elfie boots. I like those. Oh, they're nice. I do like a pair of Roman sandals. Absolutely adorable within there. Oh, there you go. She, she, that's going to keep your toes warm. <laughs> Beautiful, and there, and a little leopard print shoe. Can't go far wrong with these, can you? <gasps> Click your heels together there. There's no place like home. We all know that film. I, I've got to have a quick look at this one. This one is intriguing me. Look at that. Windswept look with that little cat there. Oh, dear me. I think that's a yellow card, don't you? Definitely a booking for that particular one. Baseball, that there's a lot of lying down in these sports, isn't there? This is my my kind of sports there. A little bit of running. Put that one away. Oh dear. I do apologise. That one did tickle me. Oh. <laughs> I know why I didn't do synchronised swimming. My legs were obviously too short. But there we go. So you've got your fabulous sugar craft books. Brilliant value for me. £9.99. pence. You can choose any three of those. 064355. Please somebody order the synchronised swimming one. That was a fab fabulous one. The little sporty ones there. Now, a little bit of crochet with the next bundle that we've got. In fact, you've got all sorts within here. Again, you're looking at your 20 to make. Um, I'm scared to look at what we've got in here after the synchronised swimming one. Um, look at these. You've got your crocheted granny squares. These are brilliant because they're a 
perfect way for you to get started with your crochet. Very achievable projects. And of course, one from one granny square, a whole um, um, blanket, a king size blanket potentially, you could be creating with that one. So there's your crocheted granny squares. Again, with these, you are going to choose any three of these for just £9.99. So whether it's a little tiny project, like the tiny toys, as you can see here, um, or your crocheted hearts, your granny squares, of course. And there's a lot of crochet going on with this particular bundle. More um, mugrugs, maybe you're into your knitting, then you can see here. And again, Val is, um, is the author behind all of these. Very talented lady, I think you'll agree. And of course, you've got some fashionable items there from Susie John's there. Um, Jan has been getting involved with its crocheted flowers. And again, Susie is back again. And oh, look at these little baby buddies. They are cute as well. There's loads and loads there. So maybe if you've got bigger feet and you want to make those boot cuffs, then you can do background to our granny squares. Um, a little thumb through these because um, this is a really nice set because you've got 20 different granny squares you are going to be able to create with these ones. Perfect for using up any of those little scraps of fabric. Nice and easy for you to get started perhaps with your crochet. So uh, nice and easy. All sorts of inspiration in there. Some trendy items, different um, garments there. How to create your circle within a square as you can see there. And they are ideal for beginners because they are little projects you could be putting together perhaps within 15-20 minutes um, and then create and then you can get them larger and larger as you work around the parameters. A nice little set, that particular one. Your crocheted um, granny squares. A little bit of knitting going on with your knitting tea cozies. Do like a stylish tea cozy, I must admit. And you've got all sorts within here. So uh, what have you got there? Oh, a little bit of intarsia with a little bit of... Uh, in, oh, a beehive. That's nice if you're having tea and hun um, toast and honey or something like that. Isn't it? The little bumblebees featuring on there. Oh, that could be one in football colours quite easily. You've got your watermelon. Oh, grapes. Very nice. And then, oh, your little ladybug there. Oh, I do like the antennae on that one. That's a cute one, isn't it? Um, and then you've got your cow. Oh, Valentine's Day. Wouldn't you love tea in bed? Served in bed with a little Valentine's cosy cover on there. Absolutely beautiful. And the pumpkin as well. Now, these are guaranteed to brighten up any kitchen, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful designs there. Next one, you've got your tiny toys. Now, I wonder what we'll find in here. I'm guessing the little projects where you've got those little scraps and leftover of, um, yarns. So you could be me. Oh, look at the little piglets. Oh, your little cats. Absolutely adorable there. Oh, look, little fleshy sheep. <laughs> How ironic that you're taking wool and you're turning it into a sheep. <laughs> um, a little chubby bunny. Oh, look at those little cheeks. Absolutely adorable. You pretty little piggy. Absolutely adorable. Now, perfect for using any of those little scraps. These would be wonderful as little um, fundraisers, couldn't they? You could turn them into little... Uh, oh, I love these dungarees. Isn't that cute? Um, really cute. Oh, your little fox uh, making key rings potentially with these. How about a little game of Skittles? Look at that. What clever ideas. A little goldfish. Very, very cute. Oh, little beagles. Fundraisers for charities. I mean, absolutely beautiful there. And they've got a little balancing clown there as well. So all of those books chock full of different ideas. We've been having loads of fun with these. You've got your knitted bears in there as well. Things like your knitted beanies. So if you do want to make clothing, perhaps as well. Some really, really cute designs in there, as you can see with these. So um, really toasty, cosy little. Oh, that's an interesting one though, isn't it? Panda bear. Gorgeous. Now, these are easy to make. Lots of lovely designs in there. All about, oh, he's having a lovely time. He's enjoying himself, isn't he? Oh, that's pretty. Very nice. Ah, oh, cute. Like those. And again, another nice way of using up some of those fabrics. Now, it was the one with the little booty. Didn't you have a cute with that little look at that? Because that looked quite sweet, didn't it? I think this is one that you might use over and over. So, you've got some um, new babies coming into the household, or they could be just decorative little elements. Oh, look at those all lined up. How sweet do they look? Um, now, you've got all sorts in here, so maybe featuring little pom-poms. They're quite cute, aren't they? I wonder if they do them in a size five. I wouldn't mind a pair of those. Um, little baby snugs. Very cute. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, bumblebee boots. Uh, they're quite cute, aren't they? Fairy slippers. Oh, 
little thing. Oh, a little bit of lace going on there as well. Very booties, they're cute. Really nice designs. And again, perfect if you're wanting to create some fundraisers with these. So yeah, $9.99, which any of those you're wanting to go for. Well, I need to get a jog on, we're nearly halfway through the aloe. Can you believe it? Now, this time we are looking at, um, now these ones, I think, are these all sugar craft again with these ones? Oh no, I picked those ones. I'm going the wrong way. This way. We're going clockwise. I have to make sure for a minute now. Oh, now, this one's interesting. I've got loads of quilting projects in this bundle. Now, you are going to get all four of these, so you don't have to worry about choosing. You are going to get them all. Now, with these ones, one patch quilts. Again, you're looking at 20 different designs within these books. So, really quick and easy way of getting ideas. And as you work your way through, you will see you can progress in your complexity of these. Maybe using your half square triangles. You might have your quarter square triangles. It's teaching you all those different styles of patches that, of course, when you put the patches together, what do you get? You get your blocks there. Um, and you can see it all working your way through. So giving some really nice ideas, lovely, colourful ideas. All clamshells there. It's another nice one. And you can see how to put all those pieces together there. So there you go. You're going to get that book in there. You're also going to get this one, 20 mini uh, blocks with these. So nice doing little tiny um, mug wigs as you can see there on a smaller quilt nature but of course change out those sizes of those half square triangles and such like and you can be making a larger block using exactly the same technique so again very pretty designs with those then this one what about if you're quilting on the go we have the lovely um oh oh gosh what was um oh my name nicola I knew it was an end name and I've forgotten what the rest of it was. So, uh, yes, Nicola, she was here um, with her um, Daisy and Grace show earlier on, about four o'clock, I think it was. Um, she might have had one this morning as well. And um, she was doing her um, quilting on the go. Um, it would be perfect because, again, English paper piecing, um, doing your little po uh, projects as you're uh, tr on your travels, all sorts of this one. There's some wonderful step-by-step -step photos in here. So if you've never stitched before, you'll be stitching in no time with this one. And such a lot of inspiration in there. Easy for you to find a project idea. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? You could really make that your own. Do like these. Absolutely good. Oh, half hexagons. How to use those as well there. Oh, I like little arrows. That's a clever idea, isn't it? I like those. Paper piece um, piecing as well there. Oh, okay. Now, this is a nice idea because you could actually photocopy that and actually colour those in to get your idea for your quilts as well as you go in there. And you're getting lots of those within there. They're just nice for colouring in, I think, as well. Um, so there you go. You're going to get that one in there as well. And you're also going to get this final one because you're getting four books within here. This one's working on a similar sort of style to the smaller pieces, making miniature quilts with these. Um, and again, lots of resources within here as well. Um, so the author that we've got from this one, who have we got um, as the author on this particular one? Kim, um, Kimiko. There you go. Um, and well known for miniature quilts. Paper piece, oh, friendship party. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice one, isn't it? Look at that, it's quite dramatic. Now, these ones, I'm looking at these ones and thinking potentially they are a little bit more advanced. But it's nice if you want to get your teeth stuck into a project, isn't it? Or perhaps you've been quilting and you just fancy another new challenge. Well, uh, here you go. This is potentially the way for you to go with these. A bit of paper piecing with these. You've also got full instructions and, of course, you have got your templates in that back pocket there as well. So uh, um, any of those techniques fully explained in there so you're never left on your own. And, of course, Search Press know how to make their books, don't they? They are a brilliant um, a publisher for craft books. And this is a fabulous bundle. You've got all four of those for £23.96. And it's halfway through the hour, so lots of you making your decisions over these books. But... I thought it might be a nice opportunity for us to let you know some of those seven day savers because of course they were launched at eight o'clock this morning as they do every single um, Sunday. So just to let you know, the items that we're covering now are not happy hour deals, so the price will not go up at 8 o'clock. Um, it will go, uh, sorry, 9 o'clock, should I say. They will go up at 8 o'clock next Sunday because they've only just been launched, these particular ones. First one we're looking at here are all these beautiful threads, as you can see here. Lovely collection here. Now, colours may vary, so it's a, a little bit of a lucky dip with regards to these ones. Um, and uh, you can see they're £9.99. It's been a brilliant price. A lovely, um, lovely finish with these now we've actually got 12 colors here so you will get 10 perhaps of some of these ones here um it's a lucky dip though it's one of those things that it's not always nice when they arrive because you don't quite know what you're getting but you do know that you've got a fabulous deal half price deal with these ones as well so seven one two five three five if you want to get hold of those then we have got some fabulous fabric i'm just gonna have a quick slurp as you have a little look at these how cute are these hedgehogs mm -hmm. 
Really sweet. I like this. Good weight fabric, this one as well. Good size piece because you're getting a full metre of this one. Um, and I think, is this the one where you've got one hedgehog going in the opposite direction? It is. Um, not quite sure. This one's obviously in seeing something else. So these are all going in one direction. I don't know where they're heading, but they're heading somewhere. But this one didn't get the memo, did he? He's going in the opposite direction. But he's the same one, because it's a repeat in the fabric. He's not going to be on his own though, because there's a, there's a few of them going in that direction, so that's okay. We don't mind that, do we? Lovely fabric, really good weight as well, 100% cotton. Um, and it's a nice neutral tone there. Even the actual colours of the hedgehogs, you've got quite neutral feels to those. So uh, nice if you are doing something home decor. Um, you've also got lining fabric with this one as well. And it's a lovely cotton lining, perfect for you to actually put on the back of quilts as well. So it might be that you're putting a bit of wadding in between the two, maybe doing a little bit of free motion work around those hedgehogs. Of course, you could fussy cut these and use them for a PK if you wanted to. Um, but uh, a really nice bundle. And they're 11.90. That is a really good seven day saver. Now, as I said before, the price of this isn't going to go up at nine o'clock, but equally so, get in nice and early because um, if it sells out before we get to next Sunday at eight o'clock in the morning, then uh, yeah, we'll have to say goodbye to it. And it can happen can happen quite easy now of course it's not the only way that we bring you bargains galore here at Achanda we also have our deal of the day and our deal of the day this morning was um, your dial on fabric paints you're getting 10 of these pots here some gorgeous colours as you can see in there bright tones in there um, I'm presuming you can get exactly the same colours but jump onto the website you'll be able to see them in closer detail but look at that price wow Rather than paying £39.90, you are going to be paying just £9.90. Now, straight away there, I can see you've got your primary colours in there. You've got your yellow, your red and your blue. So instantly you can make a whole myriad of different colours. You've also got a couple of greens, which is nice because green is always a tricky one to get bang on right every single time. You've got your greys in there, your lighter tones as well, deeper, darker tones. So you really are going to be able to create some beautiful colour mixes with those. And at £9.90, £9 an absolute bargain definitely one to be had so there we go if you fancy getting hold of those then please do pop them into your basket now now it's like this when we've got happy hour deals the last thing that you really want to be paying for is additional post and packing and that's why it's always a good idea to become a freedom member and here's Janice to explain how hello everyone I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month for just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member, which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts. They tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family 
It certainly is. And our family is ever growing. We've got some fabulous brand new companies to hear. Um, our new arrivals, I hope you've been following that promotion because we've had some wonderful companies joining us here at Ashanda and many more to come. So keep your eyes and ears peeled. And if you do fancy becoming a Freedom member, then this could be a fabulous hour to do so. Because with all these wonderful books here, you can understand why you, you would want to add more than one of these in and not pay any additional post and packing. Now we've covered all of those. So uh, there's no more books for me to show you that are brand new. But what we are going to do is revisit some the more popular ones that we've had during this hour. It's kicking off with this wonderful bundle here and you're getting all three of these books. We are looking at the bag boutique collection with this one and you've got some uh, more bags um, bag making fun with these ones so all sorts of different designs. Now the bag boutique one let's have a little look at that one because this is one here again you've got some beautiful designs 20 projects featuring in this one book alone so you can imagine you've got 20 books in this one 10 in the next and then you've got an additional um, 12 so there's lots of book, um, bags that you're going to be able to create different designs within these. The thing that strikes me straight away is the weight of this book and that's because you have actually got your pocket at the back there with your templates, your reusable templates in there. What I would suggest you do though is perhaps just take those to a photocopier just to ensure that you have got a copy of those because as time goes on and when you do see these bags you will be wanting to make them over and over again. The uh, quality of those um, patterns could well deteriorate. Um, now this is lovely, but there you go, you've got a little picture there of the other that's our lovely Debbie on the front there as you can see and Debbie's featured in that many of those that are different books that we've been sharing with you this one particularly bags which is a lovely area and um, that Debbie does enjoy working with and you can see she's so good at this bringing in different designs different styles whether it's bags for everyday use whether it's a special occasion bag teaches you all those techniques and the lovely photography here gets right up close so there's no guesswork whether it's the, um, the straps that you're making with its embellishments that you're adding you know that um, Debbie's going to take you hand in hand step by step through that project to ensure that you do get fabulous results you'll learn how to put pockets in how to put zips in how to attach those straps and handles and how to give your bags form as as well absolutely lovely designs as you can see here different fabrics you could be using to get different design results with these and I'm sure it's going to be one of your go-to books when it does come to bag making because you've got so many different wonderful projects in there but that is just one of the three books you're getting in this set you're also going to get this lovely one here which has got patchwork designs in here so this is where you're going to create your fabric that you then in turn make into your bags so again perfect if you're wanting to use things like your fat quarters or you've got oddments of fabric you could be peeking Piecing together patchwork pieces to make panels to go in bags with these as well. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this. Not just about large bags, it could be about your little purses, little pencil cases, things like that to go within those larger bags. And some really nice designs, as I'm sure you'll agree. That's a nice one, isn't it? There's a little lunch bag there. Maybe a little bit of that insulating software. And I know we have got some of that on the website if you're wanting to add that in. So that is your second of your three books. The last one is this wonderful one from Debbie Shaw. And again, some really stylish designs in here. Again, as we know, um, Debbie prides herself on the photography, the step-by-step -step tuition that she's going to give with you um, with these books. And I know she's created many award-winning and best-selling books with them um, at Search Press. So this one, again, is going to be a wealth of knowledge for you, as I'm sure you will see. They're absolutely beautiful. Tote bags, shopper bags, little bags, big bags, all sorts of different styles in here that you will come to um, create over and over again, I am sure. Um, well, that's a nice little one there, almost like a little drawstring rucksack, I like that one. Um, and again, recycling, using uh, different techniques as well. Maybe you've never had to go at creating your own smart fabric. Well, you could do it with this one. And I know that's one of uh, Debbie's favourite pastimes, remember her telling me that many a time. There you go, there you go, you've got that particular book, you've got your second book there, and your third book, giving you a brilliant bundle for just 22 pounds and 97 pence 543999 now let's have a little look at what should we have a little look at uh, next here we'll have a little look at this one i think simply patchwork because i don't think we looked in the covers of this one did we um, so this particular one, we did look at some of the books in here because you've got cakes and candy. If I remember rightly, you've got a pick and mix with this one. You can choose any three. So maybe you'll be going for your Simply Patchwork gifts. Now within here, you have got smaller projects, maybe using some of those scraps, using some of those elements that you've got left over and making things that you could be giving as gifts. You could be making them for your home. Um, it could be that you're making them and selling them. It's entirely up to you. You've got some lovely projects in here, making it nice and easy for you to get some incredible results. And you have got templates in here to help you through. Do you have a little look at the cakes in closer detail? I don't know about the mug rugs. Let's have a quick look at the mug rugs again. Nice, easy little projects. There's a whole host. I've got all of those different designs in there. Wow. 
There's a lot of mug rugs in there. You've got cakes, you've got monkey sweets in there, flowers. A little bit of cathedral window. Nice set, that particular one. I like that one. Um, quilted cozies. Um, we did have a little look in that one, the hanging hearts we had a look at as well. So, yeah, nice little set, that one. So, again, this one's a pick and mix. You're going to choose any three of these. Going from your quilted co um, covers and cozies. Um, you also got choice of your mug rugs. In addition to that, you might be adding in those cakes and candies. And then the next one that we've got, your simple patchwork um, gifts. Again, just using little elements within there. And then you've got your um, kind of Scandinavian inspired elements, there, as you can see there. Um, and uh, yeah, really nice designs. Hanging Hearts featuring in there as well. So some really lovely designs. Actually works out just a fiver a book. So really affordable way. Because when you look at these, many of them have got at least 10 projects in there as well. Um, so whichever of these you are looking at, uh, you will see that you've got some gorgeous, inspirational projects there that you are going to be able to create time and time again. Um, 688 441 if you're wanting to get hold of these. Now, the Debbie Shaw books are proven to be popular, especially those hardback book ones and these are nice because you know that you've got the uh, kind of progression of time is going to be good with these ones because you have got that solid cover backpacks and satchels let's have a closer look at the uh, backpacks because again you've got some wonderful projects in here your reusable templates so your templates are actually done on uh, mylar so they're not paper they are like a plastic sheet in there they're actually in their little pockets as you can see but it means that they are easy for you to trace around with a fabric pencil um, and you have got the all the elements like pace on the fold, where to cut, where to fold with the other. It's a really nice set. I've not seen this book, um, book before, I must admit. Backpacks, so you've got 15 different designs in here. So let's have a little look at what we've got here. Large backpacks. Of course, you can scale these down if you wanted to. You've got the templates for the as-is sizes, but of course, there's nothing stopping you from changing these. That's a nice nautical-looking one, isn't it? It could be done in denim. I like the one with the little sausage dogs feature in there as well. Um, absolutely beautiful designs right to the way through. I'm sure you'll agree. I do kind of like that one there, with the little doggy face on there. Um, you're going to learn all about bag construction, how to insert pockets, how to put your zips in place, how to attach those straps. The basic construction that you'll be able to use time and time again, how to make things quick and easy, and of course, get some wonderful results in the process there. <laughs> like that. Love the little teddy bear that you got there as well as your little toggle. Really nice idea. So that one is your backpacks. Comes alongside the second, which is your satchels. Now I'm sure I recommended this book to my my sister recently um wanted to get a birthday gift for a friend of hers. Um has got a daughter, she's about eight years old. Um and she's recently um had a sewing machine, she had it for Christmas and uh, yeah, I recommended this book to my sister because I think it's a nice one for you know when they people have got a sewing machine they're wanting to get started, whether they're a youngster or whether an older person, but some, something that you can create that's going to be useful. It's nice to do a bit of purposeful sewing. I've got the elastic cord on this little corner there, but uh, yeah, making something, learning a technique, but making something that you are going to be able to use. And of course, the satchel is always useful because it keeps all the goodies quite t kind of flat and intact, You're not necessarily um, kind of uh, jumbling around uh, um, a hidden pocket satchel there. That's an interesting one to look at there. It's not really hidden anymore, is it? Because I told you everybody. Um, but you can see gorgeous design, super sized. If you want to go um, large with these, go large. Um, and then, of course, lots of photography again, uh, helping you every step of the way. So those two are proving to be a very popular bundle. £25.98, so really good value for money as well. Um, 435705 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Now, of course, some really good prices on those, but maybe you're on a bit of a budget. Maybe you've only got, say, a tenner to spend. Well, we can help you with that because we've got some wonderful designs to share with you. And these are cake-making ones. And, of course, cakes are such good fun, aren't they? Now, we did have a little look at the, the sporties earlier on, so we'll have a look at that maybe later on. Um, your little um, mini sugar bag here. In fact, I'm going to have a look at these ones, the wobblies, because I've got a feeling that it can have some fun with the little wobblies. Now, these are 20 makes with little wibbly wobbly legs, as you can see. So, what have we got in here? Oh, look at these. Oh, what cuties. Oh, with their wibbly wobbly legs and arms. So, you've got your wibbly wobbly lion. You've got a wibbly wobbly frog. I don't know how they actually do the legs out of these. 
little look and see what it says. You've got your wibbly wobbly sheep. What does it say? What are you using for the legs? Oh, chenille stick. So, yes. Your zebra. Yes, don't eat the chenille sticks. Just for the record. Little chick there. Maybe you're thinking of making your Easter cakes. It does remind me of a certain kind of big bird. <laughs> well, one same wavelength with that one. Oh, look at that for a dinosaur. Now, that's nice, isn't it? That's nice because so many people do like dinosaurs. Oh, that's a busy bee. There's a lot going on there. Oh, a little piggy there. P for piggy. Oh, your little flower fairy. Oh, little teddy bears there. All featuring within there. Oh, that's a cutie one. But they could be made out of your, your air drying clay. That's a really good point, Emily. Produce Emily in my ear. Um, what have we got in here? Sugar birds. Now, what have we got in here? He's not looking too happy, is he? He's, he's definitely an angry owl. Oh, I say, look at that one. Oh, that's a fancy one, isn't it? Oh, a pelican. Oh, we've got all sorts. Oh, puffin. A cutie. Oh, he looks a little bit lost, doesn't he? Oh, a really quick penguin. Oh, a stork. I wonder if the stork's related to the flamingo. The owls. Oh, a little pair of macaws. They're cute. Oh, a pelican. These little fish there. Oh, I do like a French fancy. Look at that. Oh, look at them. They could be grazing your Christmas cake this year. Oh, a little woodpecker. That's a clever idea, isn't it? On the, a little Swiss roll there. Like that. Oh, a turkey. Very nice. What else have we got in here? Oh, a fancy peacock. That's a fa fancy one, isn't it? Oh, an eagle. Wouldn't mind a cupcake with one of those on there. And then, oh, a cockatoo. Oh, a little rooster. Oh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? I like that one as well there. Oh, and the little love birds as well. What have we got on that last page there? Oh, a kingfisher. And then swan. There you go. All featuring within there. 20 projects in there. And then we've got your cats featuring. Should we have a quick look at the cats? Oh, they're so sweet. So these are your sugar cats here. So you've got all sorts. You've got all oh, stretchy cat there. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, little tiny kittens in there as well. Oh, you could be putting markings on just like your cat. Oh, Caris. Little Katie, that's cute. Ruby Doo, oh, that's a cute name for a cat, isn't it? Oh, Kalita with all the kittens. And Harvey, oh, Harvey's having a good old stretch there, isn't he, bless? Eli. Oh, oh, a little fluffy cat. Oh, these are so sweet. Oops, got pages stuck together again there. Sorry, what have we got this time? One A. What's an unusual name? Oh, look, it's even got a fish bone, that one. That's like a tortoise shell, that one, isn't it? Oh, a little snowball there. I'm having too much fun here. We've got Buster feature in there as well. Cordelia. Oh, that's a very posh name, isn't it? A little Asher there. These are really sweet. And, of course, you can change out the colours with these as well. So if you wanted to make your cocoa but make it into a different colour, then, of course, you can and a little, finish it with a little rascal there. Now, which was the other one that you wanted to have a little, Emily? The chocolate animals. There you go. Chocolate animals in here. Uh, we've got all sorts. Ooh. So you've got your pudding cats, as you can see on there. Oh, a little chocolate seal. Oh, these are too cute. You couldn't eat these. Me making these now. What we've got? Let's have a look at the index to see what we've got. What do we fancy having a look at? We've got things like your mouse, your baby seal, quick bunny, um, your baby gorilla, badger, poodle, 
porcupine. They are all in there. Should we have a look at all of them? Let's have a quick look. So what have we got? Kicking things off with all the tools. So getting to know all those different basic shapes. Many of these tools you will have in your collection already, I am sure. Oh, little sugar mice. You remember sugar mice when you used to come home from school and you'd have your tenpenny mix? Um, oh, little baby seal. Little quick bunnies. Baby gorilla. Well, with these, what you've actually got, you've got step by step, haven't you? So it's showing you all the different elements there, as you can see. You probably have more gorilla than cupcake, wouldn't you, actually, when you look at that? Little chipmunk. Ah, oh, cute little kittens. Oh, little badger. And there's a little chocolate log there. That's a poodle. Could be a cockadoodle. A little mole. Oh, a little guinea pig. Oh, isn't that cute? Porcupine. Your armadillo. Oh, a little goat. Little o wee -wee. Oh, look at the little bears. They look very contented little bears, don't they? Almost rubbing their little tummies there. Oh, a little otter. They go to sleep holding hands, don't they, otters? So they don't drift off. Oh, oh little gecko there. Nice ideas for birthday cakes as well. And you've got your little pony feature in there. Oh, and your little reindeer, all ready for Christmas again. Absolutely adorable. Now, with these, you are going to choose anything. You're having way too much fun here. Three for a ten. I mean, that is brilliant value for money. You've got Christmas cakes. You've got little shoes in here. You've got beautiful flowers. And, of course, you have got your scaries as well if you wanted to do your Halloweens. Then you have got things like your little sheep. And, of course, those fabulous, or oh, the wobbly, should I say. And then you have also got your sugar bags. Um, any of those, you can choose any three of those. It was just £9.99. Oh, I forgot the sports. We've got the sports one as a choice with that one as well. Now, these ones, the essentials, are brilliant. Is it the essentials we're calling these quilting essentials? You're actually getting four books again for the price on your screen there, £23.96. Brilliant value for money. Um, your quick sews, you've got your 20 to stitch projects, as you can see there, one patch projects. So taking one of those patches and repeating it and giving you lots of different designs. Your mini quilt blocks, again, size up those squares, those rectangles and those triangles, and you can actually make larger projects. But they're nice little projects, perhaps, just to have a sitting in the evening and a bit of hand sewing. Then you've got your quilting on the go, as you can see there. So larger projects, very portable. Um, you're not going to need your sewing machine for any of those. And then finally, you've got your more advanced quilts with these as well. So if you do fancy something to get your teeth stuck into and you perhaps are an accomplished quilter and you're wanting something a bit, little more of a challenge, then we've got some gorgeous designs here. All that reminds me of those tropical flowers that you see when you go off on holiday. Um, absolutely gorgeous design. So this one is your most most advanced of the four books that you're going to get within the bundle but then it could be as simple as just taking those little patches there putting them together and repeating them so you've got a really good wealth of information here going from those simple patches putting the hexagons your triangles all those different shapes together um, to create different results so it's a nice one that one it kind of teaches you the fundamentals of hand quilting that one so uh, yeah a nice little book I like that one that is just one of the four books because you are getting all four of those for a brilliant price of 23 pounds and 96 pence so if you wanted to get hold of those 095027 don't forget, you've got your sugar craft ones we spoke of a few moments ago. Talking of those 20 projects within a book, you've also got your um, your knitting and sewing version. So we've had, obviously, the sugar craft version that we spoke of. This one is your knitting and your crochet. So you've got things like your knitted boot cuffs, you've got your knitted beanies, things like your crocheted flowers in these. Susie Johns obviously created those wonderful knitted flowers. And you can see your knitted bears. Your mug hugs, or your mug hugs, should I say, your crocheted hearts, little tiny toys in this particular one, and your granny squares, really useful one there, and things like your knitted tea cozies there, and again, more of your crocheted squares. You've only got a little over four minutes to take advantage of these uh, savings that we've been bringing to you. Um, and don't forget, do check out some of those seven-day savers that we spoke of, but I am going to leave you with the two that we have been finding to be one of the most popular p combinations during this hour, your satchels and your backpacks, put together by the lovely Debbie Shaw, hard 
hardcovered books and within these books you have got those mylar templates that you're going to be able to use over and over again so a real wealth of knowledge and inspiration gorgeous photography to take you step by step through every single one of those projects and in here you're going to be able to create 15 of your satchels and you've got 15 of your backpacks there it's less than a pound a pattern for each one of those at bags and um, your backpacks and satchels there so brilliant value for money as is the case for any of those others now if you have got any of these deals in your basket then I do urge you to check those baskets out because of course in the next three and a half minutes the prices are going to go up and you'll be paying more than you need to so check those baskets out quickly and then all those fabulous books full of knowledge full of inspiration will be on their way to you talking about knowledge and inspiration we've got lots more of that coming up after the break with a lovely Lou with us and it's going to be our second opportunity to have a look at our brand new studio light one day special so I hope I can call on your company and see you the other side of this see you later So yes, Studio Light One Day Special coming up straight after the break. Then we're going to go over to our nighttime hours with a little bit of clarity before we start watching repeats of the One Day Special. See you in a few moments. Hi, I'm Ali Reeve. I'm from the company Stamps Away. Stamps Away is a family-run company with my husband and I. We create all things crafty, especially with a passion for mixed media. At Stamps Away, we create a lot of MDF products because we have laser cutters and router cutters. We also create our own stencils and masks. We try and make everything we can in-house so that you've got all the materials you need to create your projects. watching a show with me on Hochanda you'll expect to see lots of different techniques, lots of ways of using the products that we produce and it's all very much mixed media so pretty much anything goes. So I hope you won't miss the shows on Hochanda with Stamps Away. Hi, I'm Bev. Hi, I'm Sam. And we're from Be Crafty. Be Crafty is a family-run company. Sam is my sister. And we love bringing brand new products to Hachanda. We manufacture and design all our own ranges of stamps, inkables, MDF, lots and lots of inspiration that we love to bring and share with you. If you tune in to Hachanda to join us, you'll see that mine and Bev's style are totally different. But what that does is it brings you lots of styles and techniques that you can include in your crafting too. Our ranges are increasing all the time with the lovely hand-drawn images that Sam and myself are trying to bring to you, plus the fantastic new designs that we like to bring in the inkables, in the dinkables and the MDF as well. So you can use them across all different sorts of crafts and bring the best we can to Hachanda too. So make sure you don't miss the Be Crafty shows on, on Hachanda. Hachanda. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Welcome to Good Morning Achanda, your daily breakfast fix of your favorite crafts at 7 a.m. Whilst you're getting ready to start the day, join us every morning for the deal of the day, a product available at a special price but only for the 24 hours or while stocks last. Also, part of your morning routine should be the Sunrise Specials, your favorite crafting items available at a special low price but only for the hour. Tune in to Good Morning Achanda and start your day with a deal. Joke on there. I'm sorry. Oh, it's funny that. That, that was funny. Anyway. How are you doing, my darling? Really good, really, really good. Yeah. We had a really busy launch with um, Scott earlier on. Two hour launch, folks, in case yeah, you didn't hour. see it. Six o'clock through. It went fast, you know. It did. I was sat watching it. It was fabulous to watch. Uh, because it's like, what? Ten minutes? And I'm thinking nine, you know, like the, the first hour. Oh, whoa, yeah, it's it's good. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we've got some brilliant deals for you. Now, we yeah. have naturally got your one day special, which we'll be telling you about in a few moments. But I do urge you to jump ahead because I know in the last hour, the complete bundle yeah. of everything was very, very popular. Very. Details are at the bottom of the screen. So if you do want to check that out straight away, you can do. But we're looking at the one day special yep. initially. Um, what have we got in here then, Lou? Right. First of all, we've got the wonderful paints. And mm -hmm. these are, the paints are really 
popular colours. They're not like the standard where you get like the ones that we're not interested in. These are the, the sort of quite funky ones. You've got okay. teals and greens, everything nice. like that. It's beautiful colours. And the lovely Shana did that for me, just sort of a little swatch. Nice. And next to it, we've got a die-cut block. So Ooh, you've got so all the little die -cut elements. Block. Okay, yeah, right. Uh, they just pop out really easily, so oh, they're really nice to use. Seventy pieces in there. Yeah, and, wow. and the thing is, you can use them alone or with with the whole collection. So to okay. me, they're a winner because you can use them both ways. Then nice. you've got these wonderful die cuts. These are pretty. These just uh, you can just. I've seen some of the t the DT have just come mm. out of black, and they're just stunning at the front. Yeah. And then we've got this ornate scrill. Oh, okay. I, I was thinking. It looked really good at the edge of a paper. Yes, nice. You know, yeah. and like really mm -hmm. cut out like a simple card. Yeah. And then we're moving on to we've got some embossing folders that die cut as well, which are quite clever. Oh, I see. Nice. But first, we've got the stamp for the the archway. That's nice because that could be taking you into the depths of a card or a project. I like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got the sort of foliage that go, uh, you know, from top and bottom which i think so is really important is that a stamp that yeah. foliage one nice yeah two separate stamps yeah. so you can use them either way okay then that's the next one is the embossing folder with the die cut in it oh so it cuts the door at the same time yeah so it cuts wow. the actual doors open <gasps> i've got an example of that here i'll yeah. show you in a minute and then the, the next one is the same concept whereas it embosses the flowers but then the two little flowers have a die cut that pop out I like those. so that's that's not the one day special you're getting a lot for your 48 pounds and 98 especially when you think you? That how much these are on yeah. their own 20 yeah. odd quid aren't they yeah. I, I don't know yeah don't you'll, you will that. find those on the website yeah. if they're not the same color something similar because i know it is um, a palette it's a yeah. lovely palette we'll see that in action um be busy as well for the one day special already but as i say it's part of the complete collection yeah. at the bottom and don't worry that 34 pound saving will be transferred over to the complete bundle now of course we're talking studio light so we are talking about shipping uh, being extended and yeah. what was the date so the, the fourth fourth of february fourth, not, a, not, too, not long. too long to wait is it no. it's the 31st on friday isn't it so yeah. not too bad about no. nine days this is beautiful. Right, I've just had an email from the lovely Sammy who made this. Okay. And she's she's presented here with the Ranger show and that and she made this for me and she says, I'm so sorry, that's all I made and I don't <gasps> like it. It's stunning, it's isn't beautiful. it? To Sammy, you you nutter. But this is amazing. <laughs> and I love this because You've got all those concepts. Yes. You've got the fabulous doors that we saw, but it's going to kind of emboss and yep. cut those doors Absolutely. as we saw from the die. That amazing archway, the silhouette flowers have been used uh, as well. That's clever. And yeah. then, you know, further on, we've got two little mini kits, and you get the, the fencing. Well, it's wrong to call it that, the ironwork. And you've got other things, and then that is the die cut book. So Beautiful. you can put a page, and then the die cuts that come out of it. Absolutely gorgeous. And just, just simple little. Uh, Patty's done some. I must admit, I've got a fantastic team. You've done really well. Just like little off cuts and made yeah. it into a card. But that's so, nice. Yeah, yeah little elements. And then this is. Oh, oh wow. this is something I did because what I just. Oh, he's flopping around him. <laughs> get rid of him. <laughs> but um, what I wanted to do is just show that you could take one page, use the stamps that you've got in, and create your own like little. I saw you do this in the last yeah. hour. Really, really simple. Really pretty. Really simple. Lovely idea. Um, and with those little die cuts, now, I don't oh, know if yeah. you've got a pack of those here. Can I pick these up oh, just to have a little can. look can through? Because uh, these, mm. I think this is intriguing because these are all die cut yeah. elements. So if we flick through these. I think Studio Light are getting known for these now. I think it's going to be like a, a hero product for them. Okay. So you can use these standalone or with everything that you've got. And they work with everything on the show, not just this. So, you know, if you wanted to make a little card, you've got everything, the papers and nice. everything to make it. You don't have to stamp. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use a die, die, uh, the die cut. It. You just use this. Yeah, yeah but, that's a really good idea. Oh, and there's the little fountain that we saw yeah. as you delved through um, the archway. Um, you know. on uh, the card that Sammy made. Ah, oh, okay, like that one. Um, again, 270 elements in there that yeah. are all die cut ready for you to pop out and use. And then, of course, you've got the stamps that you're going to be able to use over and over again, as you will be able to, with the dies and those paints. Two flexi buy payments, though, £24.49, and, and rapidly approaching. What was this update? So 30% of the stock has gone, which is a lot of stock because I know that we had a lot of stock of these and we had a lot of stock of the complete yeah. bundle as well, which we'll be telling you about in a few moments. So you've got a £34 saving. Pop that one in your memory bank for just a few moments because we're going to be doing a little bit of maths in a moment. <laughs> 
So there you go, that's your one day special. Now the next section that we've got that complete bundle features these um, elements yeah. as well. Yeah. And again, it's extending the usability of the one day it special. Is. It can be alone, stand alone, do what, it, you know, as its own. You've got papers, you've got die cuts, you've got stamps. But as an add-on, it's perfect. And the way that, that you do it with the, the flexes in a minute mm -hmm. is amazing. But this, you've got quite a big saving on as well. But I was just saying to Scott in the last hour, that, mm -hmm. that watering can, you don't have to leave it like that. You could take the spout and the handle off and have it as a vase. You could Good paper point. cut yes, it. Yes. You don't have to keep them like that. You could take um, the fence and make that into a train trap. There's all yes. these different things. Good point. I mean, if you just, that train track, if you cut that diagonally, yes. you can make it like perspective that way. Good point. So yes, I'll show you, you like, like uh, yeah. Well, it could be a little ladder or anything, can't Absolutely. It? So there's these things, you know, once you start thinking like that, and then you've got some ornate die cuts in there, which are really... Beautiful ornate fence alongside yeah. that little um, um, chair that you've got there. Paper pad, gorgeous roses as well. In fact, you've got two sets of stamps, you've yep. got two sets of dies, and you've got your paper pad um, for £24.99. It's been a popular bundle because you're saving £14. Now, bear in mind, we were talking about a £34 saving a few moments ago, so we're up to what 48 pounds saving i think so far yep Pop that one in your memory bank as well, because we haven't finished yet. There's more to add nope. in. Um, so if you're wanting those, do pop them in 502146. But then we've got another set. Do you fancy a cup of tea? Yeah, why not? Well, there you go. You can China, this it's got to be in China tea cups, so. though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it tastes like better. China, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, do you know what? I thought that was all right. Whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. It does. Oh, okay. it does taste I'm not a big different. tea drinker. I used to be, but I'm more of a coffee drinker. Oh, I'll tell you what, you want not No, I'm, 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 I don't drink it, tea. It does make it a special occasion. You're not mad on the daddy with, my, with the tea. What's that? <gasps> right, you know your electric kettle? Yeah. Right, you used to put tea bags in that. Really? And have tea in that. Really? Oh, that's why, why I never I'm... drink it. Oh, gosh. I know, and I said to my dad, I that's dangerous, that, and he said, I no, it people right. that have been into hotels and they've boiled eggs in a kettle, but yeah. never actually making the tea with Making the, the tea, the yeah. Ooh, okay. Stand the spoon up, it's... Mm. But take, they love the builders tea, they used to call it. Tea. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> It'd stick wallpaper on with that stuff. <laughs> now, anyway. this set here, again, it's got a bit of a tea theme going yeah. on. Stamps and dies again, blue. Absolutely. Same sort of concept as that. Two sets of dies, two sets of stamps, and a paper pad. But again, these are like taking it to a little different area now. You've got your tea. I, I just think they're great add ons, but these, some of these are my hero stamps because these flowers and that, um, it looks like a Nagapanzdith or a. Yeah. Yes, yeah. That that flower, it, that die cup, Beautiful. I'd use it for everything. Yeah. And, you know, I said to Scott, you could have the teacups and all that in the mm. back of that arch door, as if, if you go to Mad Apple. Mad Tea Party. Tea party, yeah. party yeah. Really yeah. good idea. Yeah. Now, with this one, you have got a saving of £14, which if we add that onto the savings, I think we're looking at about £62 savings so far over the one day special, the previous bundle, and this particular one. So, uh, yes, £62 saving. Keep that one up there because we've got more to share with you mm -hmm. because the paper pack is also included within the complete bundle that I'll be telling you about in a few moments. Now, Lou, these look pretty. They are really. But I would, well, I the last show with Scott I did, I showed him how we went from a bright pink, not bright pink, but a, a sort of soft pink um, wall paint to me doing a grungy one and it was okay. so easy to do. But, you know, so don't think of these as just being these colours, you can change them up. Good point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they've got obviously the, the hue on them at the moment, which is very in keeping with everything that we've looked at. Oh, yeah. Like says you can change those Oh, out yeah. I mean, easily. I think they're the nicest you have. Yeah. I mean, these scrapbook papers, when you come to them, you'll see, I mean, that's lovely. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. You know, you, you, that, that's a page. You put, yeah. put a little picture on that and do a bit of scrapbooking. Mm -hmm. It's made. You don't need oh, anything else pretty. on it. Look at that on the bottom there. Yeah. Oh, found another A4 sheet. Now, within these, you are getting eight A4 sheets. Yep. They're all double-sided, as you can see, with yeah. these. And also, you're going to get your eight 12 by 12s. And again, they are double-sided as yeah. well. Brilliant quality, I have to say. The way it's it really is. good, aren't they? Really, springy, really good. Yeah. And some together, of these man. make... I could just see, you know, which is going to be one of my demos in a minute, but... Um, one of the pages is just using white embossing powder on it yeah, nice. um, with, with ink and you don't need to do much else and it's beautiful. Okay. So the thing that I noticed as well, you've got things like the foxgloves feature yes. here, the previous set we had, the, the dies for you've the dies. You've got it in the, the, dye book, book, yeah. the dye book, the little picket fence, again you've got yeah. that, we saw that earlier on, and the teacups we Absolutely. saw a few moments ago, the tea, um, teapot, everything is coordinated and coming together. So this is £10.99. Now, 
add all those goodies together and you have got your complete bundle. But don't worry, that saving that we've clocked up so far, £62 worth of saving, is still there. Yep. In fact, we're going to add to it because you um, are taking advantage of everything. We're going to put an extra fiver on there. So you have got a £57 saving if you go for that complete collection. Hold on, rewind, let's take that back, back again because you've got an additional £10.49 on top of that fiver I've just spoken of and now I've lost track because that was 67. 67. Um, we're looking at £77.50, is that so, right? There or thereabouts? With that, yeah, with the... Uh uh, freedom. Seventy-seven pounds and forty-nine pence. I was a penny out, Lou. I'm out. disappointed in this. Um, Ninety-four pounds and forty-six pence. That is amazing. Now, of course, it's a considerable purchase, so we're naturally giving you the opportunity to spread the payments. Not over two payments, though. You can actually spread it over three payments. Thirty-one pounds and forty-nine pence. Now, let me just think back to the one-day special. If I was going to go for the one-day special by itself, what price was the one-day special? £48.98, okay, which is lovely because I was going to buy that anyway. Mm. But I would rather be paying £31.49 today rather than £48.98p and getting all those mm. additional elements which mean I can further extend the one-day special. Now you've got a second and third payment, but when you see how beautiful that one-day special is, you will want all those additional elements there. I worked it out, you know, when you buy this, then your next payment is pound a day. That's a good point, yeah. Just that over a, a really just over point, a pound yeah. a day, yeah. And I'm, I think to myself, what can I get for a pound? You can't get anything really, can you? No, yeah. no. Yeah. I mean, pa well, whatever. But it's that's how I look at it. Pound mm -hmm. a day. Even the pound shop selling things for more than a pound now. That, I that had annoys this me. That the other day, it they need to change that sign. Don't it, they? it needs to be anything mm. or a pound I'm having this and over. Had a conversation with Abigail, and she was Under saying that she got ten, one. ten things. She got to the till, it was fifteen pounds, and it just didn't add up. There no, it should be over over one and under two. Exactly. Now, the details Shop. on your screen are for that complete collection. To be honest, that's the way the majority of you have been getting hold of these. Bear in mind, dispatches from the 4th of February, but it's definitely worth the wait. Well, it's hardly a wait, is it? We're only talking about nine days. Mm. And, of course, what you can do is you can sit and you can think and you can plan the projects that you are going to be baking, perhaps inspired by these. <laughs> I know, really. I've had the um, team so so clever. I've got some um, new ones at the moment. Oh, um, I've got Patty Dutton, Alison Hahn, and Denise. Um, and although Emma, and we've got the others as well. But you know, it's it's lovely that new people are getting involved yes. as well because it gives us all inspiration. It so do, I'm yeah. very lucky. Very it very. It makes lucky. our job so much easier as well because oh, I mean, yeah. if you look at these and absolutely beautiful designs. Now, well, they make because they, they make the likes of me look blooming good. Look at all that. You don't have to look at what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> now, what what we up to? You've got a 12 by 12 sheet. Yeah, I thought, because you all, everybody always sees me working on smaller bits and that, and, and I thought we could start off big and then just cut down, see if I want to cut down, if I don't want to. But I'm going to start, I'm thinking about, let's get back to basics and okay. think, okay, I'm going to do some embossing on this. Now, mm -hmm. the colours you can use, you can use any of them. Now, I, I do have an embossing folder, but just bear with me one minute. Okay. It's here. Um, well, um, something I'm very quickly going to mention as well. We've got some um, gorgeous journaling dies. We're going to pop the details up on the screen. If you do want to get hold of these, we've got two different bundles within these. So I think, are they split that way? Um, you've got 250 and 251. 
Oh, yeah, it's those here. two, yeah. Those two. Those, two, those two together and the flowery two together oh, okay. as well. okay, fair enough then. So, uh, yeah, um, 252 and 253, is that one of those items? So yeah. the details on your screen. And then you've got 250 and 251 being the second bundle. Those are the ones that are proven to be the most popular at the moment. And we have seen these before, but they are very dramatic dyes. So, again, 19.99, a very affordable way to get hold of those. But we'll perhaps look at those in closer detail later. Well, what I've chosen is, now I've now sorted, I'm sorry about that. You know when you That's try okay. and sort yourself out and it all goes pears, <laughs> pear shaped. Right, so I've got my stamps ready, I've got some um, embossing ink, and I'm just looking, I really like that, but I'm more interested in this bit. Okay, yeah. Only because... That's already done, mm. and if I wanted to keep it like that's fine, but I want to introduce something here. Nice. And I thought I would do it with just just embossing, just plain and simple, you know, everyday okay. embossing. Because I think you'll, you'll agree with this. Uh, I, well, everybody, this is sticky ink. It's great stuff, but plumbing neck does it stick. <laughs> um, I get sort of that lost in... That will have to do. <laughs> <laughs> He's I, almost finding its own place there, Lou. <laughs> well, did, didn't it? But I get that sort of lost in, in, in trying to find new things to do and exciting techniques that I forget. Yeah. Why don't I just do simple just ones? Just go to, back to the basics. Sometimes those basics are useful tools to oh, have, aren't they? Of course have you yeah. got a bit of a mucky acrylic? Yes, it's there. embossing it's, powder again. Oh my goodness, you've got everything on there. I could tell a story or two. It could. None of it probably legal. <laughs> right, I've done two of those. Okay. Um, I think it's very, the suction on that is amazing, yeah. that pad. Very well, juicy. It is. Um, so I'm just going to emboss these while I've got, while I've got them there. Now, Lovely. I could choose gold, mm. I could choose white. I'm going to go for a chunky white because I want it to oh, look... Oh, okay, right. I don't want it to be sort of perfect. I want it to look... A little, it's dried too fast for me. Right, well, I'll put... Mm -hmm. What I'll do then is... I'll put a bit of gold in there, but I'll just get rid of that. Do you want me to move that oh, out of the way for you? It's too chunky for that. Yeah. Sometimes with the, the chunky one, like you say, it, it doesn't always take the fine detail, no, does it? There's, doesn't. there's not enough there for it I'll to see grab if hold this, of. If not, it's because it's dried too quick. Okay. And then I'll tell you. I'll be honest with you if it has. Night, see, that's fine. The white yeah. one. It's the white one that's yeah. too thick for it, so... Do you want me to pop that in there? Because you've got a little bit of the wine oh, in there. Oh, it doesn't matter. matter. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm, I'm not a bit of muck. Not precious No, over it. no, no. So all I'm going to do now is... A bit of heat and bustle. That's important, that, because sometimes you might think, oh, it's not worked, and it might be just the use of the embossing powder. Yeah. You know, well, are they impossible? Yeah. yeah. This is what we often talk about fine detail in Boston County, because sometimes you've got such fine de detail yeah. with stamps. But when you get them home, if you've just got your standard embossing powder, it might not be fine grain enough to actually pick out all the fine exactly. detail. And you might think, oh, no, it's a stamp. I bought the stamp. They told me it was fine detail, but I can't see any of the detail. It could be that combination of what you're yep. using, the ink pad. Is it a new ink pad? Is it one that you've had for donkey's years and it's dried up and not applying enough there? Or is it that your embossing powder is maybe a little bit too chunky for the job? Well, you, you see, to, you know, things go off. Yeah, they do. And if you don't... You know, they don't last forever because these, these are made to be used and if you don't use them... Good point. So, yeah, it's really important that, you know, and, and you know, yeah, it happens and I need to know. Now, if you get this ruckling, mm -hmm. don't worry, you put it in a book, it's just that that's hotter than the rest of it. Okay. So, you know, don't worry about that at home. You think, oh, it'll settle down. Oh, yeah, it does. Now, what I've also done is, uh, I'm just going to paint these up now, but I have got some um, make, cutting cards, so... Oh. Okay, but yeah. I'm just going to use this bit because I like the background and and yeah I could I could have got the any other paper, mm -hmm. but um, this could then I could transfer this and make this into a scrapbook page if yeah. I want just by doing the same thing. But sometimes I don't want to do all the playing about in the background. I just want to get detail yeah. on, and this is a great way of doing it. Okay. So. We're going to get this. We're going to liven up the paints. Now, tell me about these paints, because you've got these paints within the one-day special in this brilliant palette, I yeah, must yeah. say. They're really good. They're, um, they're one of the, the Studio Light sets. We've, we're lucky because you have different designers um, select these. And this, you know, Janine's art collection is... 
she uses them a lot so to have a set of watercolors named after you is amazing well but this is it and there are different combinations yes. aren't there so if you've invested in one of the palettes previously this isn't necessarily the exact same one no. that you've got but no. you can interchange those little oh, bricks yeah. can't you well they're half pans and then these come in six pans as well so if you wanted to say go out and change these and you didn't want the yellow together or you wanted that one with that one all you do is push them out at the bottom I don't want to turn no, them no, off no, as I'm push them out there just push them out yeah and then what you can do is just change them to your own configuration nice. but yeah. just make a note of the the names because you, your little card yeah, so we'll you have will the name get, on it, yeah. Well, that's it. You do get your little index card. And it's always a good idea to actually um, colour this up so you've got yes. a feeling for those colours before you start working. It's a really nice range, nice palette there. I like those. Exactly. These are sort of more specialist colours because mm. you've got the tealy greens and the purples and pinks, whereas normally we'd get we'd have to go out and buy them special. Yeah. So there is a, that's why I like him. It's a bit funky. And it's not easy to actually um, make. I, I know no. all colours come from the primaries, but it's not easy no. to get that kind of teal no, tone repeatedly, it's really, time and time again. It's one of them really difficult ones, yeah. but they mix so well together. Talking of the teal now, I'll just take a tiny bit of the teal, mm -hmm. or as I used to call it, we used to call this petrol. That's right, we Petrol did, yeah. blue. I don't know if that is actually the colour of petrol, because it's usually in a pump, so I can't see. Or um, those petrol-y thingies. Like your marks on the floor, but yeah, petrol. I like the oil on water sort of work, yeah. Like, yeah, that's probably where it comes from. So I'm going to mix. I've got the purple, you can see how strong they are. And I'm just going to mix to get a teal, a teal blue. So you can get a teal that are teal that's a green based or yeah. you can get one that's blue based okay. so that's how you do it yourself anyway. But I just want to introduce a little bit of colour. Okay. So what I do is the brushes water inside the barrel okay. or does it come with the brush as well yeah it comes <gasps> up with two brushes wow. so you've got a thin and a thick you've got a wash brush which on, on their own they're not cheap to buy no. so you've got a wash brush there with, with a flat edge and you've got a point edge nice. so you're taking these out you don't need out else you've got no. a, re a removable palette yeah and you can see you could use all these as palettes good point and yeah. then that'll fit there but they're really hard wearing as well and then these are all movable which i really like because mm -hmm. um you can also put other pans in as well if you've got other colors yeah, from good. another kit you can put good them in point, yeah. so you'd have to take two then so anyway i've got my color now and i'm just going to lift out a little bit of color mm -hmm. just mix with this and i'm just going to very gently just drop color in now what i mean by that is i'm not painting I'm just dropping colour in at the edge, yeah. and I'll show you why, because I want to blend it out with water myself, I don't want to sort of watercolour it, I just want to, the, it's almost like the reservoir mm. of the embossing powder is the bit that I really want, and I'm just dropping the colour on the actual flower um, sides not the bells the trumpets but mm. the sides now if you've got a little bit and you've missed a bit don't worry because you can make it up okay. like that so it looks very strong like that mm. and it will do but now what we're going to do is dry your brush off and we're just going to pull the colors out maybe lift them out there oh yes and pull them out and get a get a piece of tissue mm -hmm. don't have to have toilet roll but <laughs> who cares? Yeah, expense spare, no you? absolutely i was going to call it bog roll then but i thought no better not so I'll just pull the color out and all i'm doing is i'm teasing it no color on my brush no water on my brush either i'm just using the and if it's too much i can lift out some and, and pull it out okay so i'm just teasing the color down and so don't forget i'm working directly on this paper mm -hmm. now so this shows you that you can you, you could do quite a bit to this and it, it's not going to harm it um so that in itself is that a plus fabulous tiny bit there miss they one there any of that, but the intensity of color there i don't need to, i'm not doing any work mm -hmm. because it's doing it all for me so now what i'm going to do is i'm picking up so if i wanted to keep this page mm -hmm. whole i've got the blues and the purples there what have made my own color and mm -hmm. don't forget that started with the teal as well yes yeah um so it's a nice way of getting dark colors without going to black there's no black in this palette by the way oh yeah which is really good because we've got a smoke gray in there instead so i could pick up some of the pinks so if i go for the pinks if it was to use that like that oh wow that's bold yeah it would it would kill mm. it a little bit so what i take a little bit of the pink there okay and I'm just going to mix a tiny bit of that with it and take the colour down a tiny bit. Oh, right, okay. So now what I do, 
you can just oh, yeah, she toned it contrast, right down. Yeah. So I'll show on a piece of paper, it's really toned it down. There's the... Oh, that's much easier, yes. And I'll show you the colour as it is. So, and that'll work every time if you use the colour that wow. you've got yeah. already on your palette. So now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop that. Because if you notice foxgloves and things, you have a wonderful colour on the outside, mm. but then inside it's um, it's like a, a different colour. Yeah. So I'm going to drop a little bit of pink in now just to separate the colours. It doesn't matter if you don't get it spot on in these the top parts because they're only small tiny flowers mm -hmm. then. And it's lovely because this palette of paints has been put together with the English Garden Complete oh, Collection yeah. in mind so you know that any of those colours you choose from that palette you will be able to find within that collection. Absolutely. So, yeah. And this is, it's for those people who find watercolour a bit mystical or a bit, not mystical, a bit scary. Mm. Um, this is a really easy way of doing it, of getting, you know, once you get into it, it's like driving a car, mm. you've mastered one skill, you can go to another. So all I'm going to do is do exactly the same thing, and I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this, and I'm just going to bring the colour down. But this time, I'm going to add another colour to it just to liven it up. And you can see as you look across from the de um, design here, very in keeping with those colours. Absolutely. I mean, uh, there's an, I'll show you another little trick in a way now. So you can see I've picked up the colours now. It looks mm -hmm. sta starting to come alive a little bit. But what I want to do is really bring this, the centre of these flowers a bit, a bit more. Okay. And you do this with an orange. Oh, no. So what I That's do then is... strong colours to start with orange. Exactly. It is powerful, this orange. So I'm going to mix it with the pink. Okay. So I'm toning it down already. So it's almost like a pinky peach now. Yeah, absolutely. So... Nice. It's a lot softer. Yeah. And then what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of the teal in it. So there's the one. Mm -hmm. See how the tone yeah. is toned it right down. So now a tiny bit. Not a lot, and this will take the tone right down so it's not too bright. And you won't probably won't see much of that happening, but it has toned it down. Yeah. I'll show you on here. It's yeah, just toned it down there, yeah. now. It's kind of been cute. And because you're using those colours that you've already used, Absolutely. That it's, yeah, that's where it's picked out. And all you do is put this in the middle of the trumpet. And when I'm, what I mean by that is just there. And, okay. that, and that, all that does is give it, it livens it up. So it just introduces a little bit of difference in you still got your pink mm -hmm. but now you've got your orange as well and it it just gives it a tiny bit more life gives it dimension as does well. totally and then we can mix all these colors together then because <laughs> again they're all from the same palette same palette we're going to mix the purple with it okay so we're going to warm up and we're going to mix the teal with it mm -hmm. and we're going to get a gray shadow yeah and now you think, oh, that looks a right mess. Yes, I know, I know. But once I show you what we're going to do with it, I might put a little bit more teal in it just to... Right, and this yeah. is... Now, this is my shading. So okay. I can't go wrong with this. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop it in around yeah. the flowers. And because you've used the ingredients w that are the same as within the design, yeah, it's it all totally correct. It won't, it won't, it makes yeah. It's so you, easy doing it that absolutely, way. Absolutely, because those tones, as you've rightly said perfectly, those tones are already in there. So anything I add to it will go because yeah. they're already in there. Yeah. So the minute you start introducing another colour, if I was to just put flat right orange on there yeah. without mixing it with something else, then that's when it goes wrong. Mm -hmm. So that then. It's that toned lovely, yeah. right down. It's yeah. quite bright, but it's in keeping with all this. Mm -hmm. Now, another little trick you can do. So, just, this is only... This, this is for, say you wanted to get true bright colour. Okay. This is just gesso. Yeah. Um, don't use too much water. You can keep that if you want that um, shading colour, because it's a good one. But I'm, I'm going to... Okay. Or I would get a piece of paper and yeah, sort of mop fine, it up. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to thin this down a little bit mm. and I'm just oh, going okay, to scrub right. over all of it. I oh, didn't expect you to do that. Yeah, just over all of it. Okay. And you think, oh, what's the point of that? Well, if you can catch it quick enough, I don't really want it on me embossing. I just want it on the paper. Oh, I see. Okay, right. So it's now... So it's kind of gone into those recesses? Yep, yeah, so oh. I've keyed the paper. Okay. So I've given it a gesso, but now I'm going to brighten it up again mm -hmm. by embossing it again. Yeah. So the embossing has been coloured a little bit by the paint. I want it to come back out. It won't come as alive as much as it was, but 
you're sort of waking it up a little bit right and just to show you now that that although it's you can still see the shine on it it's 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 not as shiny it's almost like a subtle shine because yes like, when you, you compare it to the Absolutely. two it's kind of a sophisticated shimmer more so than a shine it, it does look very different mm. doesn't it but now you can sort of if you think you've got pens and your pencils anything you can put anything on that because you've keyed it with your, your gesso so again if you wanted to go in with watercolors and you wanted to just do um, more of a pastel-y colour. Mm -hmm. So I've got gesso on my brush, which it doesn't matter, and I'm mixing it with a watercolour. Now I've got a chalk paint. Yeah. So now Clever. what I can do is paint them into a chalk. So this is a very different... Very clever. Very different mm. sort of way of looking at them. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm doing blue, but this is now a chalk paint. So this won't have any shine, mm -hmm. but you're able to work on top of it like... This you wouldn't be able to because it's sinking into the paper, you yes, can see. Yeah. This you can just work on top. It's kind of putting a, a layer in place. Now, um, Lou, I, is it okay if I leave you to, oh, to carry on yeah. with colour then and come back and visit you again in a minute? Of course it is. Uh, I need to give you guys a little bit of a recap. We're Brilliant. rapidly approaching halfway through the hour. Can you believe heck. that? Time is flowing away. Um, so, well, it's 713-233 if you want to go for that complete collection. And, of course, you'll find it on the website. But don't worry. I will take you through all the fundamentals that you need to know because, of course, the core of it is your one-day special. Nine o'clock is an hour when we um, have a second look at the one-day special. We were fortunate enough to have a two-hour launch this evening. So if you did miss the launch, show do go back and watch um, you've got some wonderful techniques and wonderful ideas Scott and Lou were there bringing lots and lots of fun and inspiration using not only the one day special but also those additional bits and pieces but the core is the one day special that's what I'm going to concentrate on for the next few moments because it has been a very popular one day, one day special already firstly you can see you've got a 34 pound saving what's not to love about that straight away I am interested in this but then when you start looking at the gorgeous artwork that you've got in here they are so easy to work with these pieces. You can see there you've got your foxgloves featuring in your die cut toppers, but then you've also got your stamps that we saw Lou working with, which again are your foxgloves. We've got those coming up in a few moments. But all the elements that we've got across the complete collection, the continuity is the key thing. Within the one day special, you've got a series of dies, you've got a series of stamps, you've got some embossing folders in here, giving you all the fundamentals, all the elements that you need to take hold of those gorgeous designs and create some beautiful pieces. Pieces. Now, I have just knocked everything flying, which gives me a perfect opportunity for me to hold everything and show you in closer detail. So, of course, the die that you've got that cuts those fabulous doors, as you can see there, you have got that teamed up on this occasion with the little wrought iron fence, which we'll see in a few moments as well. But it's perfect using them all together. But then you've got the embossing folder that's going to give you the texture of that stone clad wall, as you can see in the background. The stamps are going to give you the gorgeous florals that you can see here and those gorgeous silhouettes. Again, Again, coming from the die cut elements. You've also got printed elements that you can literally take out of the page if you wanted to and pop them into place, as you can see here. And again, some wonderful sentiments that will work alongside there. And you've also got those gorgeous wrought iron gates that are just so delicate, but so effective. And as you can see here, as you look through onto that paper beyond that wall, you have got one of the elements that is die cut that you can pop in place there. But what if you want to go fun and funky? Well, you can do. I love this very contemporary look at those stamps as well. So it looks like a totally different collection. But you've got these little tiles that have been mounted on that square um, canvas, as you can see. Could be just little kind of um, MDF pieces, grey board squares on this particular occasion. But doesn't that look dramatic? But using stamps that you've got within your one day special, such a clever idea. Um, and it really is a bumper bundle. You've got a £34 saving. Now, if you do go for the complete collection at the bottom of the screen, that £34 saving will be included within that. In fact, you'll get way more than that, which I'll explain to you in a few moments. But you can see here all the elements, including that fabulous paint palette that Lou has been working with. And at £24.40, 49 pence for that first flexi buy on this one you can understand why it has been popular but as i say if you're looking at around the 38 pounds i think it was for your first flexi buy on the complete collection that might be a better option for you to go with but for the time being the details on the screen there 914280 24 pounds and 49 pence now of course to your one day special you might want to add some additional bits and pieces might be that you don't want to go for the one day special and you want to go for this little bundle instead which you can do it's all about choices and that's why studio light have broken this down into kind of four separate bundles so you can have as few or as many of these items to craft with 
Now, with these, you've got some gorgeous elements. You've got your watering can, you've got your wildflowers, you've got your rose, your furniture dies, and your beautiful paper pad. Now, of course, we did have that paper pad featuring within the one-day special, but they were die-cut elements. Within here, you've got gorgeous papers, backdrops that you can be using in a whole host of different ways. Really pretty. 36 sheets, you've got seven designs featuring within there, and you really have got lots of scope. That gorgeous wrought iron fence featuring there, the stamps with the picket fence, the individual your flowers a wonderful um, little wheelbarrow featuring in there as well as you can see there is that watering can gorgeous designs you are going to use these over and over again and with a 14 pound saving you'll be very pleased that you took advantage of that deal 24 pounds and 99 pence 502146 now the cup of tea set is a lovely set to go for again you can go for this one just by itself if you're wanting to not many of you are doing that you're going for it with the complete collection which i can understand why um, and uh, you've got a lovely collection you've got your tumbling teacups there you've got a couple of little fairy cakes featuring in there as well lovely little teapot as you can see and then of course you've got the stamps that Lou just worked with the gorgeous fox gloves there absolutely beautiful and then some lovely sentiments that are very in keeping with the style that we've got here paper pad again you have got that added into this bundle now this is a different paper pad i think to the one that we saw previously um so again a nice collection um of elements dies you've got your stamps um featuring in here you really have got a wealth of element now with this one it's 24 pounds and 99 pence you're saving 14 pounds on this one so again another popular but i love the little teacups they've got that very quaint look to them love those kind of poppy elements you can see there as well so a really nice set it is part of the complete collection and similarly to all the other things we've been talking about we're looking at extended dispatch with this one we're looking at the 4th of february with this one so it's not too long to wait at all um, the only other thing to bear in mind is that we have got the paper pack for you with your 12 by 12s and your a4s now you've got eight repeats of each of those in there so you can see not eight repeats eight repeats of your 12 by 12 you've got eight pieces of that 12 by 12 and eight a4s that's what i was trying to tell you double-sided with regards to these really pretty designs and you can see lots of elements featuring within the papers that you will have already seen within the stamps and the dies things like the teacups featuring in here the roses are featuring things like the fox gloves all those gorgeous and um, garden elements the gates the uh, the stone that you can see from the cloud and they're absolutely beautiful and at 10.99 brilliant value um, at 567877 but as i mentioned the majority of you going for it all and what's not to love about this bundle it really is a bumper bundle you've got loads within here you've got the stamps the dies the paints from the one day special and the die cut elements you've also got the additional paper packs that we've been speaking of the additional stamps the additional dies the 12 by 12s everything that we've just featured are featuring within here but what was that update 50% of the stock has gone. Now, I can understand why. On the screen there, you can see you've got your Freedom Members discounted price, £94.46. It's got a saving there of £15.49. Now, that is on top of the savings that we've already spoken of. So, realistically, what that means is you are saving over £70. If I remember rightly, £77.49. That is a huge saving. And then you can split that over three payments if you want to turn them into flexi-buy payments. £31.49 would be your initial payment if you did decide to spread it over three payments. Of course, you can go for it all in one go if you prefer to. It's entirely in your choice. We just give you that ability if, should you want to. And if you're watching from overseas, then you can get involved with this as well. And, of course, the design team have had a whale of a time creating with these beautiful elements. Just look at what they've created. <laughs> Yeah, we're, um, I've gone to some of the embossing now because, tell you why, you get some great 
roses in, in the kit. Okay, yeah. In one of the kits. I, I always forget which. But they don't actually cut out um, mm -hmm. as we normally see mm -hmm. it. The, you get... the. The, the maid saw you emboss them. Now, I'm not an embosser like this. Okay. This is, I'm out of my comfort zone, but I'm not, I always have a go, me. I don't care. Let's give it a bit of a wiggle. Oh, um, I've seen Barbara do it. So I've seen Paul Church do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should show me. <laughs> so I love the fact that it's got so much movement in yeah. it now and it's not flat because that's the original one. Wow, that is a difference, isn't it? It yeah. always looks bigger. It does, and, yeah. and, and you, I like the idea of being able to change all these, mm -hmm. and you've got some decent sizes there. So they're just white, I've done it in white card, um, I can't remember what the DSM one was this, but I know it's the Pink Frog Super Smooth, so it's pretty thick card, mm -hmm. so it's cut right through there. Again, if you're at home, you could do, I know some of you will be shouting at home now, no, oh, you're doing it wrong. Well, I don't care. Oh, I'm not. I'm not a rule follower. I have to say, as long as you get a nice result with it, exactly. it doesn't matter, does it? You don't win a prize. Um, if well, they see, they see you've hit the nail on the head there, because that puts people right off. If they're thinking that they're doing it wrong, well, there's no real wrong or right. Of course, there's not. It's only you having fun, and mm -hmm. then if you don't like it, well, it's nobody up to you. knows how you got to that final Yuck. result, do they? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Right now. It's just going to be, you ready? White on white with no colour. Are you ready? Are you feeling okay? No. That's I'm, not you usually, I'm white on white. I'm going to wash my hands. Okay. Just wipe them. Right, okay. Right, okay, right. Okay. Still mucky, but never mind. <laughs> right, so I've got this white card. Okay. Now, I always think of those people who have a white card to start with and a white card at the end. How do you do that? <laughs> How did it do it? <laughs> anyway, I just like... We're going to try our best on this occasion. Right, I know you're going to think white on white, but it has a really beautiful effect. Okay. And, and you can use any stencil you've got. I'm just thinking lace it, it's going to look okay. It doesn't matter what it is. Okay. It doesn't matter, I'm not worried. That's not what I'm doing. What I'm doing is I'm just going to introduce a little bit of... Well, I would if I had my sponge. Right, there we go. I'm just getting a little bit of gesso. Okay. And there is a method in my madness, because white on white, believe it or not, it creates shadow. Okay. So the interest won't be in the colour, it will be in the shadow that it creates. Oh, so you're almost looking at the negative side yeah, of it rather absolutely. than the positive. Okay. So the white on white, you, you, you may not even see much, but it's just the texture that you're going to have in the background or okay. in the foreground. And then what you can do is... If you want to add colour, there's nothing to start you, but I just want to take the colour element out. Because mm -hmm. I know people out there, they're not always as into colour as me. And mm -hmm. it's, I know it can be a bit daunting sometimes when you see people and they're like, oh, yeah, but you can use colour. Well, just using white on white or any colour. It could be red on red, green on green. Good point. Keep yeah. the colours separate and just keep to one and then I'm just going to pull that off and you can just see. Oh yes, yeah, start see it coming through. I'll just put that, lower it down. I'm okay. not too bad, it's not a repeat pattern that has any meaning or, yeah. you know, words. I mean, you do that at home and keep it sort of in the right spot. You don't want it overlapping in the wrong mm -hmm. place. Now, so I've just got that. Yeah. And as it's drying, it will start to mattify. Okay. That, that is a word. Lovely. And you can just see it starting. Oh, yeah, you can see it around the edges more so. Than, so yeah. I'll just give it a bit of a faff. Wonderful. Um, just to let you know, that complete collection as well, it's only dawned on us that it's a why not deal. If you're not a Fuji member already, then um, you are obviously saving with that additional saving. So the, don't forget, this additional saving is on, on top of the one day special savings, on top of those different bundled savings as well. But you will save an additional £10 as well as your post and packing if you become um, a Freedom member um, and take advantage of those savings. Now, your Freedom membership is only £6.97. So you will save an additional £10 and two, um, well, £12.95 in total. Um, so you're still winning. Um, wow. Out of that, you've got roughly £7 will come off that. So you're still a fiver off, aren't you, at least? Oh, £6, yeah. actually. Well, like you're saying, now, now when you put it in terms that, uh, terms that I understand, 
it, relative to what I'm using, like money fire, money thing. I understand it's like, it. It's like, yeah, okay, just just give me the simple terms. Yeah, because, yeah and then the pennies I can, and everything. Yeah, yeah, I can put it in my head about how it what it means mm. to me. And it makes a big difference. And that, I must admit, driving home from here um, a couple of nights ago, I stopped off at the petrol station, filled up, bought a coffee. Before I knew it, it was a fiver for the coffee. Oh, I know, I know. It's what? I know. I'm like, I don't. It's not that. I mean, it's just. Uh, and, and then the time and it, it takes, and they've got so many different ones mm. now. You used to go and get a coffee and it'd be like yep. two seconds, now it's two the hours. The only choice you had was did you want it with milk or without, and that was it. But now you get your, your mocha, uh, your mocha chocker. Chocker locker walkers. Is, and yeah, mocha locker yeah. walkers. Yeah. And all your different milks. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is, I'm just really, really, now this is when you can introduce colour, but I really, not too sure about using any much more colour, but mm -hmm. you can just see now, hopefully that that even though it's white and white yeah you can see the texture there there's yeah. a texture background and it looks different mm -hmm. so what you can do now just leave that there you can take your roses and you can do the same oh, okay right but you're going straight through you're not going to put the stencil no, on top of this i'm going okay. to because what i'm going to do is quickly dry them now the minute i've wet them they're going to look very different uh, behave differently because when you wet paper or card, you re-wetting the size in it, and that's the glue that keeps it together. So I have that, I have wet them down a little bit, but not pushed mm -hmm. them down totally. So okay. now when I mold them, yeah, I can really mold them. Oh, okay, right. So it's, it's got a little bit of texture. Yeah. Mind your finger. I know. It's got a little bit of texture, but not enough to change it. But when I go to emboss these now, they're a lot softer. Mm -hmm. so I can really emboss them, but I've still got that lovely texture. But it's these little techniques that these yeah. hours are all about, learning these techniques. Well, this is all about me messing up. Oh, OK. Seriously, because I was doing it. So how it. did this come about then? <clears throat> well, I was, was messing about, and I thought, well, I just I'm, I want to strip stuff back right back, because okay. I'm too messing about with colour, and I forget. And I think, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to take it, pair it right back. Mm -hmm. And then um, I messed up with the flower and with a flower, and I thought, right, well, I'll paint it. And then when I painted it, and I realised what effect it was, I was having with it. I was like just that like, additional coating on there. Yeah, yeah, and it matches. And now I can get a really lovely. It, it it's almost like it re it re allows you to re shape everything yes, yeah although i didn't take too much shape out of it i must admit when i wet it it's just i just put a little bit of color on it but to me it's a lot it's not as flat is it no it's a That's bit more light sometimes die cut elements when you, you kind of mat in a layer and it is it stays so flat that it's almost not got a elements of personality to it whereas this you are giving it that little bit of personality i love it when you do this because then you know you can sort of start to build things up yeah. and you've got all sorts of things down what i have done is i've die cut these but these don't work with it but not for what i want but yeah. they, they do work but you've got don't forget you've got so your swirls i've cut that out of music paper and text oh, paper oh i see like an old oh like the page here yeah, like an old yeah. book page oh, yeah okay. and i've done it done it like here as well i nice. mean just something like these look just really cool a little bit of a just that really cool, um, yeah. Point, yeah. I mean, you can now go over that because mm -hmm. it's got a key on it. But what I was thinking is, the two things you can do, you can add the flowers like that if you want. That's totally not what I want. Okay. What I was thinking is, these are quite nice if I just sort of get a tiny bit of glue. Right. And if you're at home and you've got your, what's that glue, uh, 3D gel, whatever, oh, yeah, yeah. that's great because you can just use that. So all I'm going to do is dip a couple of edges in it and I've... Decided I was going to have it like that and just. Oh, so just where it's making contact? Absolutely. Okay. And then I, I, I think these slightly smaller each time, and I'm just going to group them. Nice. Um, and what you can do is push it and just let it tack down, and yeah. then I'm just going to put the last one on. Now, because it's white, you can sort of move it about. I wouldn't worry too much if I want this down here or I want that up there because it's up to you. Even if the, you've got that little blob of glue there, Don't it's going to, yeah, because it's white. Yeah. yeah, and you could just wipe it off, get a bit more gesso on it. Yeah. That, that, that one sort of needs a bit more. But it's just a simple card, and I'm just 
Jim. I'm being a bit tight with glue. <laughs> but because it's still round, you can push it round a yeah. little bit more now. So just add them on. And then you can get... Oh, come on. <laughs> it's it's, you got it's sticky, sticking fingers. It's because you've got glue on your fingers as well. But that's it. If you do get that, look, just go on. <laughs> get your gesso thing on it and you're done. So just three steps. Really, really simple. Really simple. Let that on there a minute. And what you can do, if you want, is take some of the leaves that you've got. Mm -hmm. Or you might want to take, I don't know, any any of these. Now, There's some of these shapes, of shapes you could be creating. All these shapes are from the, the gate. I know they're not here, oh, is this like the fall away? Yeah, so, you know, you could use them. I'm not going to, but what you could use is some of the leaves from these flowers. So if I wanted to, I'd pull up those off. I'll just snip them out. Yeah, and have maybe just, like, one or two leaves, just, just to oh, break it yes, up. yes, yeah. And then maybe that one there. They've kind of got a wildflower look about them. I just like the idea of it being... Um, just white. I just, mm -hmm. I just, because I said to you, I'm going to do something really strange I now. And I'm like, what am I doing? I'm, I'm just doing white. But I'm not used to this. No, but it's, it's still got that little bit of a something different about it. And then I would get um, one of the really nice sayings I had. Well, it was here, and you could just either do it right across there, or you could put. Put it on a piece of white paper yeah. and have it three dimensional. But, and there's um, loads of sentiments that yeah, feature in the bundle. And there's yeah. one there that says, Plant a garden and um, is to believe in tomorrow. So, yeah, that's what nice. you can do now is if you want, you could just have it like that, or you could just burnish a tiny bit. And by burnish, I mean a tiny bit of colour. I'll so just go right over the, almost just teasing the colour onto it. So if I just do that. Tiny tickle, yes. You can just see it changing, yes. Tiny, tiny bit. I don't want it too much. I almost want it to to disappear. Because uh, what I don't want is to colour it. I want, I want it's to like just... When you, do you remember all those different paints you get like, um, I don't know, a hint of? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like that, isn't and it? That, the, the a hint white of apple, a hint of, yeah. white, pink and all that. Yeah. I'm going to get a tiny bit more because, oh, I might just... I don't want to rub because I don't want to flatten it. Yeah. So you maybe play safe with a lighter colour, mm -hmm. but just really softly. See that might because sometimes when we're putting these these colours on, we think, oh, it's not coming, not touching it. But you look at it it's when you step back. It yeah, really it really has coloured it. And this is just something a little bit extra. I thought if people just want a little bit of colour, and you can just see the colour now, a tiny bit of colour. But all the background in that, it's got all the stuff in it. It's got yeah. the the like white, that. the background. It's just white on white. Yeah. It's really it's a classic. Really look. It's very effective, that one. But there's a lot to it. It's, it is, it's yeah. surprising, isn't it? Yeah. You know, so I, I quite like that. But I'd be sat there now thinking, right, I need to do that, I need to do that. But you don't need to. You don't need to. You can do whatever it's just you a way want. Of it. Yeah. I was just having a little thumb through. If you didn't have a proper look at the paper, oh, right, lovely. Now, these are beautiful. If you want to make a card and you want to have kind of a backdrop on your 6x6 six six card pretty much instantly, then this is definitely the yeah. way to do it. Especially with a guy cut really mark. pretty. Now this one is not part of the one day special, it's part of the yes. complete collection. Yeah. So details at the bottom of the screen are for your one day special and you get the die cut elements which Lou has got. But with this particular paper pad, this is the one where you've got the additional bits and pieces yeah. that do lend themselves. So in here you are getting 36 sheets in this particular one. You've got your 15 centimetre um, pieces which are your 6 by um, 6 and You've got your 9 patterns and it's 170 GSM. And these are lovely because if you wanted to get a hold of these you've got some wonderful pieces in here now it is part of the complete collection but we are swapping the details around so at the bottom of the screen there you can get hold of it by itself at 24 pounds and 99 pence this is the one that's featuring the teapot and the little tumbling tea cups that we had in that set as well um, the fox glove that we saw earlier on that's featuring in there but some really beautiful designs very quick and easy designs that you could be building on top of and all in keeping with the theme of the roses the wild flowers and of course the fabulous um, teacups and the um, little kind of uh, water iron 
design fences and elements all featuring within here. So that paper pad, part of the bundle at the bottom of your screen. Um, of course, other paper pads, you've got the 10 by, um, the 12 by 12s. Um, again, very similar sort of style. You see, when I flip that one round, you will have seen the 6 by 6 papers within that yeah. paper pad. So smaller versions of those replicated in there. If you're wanting this one on its own, 10.99, of course, is part of the complete collection. And incidentally, if you want to get an extra one of these and spread the cost over three payments, it's a little over, I think it's about three pounds and twenty pence, something like that. So not a lot. Oh, three sixty-six to do. So that's really good, that. Oh, isn't it? you do. Well, well, I just pulled the die cuts. Yeah, I just pulled a load out of the page, and I just thought, well, what could you do with them? Is it? Is it would it be difficult? And I've just got a piece of scrap card, and I'm thinking, no, actually, because you could just tear any page out of there, really. Well, should we? Just, okay, get all that on there. Yeah, do it. Whatever. Yeah. yeah absolutely. You choose. Okay, we'll go with the, Oh, I don't know, I kind of like the pink cardboard. Go for pink then. Okay, so right. that, that could, imagine that's your 6 yeah, by 6 card. Yeah, that's my 6, that's my card, that's that. So now I can start playing around with this. So what I could do if I wanted to is just have that, but I could have a black mount round it if I wanted yeah. to. And then I could introduce, you see... These that just literally pop out the sheets. Oh, yeah. Even the most novice of card makers will be able to create things with these. See, that's what I like about it because it's going to be something for everybody. Yeah. But then, if you think there's nothing to stop you adding your own. Yes, so of course. So, I'm not, I'm not sticking this down. I'm just no, showing you like okay. it. okay. Showing you. It's almost like you're trialling something out isn't yeah. it, before you commit to it. And I always say, if you're going to do this and if you like it, then... Take a picture of it. Yes, because we've all got the ability on our phones nowadays Absolutely. to do that, haven't we? Yeah. And you can add different colours to it and mm -hmm. different die cuts and different bits. Build it up. Change the colours because, of course, don't forget you are getting those watercolour Absolutely. paints. Absolutely. Um, you're getting that palette in there with all those fabulous colours in there. Um, I think you've got, how many you've got in there now? Is it about 10 different colours? Well, not, not 10, no, I'm just 6, 12, 18, 24. Eight, 24 6, 12, 18, sorry. 18 colours in 18 there. 18 colours, wow. yeah. Um, and they are within That's your bundle because you are getting that fabulous paint palette there. We're literally That's down good. to the last minute of right, the hour. Time is um, upon us again, as it regularly does with these one-day special shows. But of course, all the elements that we've been working with are coming from that complete collection. And as you can see, from the farthest reaches there from those April um, sheets through the 12 by 12s, through the stamps, the um, fabulous die cuts that um, six by six pad there. Then you've got things like the um, the little watering can, the wheelbarrow, the um, picket fence, all those different elements right the way through to your one day special bundle are included in that bundle you can see on your screen. Don't forget as a freedom member you are saving um, around £76 overall wasn't it? £77 and 49 pence to be precise and you can spread the cost over three payments and that means add any other bits, bits in alongside it as well um, to stock up on. Um, Lou, thank you, thank so, you much. so much. Thank you so much. She's so inspiring. But sorry. you're playing and that's what it's all about. And all I those put that on it there and it looks even better. Perfect. Now, so, yeah. now Liz will be back with a one day special live tomorrow morning yep. at nine o'clock. We're going to be switching over to our nighttime hours now so have a safe evening. We'll yep. see you back.